This is the moment we've all been waiting for, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get her! In the chat, you ain't got a lot of kick it. If you click the link, make sure you got permission. And don't forget, nigga, fuck your feelings. Are you feeling sorry? When it get real, all of them fakes, so they ain't ready, no. If it's too hard, we get a lit, cause we're speaking, no. Fuck all the clothes, you yell the ones who do it for the boy. Are we going on? Are you feeling sorry? When it get real, all of them fakes, so they ain't ready, no. If it's too hard, we get a lit, cause we're speaking, no. Fuck all the clothes, you yeah, yell the ones who do it for the bike Are we going now? they ain't ready at all they ready, time to ball. No referee, I got shots to call. Believe I'm the best, so I'm better than y'all. Fuck your feelings, you know that's law. Running it up, now we running it back. It's that full court pressure, don't cut no slack. Jam to the max. Move bank count still full of racks. With the competition, they done went missing. The champions here, look how the ring glisten. It's honorable mention, don't ever forget it. It's FYF, don't care about the ticket. You know we with it, yeah. We gon' do whatever it takes. Fuck all the hate. FYF still going down, it's one of the greats. Are you feeling sorry? When it get real, all of them fakes, so they ain't ready, no If it's too hard, we get a lit, cause we're speaking, no Fuck all the clothes, you yell the ones who do it for the bikes Are we going, no? are you feeling sorry? When it 
keep you real All of them fakes, so they ain't ready, no It be too hard, we get it lit Can't be speaking, no Fuck all the clothes, yeah, you the ones who do it for the vibes Oh, we going home No supporters, no fans LVZ and Bay talking on real Yankee Hawk, could be on the real Heart rate up, it's getting intense All them people just speaking on nothing Content clips for the money Hilarious, it be too funny Debunking this shit, yeah, we run it Cover it up, like it's the Hornets LeBron and Jordan Blazers in Portland We get assorted, let's can afford it Entertaining or boring Whatever the top, and we act accordingly Break it down, piece by piece Been at this for too long No elder but Rufus, so you want he on Lace better stay gone We get them all done We get them all done Yeah We get them all done all you feel inside When it get real All of them fake so they ain't ready, no It be too hot, we get it lit Cause we speaking, no Fuck all the clothes, yeah, you the ones who do it for the fun All we going, now you feel inside When it get real All of them fake so they ain't ready, no It be too hot, we get it lit Cause we speaking, no Fuck all the clothes, yeah, you the ones who do it for the fun FYF Sportsman, Lamont, we back. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. The NBA playoffs this year has definitely given us a whole bunch of jewels and a lot of things to talk about. Just really this whole NBA season in general. This is going to really be an open panel for a lot of you guys to come up. Really give a, give me your thoughts on this playoffs whether it's Kevin Durant and the Phoenix Suns, obviously that combination of players had a lot of expectation. I think those expectations were unrealistic. I don't know if that team had enough time to gel, get chemistry right, figure out a style of play. Obviously, that is a talented team that's now out the playoffs. We got the Bucks, the number one seed. A lot of people projected them to win it all. They fall in the first round. You got the storyline of the Miami Heat that nobody's talking about. This Miami Heat team didn't just upset the number one seed. This Miami Heat team also has proceeded to beat the New York Knicks, the Knicks who beat a Cleveland Cavalier team that I thought they couldn't beat. So now we're talking about um, an eight seed in the East that has a very legitimate chance to get to the NBA Finals. They have a tall, they're probably going to have a tall mountain to climb if they face the Celtics or the Sixers. They still have a shot. And then in the West, the West was just mayhem all year, right? I talked, I tell when I, when I, when I say this about the Sacramento Kings, it's not to slight the Kings, but it's just the truth. The Kings were only a three seed because of all of the anomalies that were going on in the West with the Clippers and the injuries to Paul George, Kawhi Leonard being out so much, Lakers, uncertainty. Roster changes, roster imbalances, Golden State Warriors couldn't figure it out. Ton of things going on over there internally. I think the Sacramento Kings were never a true three seed. And so we saw a ton of imbalance in the West that put teams at the top that probably weren't necessarily top teams in any other year. And then there were a ton of teams at the bottom that were locked, loaded, ready to go, and just needed time, chemistry, cohesion, and just health to make sustainable runs in the playoffs. And that's exactly what we're seeing with the Los Angeles Lakers. And, you know, I want to focus in on the Lakers because, as I've said multiple times, this is a team where people chose to take their shots. They thought this was the year. They thought this was the year where we can take our shots at LeBron James and the Lakers. We can throw our stones at them because there's no way they can come back from this type of hole. And, you know, I I, I talk to you guys about this a lot when I say this. 
I said basketball has a funny way of equalizing itself, right? Teams, I said this even when the Lakers were bad. I said a team that can defend at a high level by the end of the year, generally they rise to the top. The teams that defend are usually the cream that rises to the top. I said this early in the year. It was one of the reasons why I said it's hard for me to just count a team out that can play defense at this level. And this is even when they had Russell Westbrook. They were still one of the better defensive teams. And so a team that consistently played defense, what happened? Remember, even with the Miami Heat, this is not just predicated to the Lakers. Even with the Miami Heat, a team that consistently plays defense, they might have struggles offensively. They might have struggles over here. They might have guys like Duncan Robinson that you can't count on. But teams that consistently defend, cream rises to the top. And this is what we're seeing. And this is this is an error, right? This is an error where you got a whole bunch of people running around saying, "Oh, it ain't no defense being played." But yet, when we look to this playoffs and some of the and some of the playoffs games, these are low scoring games. We're seeing really. We're seeing a ton of defensive battles, especially that Nick Miami series, but nobody wants to talk about that. They still want to harp on guys scoring the ball. That takes me to the Denver Nuggets series. Right? When I talk about that Denver Nuggets series, all I'm hearing over the last 48 hours, all I'm hearing is people saying, oh, KD choke, KD choke, KD choke, KD didn't get it done. People are just picking shots. You just you're just trying to throw stones at somebody while they down. And that's not even really the real reason why they lost. Like people just want to pick up the the, the first stone they see and throw it at the closest target that they can. And they ain't really analyzing. They ain't really looking at what's really going on. Why were the Phoenix Suns? And a lot of people were a lot of people were saying it going into the playoffs. I mean, you guys had the answer right there in front of you. Everybody kept saying the Phoenix Suns ain't really got no depth. They don't really have a bench. This don't look right. They really can't defend. They traded all their defenders. So y'all really had the answer. All the people, all the people that are saying that KD choked, I, I asked them, well, who, who did you pick to come out the West? Oh, we picked uh, the Warriors. Or we picked uh, Denver. Or we picked the, hold on. If you have all this expectation of Kevin Durant, how come you didn't pick him to come out the West? There's a reason. So we know that a lot of people taking their little shots at KD is just to throw stones because they don't like him as a player. Maybe they don't. Maybe they're still harboring resentment because they don't like his move to Golden State. So it's a ton of reasons why. And and, and like I said yesterday, I said we're at least going to be the ones to spend at least a few hours giving Steph Curry his flowers because uh, while a lot of people are going to say that Clay choked or Steph choked and things like that, what did I say at the beginning of this series? I said, I don't really care how well Steph plays. They are not the better team. The Lakers were just the better team. After three games of this series, Golden State versus the Lakers, the Lakers had played three bad games versus the Golden State and the Golden State Warriors in the first three games. The Lakers actually played three bad games and they were up 2 one in the series. That's when I said, hold on, the Warriors played incredible in game one, shot the piss out of the ball. And the Lakers won. So you took the best shot. They basically... The, the, the Warriors basically wound up and threw their biggest haymaker, hit the Warriors, and then the Warriors just got up like the Incredible Hulk. Like, oh, that's all you got? Just was laughing. And just proceeded to win, even though they was playing bad. And the scariest part about it with the Lakers is I don't, I don't think this is the best that we have. I think out of all the teams that made moves at the trade deadline, the Lakers had the wild card. They had the guy that is best suited for making things come together at the last minute. 
That's LeBron James. And not every team has a LeBron James. The Phoenix Suns didn't have a LeBron James, a, a player that could make everything come together in jail and work at the last minute. Right, right, North Sea fellow. That's what I'm saying, North Sea fellow. When I saw Darvin Ham smiling at LeBron after game two, that just looked like a smile basically said, yeah, we we better than this team. Like, yeah. Because cause the Warriors were really throwing a bunch of gimmick defenses out there. They were, and, and on top of the fact, they were just fouling too much. They... A team that fouls that much, that just tells me you can't defend this team. This team is just bigger than you, they're faster than you, and they're more athletic than you. And if you're honest about it, you look at the two teams, that's exactly how the Lakers were able to dominate the Warriors. And we know that the Lakers were the better team because who was the team scrambling from game to game making major adjustments? It was Steve Kerr and the Warriors. Oh, let's let's play Moses Moody this game. Oh, let's play Jermichael Green and try to space the floor. Oh, let's put Gary Payton in. Let's see how the small ball lineup works. They scrambling every game, making changes after changes after changes. What the Lakers do? Nothing. They played the exact same every single game. That's how you know they was the better team. So it's it's not it's not surprising to me that they won, nor is it surprising to me. That the Warriors lost. Oh, we got Mingle Jester in here crying. What what he saying? I, I ain't even see it. Right, keep it one hundred. Haters are just gonna hate. But see, haters. The one thing I noticed about the haters, the haters just like to pick up the first stone that they see and throw it to the closest target that they see. And they really want don't want to. But they all, but they all truly know the answer. Ticket Mookie two are yeah they all mad because Chris Turner. The the only reason why they mad. This is why they mad y'all. Because now they have to explain because they all try to pride themselves in being real basketball talking savants. So now they have to try to explain in a basketball context without throwing too much conspiracy theory in sounding like a weirdo. Now they're trying to explain how the Lakers found themselves in this predicament, potentially able to get to the NBA finals after they spent the entire year hating, talking about LeBron is over, he's old, he's washed, he's not top 10. So now they trying to, and see, you know, Ticket's already waved the white flag. See, Ticket did the smart thing. Ticket did the smart thing. Ticket said, y'all not going to put me on this embarrassing boat to continue on this road. Like he may get back on the road of slamming LeBron James if they lose a game to the Denver Nuggets, which is what we all expect. But Ticket waved the white flag quick. He started doing that last night. But CJ got into him. If y'all haven't heard that, CJ got into him, told him to sit down and everything. You was wrong. TJ, CJ cooked him. This was CJ's moment to shine. And the crazy thing is, as much trash talk Ticket had, he couldn't really say much back. But CJ let him have it. And see, these are the types of monsters that the LeBron James haters create when they spew so much hate. And then what happens? And then LeBron James, the greatness truly starts to shine. Because now, like I said, y'all just giving the LeBron James fans more ammunition. Oh, he took a team that started the season two and 10 to the Western Conference Finals, possibly to the NBA Finals. Oh, the only players doing stuff Jordan didn't do that. They're going to say this is what they're going to start saying. They're going to be saying when Jordan was a seven and eight seed, he couldn't even get out the first round. When Jordan had a losing record and was able to get into the playoffs, he couldn't beat nobody. See, yeah, they, they, the haters are creating new ammunition that's just going to get thrown right back at them. But the, the problem is that the, the, the fireballs that's getting thrown back at the haters is, is much, they burning at a higher, hotter degree. They're going to max eat their fireballs. And, 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 and you can't really rebut them. And, and the reason why they can't rebut them, y'all, is because AD ain't got hurt. AD healthy. Remember, 
like I've been telling y'all, and I'm about to drop the link in a second. Like I've been telling y'all, I said, if y'all listen to all the haters, if y'all listen to them long enough, their true internal wish, they, they're hoping and praying that their true internal wish comes true. They need Anthony Davis to get hurt. All the haters, whenever something happens to AD, like when AD went out with that head injury, they were hoping it, what were they saying? We saw videos creeping out from the haters. AD might be out for the playoffs. AD's hurt. AD, their, their hate revolves around Anthony Davis's health. That's all it is. And, and, and the Denver Nuggets is, is them being a one seed and they've been playing great basketball. But the Lakers were beating them before the trade. The Lakers were beating this Denver Nugget team before the trade. And, and then we got, you know, one of the other aspects we didn't even talk about was the Laker fan base. See, the Laker fan base, they haters in and of themselves. The Laker fan base be hating themselves. They The the, uh, the Laker fan base needs to stop faking. Salute to the locker room, too. In the locker room, I want you to come up and talk about this as well because you have a Laker platform. You talk a lot about these Lakers. I want you to come up and talk about the Laker fans, right? The Laker fans who didn't have the intestinal fortitude at the beginning of the year to still hold it down, to still believe in a team. It was a lot of Laker fans that completely gave up. Oh, we don't have a shot. This team is trash. Even after the trade, even going into the playing game. See, it's a lot of Laker fans that are still bandwagon fans. They didn't believe that this could happen. It's it's not too many people that predicted this potentially happen. I I'm one of the, I'm the only one that I know who predicted the Lakers to the Western Conference Finals, and I didn't relent off my selection, even when the Lakers were two and ten. I'm the only one I know. I and it had nothing to do with Russ. It had nothing to do with the guys that they had on the team. I just said, when you have Brown and AD, it's impossible for that not to play out and work successfully if they get healthy. And they got healthy. And they got better. We got Mahmoud, Kenny. He says, AUEZ Bang had to come on now. What do you mean? What did AUEZ Bang have to do? What are y'all talking about him for? Uh oh, Brian Larkin says FYF lying. I uh, no 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 Brian Larkins. At the beginning of the season, who did I pick? And I picked the Lakers to get to the Western Conference Finals. When I did my predictions, right? I said, what did I say when I did my predictions? I said, if I'm looking at this series as a coach. The Grizzlies should win this series. But what did I also say, Brian Larkins? I said, if the Lakers play to the level that they can play, they should win this series. I said, basketball-wise, X's and O-wise. And look, I'm not a Laker fan. I have no loyalty to pick the Lakers every time. And when I picked the Grizzlies, I came in here, what did I say? I said my basketball pick was wrong, and but my gut feeling about the Lakers was right. Y'all can't get me with that because when I, I didn't, I didn't shy away from that. See, I'm not a Laker fan. See, it was y'all Laker fans that back in November, December, y'all gave up on this team. Y'all, it was y'all Laker fans that are crying trade AD all year. AD's weak. Oh, AD's hurt again. It was y'all that was claim, clamoring for all these moves and the rebuild and to get rid of guys. Come on, Laker fans. Y- y'all, y'all blow with the wind. And now y'all riding high because LeBron James is doing well. So Laker fans, y'all, y'all biggest haters. Laker fans be thinking that 
Take It TV and Too Raw and Mookie and all these people are y'all haters. No, Laker fans, y'all are y'all biggest haters. Y'all were the ones that spent all year talking about Darvin Ham is trash. He don't know how to sub players. Like, like substitutions is what wins and loses games. Like it was this, like y'all be looking like when Russell Westbrook was there and a ton of guys were injured. Like you guys could really give me a substitution pattern that would have made that team better. Even with all the injuries. Come on, y'all. And then we had people like Jamel Casino. One of the haters who came in. So you had a ton of people that came in. Just, just, just making bets with everybody, and then they running high when the Lakers win. No, a lot of people call Darvin Ham trash, but if you look at what Darvin Ham had to work with, why would you call him trash? Darvin Ham had nothing to do with injuries. He had nothing to do with LeBron James getting hurt. He had nothing to do with Russell Westbrook still being on the roster. But what he had to do was he had to make the best of whatever he had at any given moment. He made the best of what he had. And when Rob Palenka and those guys decided to make a move, and when he actually got the defensive pieces that he needed, he said, all right, now we can really get to work. But I mean, you have to even admit that even going into the last game of the regular season, even in the play-in game, the Lakers still hadn't played the level of basketball that we're seeing now. They were still making a lot of undisciplined turnovers and all types of crazy stuff. Now, Darvin Ham, who is this supposedly trash coach, has become the second coach in Laker history as a rookie coach to get his team to the Western Conference Finals. This trash coach in his first year has gotten his team to the Western Conference Finals with one of the worst rosters that y'all said. Yeah, people people claiming that there's a script and all this. Come on, man. Stop it. All right, y'all. Look, man, I'm going to go ahead and drop the link, man. We're going to come up here and cook about this, man. I want y'all thoughts on the entire NBA playoffs. What are y'all thoughts, man? Did anybody choke, man? What, what, I, and I also want to talk about uh, the Lakers versus Denver, man. What did the Lakers got to do to beat the Denver Nuggets? All right. They, I mean, they've seen this recipe before. They've seen this team before in the playoffs, in the bubble. What's the recipe to beat them this year? They have a little bit more length, the size. They probably have slightly better shooting. Um. How do they contain Jamal Murray? I think the Lakers have struggled with containing dynamic guards on the perimeter, guards who can kind of score out of nothing. They've struggled to contain those types of players. So how do they contain that? And then how do they – what are they going to do? What is their option? No, Nobody this year has figured out how to defend Jokic. Okay, do you turn him into a scorer? Do you turn him into a playmaker? Do you just try to shut him down, do a little bit of mo- both? Do you double him? I don't think anybody has had a really successful strategy at guarding Jokic this year. The Lakers have the tools to do it, but to, to but a guy like Jokic, you're going to need a ton of discipline. And the one thing that the Lakers have been doing, and I, you can hear Darvin Ham emphasize this in the huddles, is playing disciplined basketball. Here, I'm getting the link ready. I'm about to drop it in the chat. There we go right there. Link is in the chat, man. Make sure y'all pull up. If you can't pull up, if you want to stay in the chat, man, and, and chop it up, make sure while you're in the chat, man, you hit the cash app, support the channel, man. Style of sign, FYF Sports, man. Say that YouTube is killing us with this monetization on the lives, man, so make sure y'all support streams man appreciate everybody watching i see you guys over on reddit man reddit hey look y'all y'all about to make me move completely over to other platforms like reddit man we we did a live yesterday all i did was put an embedded video over on reddit man in the cash app and they them they, them fools went crazy donating and supporting because they really don't get that much over there on them other platforms man they really outdoing everybody on youtube man we got to step our game up But salute. Definitely appreciate everybody on Reddit. 
on Blogger, on Newsbreak, all participate watching the video from the embedded feed. Oh, we got Go James in here. Go James, what's good, man? What you got on this? Hey, man. Uh, all I gotta say, man, is uh, at some point we just gotta appreciate what we're watching, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, at some point, I mean, kind of, you know, kind of reminds me of. I, I don't like doing cross sport references, but you know, for a long time, uh, people really hated on Brady, right? But at some point, a lot of haters, you know, they just sat back and like, man, I just got to appreciate what I'm watching. You know, at some point, these haters just got to appreciate what they watch. I agree. I 100% agree right there. I mean, it's, it's, it, you know, but like I said, I think that's what makes it sweeter this year. I think what makes it sweeter this year is that there was so much hate. And, this, and, and to see the, the, the Lakers come out of the smoke as one of the last teams standing is re, is crazy. It's crazy. And then to not just do it, but they did it against some really good teams, a, gri a Grizzly team, and then they took out the defending champs, led by Steph Curry, who was playing great basketball. Locker room, appreciate you pulling up, man. Man, you've you, you been riding this wave since the season started. You've just seen the ebbs and flows, the ups and downs. The Darvin right. Ham, the issues, the Russell Westbrook. I'm talking about y'all done been going through it. Right? You know, talking about growing gray hairs and getting stress lines. Y'all Laker fans definitely, definitely been going through it. Man, how you feel about where y'all at this season? How y'all got here? I feel I feel great, man. I mean, you know, like you said, we've been we've been doing shows pretty much after every game, man. So we didn't, you know. I, I really, I'm gonna be honest though, Lamont. I really like seeing it when, when really I, you know, you, I, I listened to your whole spiel and I got to be real with you, man. You left out, you left out one of the most important guys, man. And that mm. was Palinka. That was Palinka, okay. man. When, 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 when the trade deadline happened and, and all those moves got made, it was obvious like the Lakers had the best trade deadline. A lot of people thought it was Phoenix getting KD. A lot of people thought Dallas getting Kyrie. They, they made moves, but really and truly, the Lakers had the best trade deadline. So I knew once the trade deadline, once we got those pieces, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's up now. Mm. Depth is the kind of king these days. Like, like you can have the superstar, but the more depth you have, the higher chances is there to succeed in postseason these days. We got DJ in here. DJ, what's good? What what's you got good, on this, man? man? Um man, it's it's crazy, man. Like I um actually I was watching Reggie show yesterday and um he said something like the Lakers gave you a blueprint to beating the Warriors. Like people have been for the last eight years, man, people have been trying to out shoot the Warriors. Like you don't have a Stephen Clay and you don't have a KD, like you don't have that. So what do you do against a team like that? You be physical, you be aggressive, and you take them to the paint. Like you don't you don't play their game, and that's exactly what happened. Like, and people, they're talking about all oh, the free throws. Like, so you want them to reward a jump shooting team with free throws? Like, you you obviously never played basketball before if you think that. But these um these playoffs have been crazy, man. Like, you know, Darvin. As far as Darvin goes, the criticism that he got earlier in the season to me was warranted. Like. You know, but at the same time, like he's he's since the trade deadline, he's done a good job, man. So give credit where credit is due. Um, he made some adjustments. He put Dennis Schroeder in the starting lineup, paid dividends. So, um, you know, it's it's you know, as far as the Denver matchup goes, I think you know LeBron. You he's already seen his team. He's already knowing what to expect. So, um, I'm taking the Lakers in six, and now when um, I think. You turn Jokic into a score, like because you don't you don't want to let him pass, um, let him tire himself out. Like if he's scoring 40, 50, okay. That means the other guy's not getting off. So for me personally, I would turn him into a score. I wouldn't double him. So I mean that's uh that's that's my take on that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, they're going to have a tough task. I mean, if anybody can do it, it's like the, the best defense in the league right now. I think they got an opportunity. We got Killer69. 
uh, Mahmoud. Hey, man. I think like this kind of put that this one perspective that back in 2018, when we were saying, a lot of people were saying that Boogie and AD Pelicans could have given Warriors run for money. This, this kind of put some credibility in their tag. And yeah, for, for the Denver matchup, I think Jokic have to work on the defensive side too for AD. Like guarding AD is different beast than guarding someone like DeAndre Ayton. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. Well, the good thing about this is Jokic really hasn't had to go up against another big that's going to go right back at him. And so exactly now AD can take it. And even if they don't put Jokic on AD, AD is going to operate in that territory and he's going to occupy him. I think their strategy, the Lakers are not really going to change much. I think their strategy is going to stay the same. It's going to be clogged to paint. Anybody that comes to the rim is going to get get attacked. They're going to get well defended. We're going to go for blocks. We're going to put bodies in front of you. You're going to have to score through us. And we're, and I think they're going to toe the line, just like they did this series. Defensively, they're going to play physical. And they're going to toe the line between making the ref either call a foul riddle game or they're going to let a whole bunch of stuff go. And while on the other end, they consistently – attack the rim and they're not just going to be out there chucking up three pointer after three pointer after three pointer. Exactly. Just like the Warriors who, I mean, their demise was started very, I mean, it was very obvious. They had another game where they, I think at halftime they were five of 23 from the three point line. They, they, their disaster started to happen early that when they don't make threes, they can't beat anybody. Yeah. And so we, I knew they was going to win at halftime. They were going to lose. Um, and then that trend continued deep into the in third quarter where it started to turn into a blowout. So with Denver, when you talk about what they do best, I mean, I, I don't think they can go into this Denver series thinking about how do we shut down Yoki. I think it's going to be how do we shut down Murray and the others. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Like, most importantly, the guard play from LA too. Like, the D-Lo have to be consistent. Like, D'Lo, Schroeder, Reeves, Ouch. have to be consistent. Ouch. You cut out on his uh, my move, but let me go ahead and get to Mingo Jesse. He pulled up. Mingo, what you got on this? Man, well, yeah, the Lakers won the series. Yeah, they did. They won the series. They, they beat the Warriors and all that good stuff, but man. <laughs> You don't sound too thrilled about that, Mingo. Just what's going no, on, man? man. Nah, see, the, the thing is, it, it, it ain't got that. For, for the most part, the Lakers did outplay the uh, Warriors. They did. I'm not taking nothing away from they play, what they did, how they how they adjusted, all that good stuff. I'm not taking away from none of that. Mm -hmm. But my only problem is just the free throw disparity. That, that, that's, uh, that's an astronomical amount of free throws for a playoff series. That's all I be saying. That's the only thing I ever bring up. People notice that. Because that 42 free throws in a playoff game, mm -hmm. dude, that's a lot of free throws for a playoff game. That's all that's all I be saying. People be acting like I be just trying to just like like uh like uh poo-poo the Lakers or something. No, the Lakers is a good team and they played a good game. But at the same time, though, them free throws crazy though. That that free throw, them free throw is crazy though. Mingo, let me ask but, you. But 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 Lamont, you gotta understand them free throws crazy though. I, I know, I, I know they're crazy. So this is this is my thing. This is what I tell people all the time. Free throws are not equal opportunity. It's not you get 10 and I get 10. Exactly. Free throws are doled out based on how aggressive you are. Um, do are you driving to get fouled or are you just driving to score and the defense has to foul you? See. The, to get to the free throw line that many times is really a testament to the Lakers because that means they just stayed the course. When you look at their guards, Angelo Russell operated in the paint a ton. Schroeder operated in the paint a ton. AD went away from shooting them fadeaway jumpers, lived in the paint. LeBron James said, I'm not going to keep shooting these threes. I'm going to drive in and I'm just going to use my physicality to consistently put pressure on you guys. And 
and when you look at Vanderbilt and Rui Hachimura, even Austin Reeves, who consistently, these guys were consistently driving and attacking the basket and driving the score. And so why well, it don't surprise me. But on the flip side of that, when the Warriors shoot five of 23 from the three-point line in the first half, yeah. how do the refs give them fouls when Thank the majority you. of their offensive possessions are ending with them chucking up threes that are just well contested? And so – how does that balance? Like, how do how do the refs do? Like, how do they create free throws for a team that's not doing anything to get fouled? But Lamont, you gotta understand this though. In a lot of those, games, the Lakers. I mean, in a lot of those games, the Warriors had more paint points than the Lakers did. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Go Google. No, they didn't. Yes, they bro. did. It, it, and, and not all the games. I'm not say all the games. I say some of those games, the Warriors had more paint points than the Lakers did. Not all the games. Some of them, and they did. But see, the thing is, but see, the thing is, now, the, the Warriors is a ju- jump shooting team, and I give you that much. They are. But at the same time, though, dude, 42 free throws, that is a hell of a lot of free- Man, y'all ain't understanding where I'm coming from right here when okay, I say that. Okay, Mingo Jester, so. 42 free throws is a no, no, hell no, of a lot this, of free this throws. This would be better, then. If you say 42 free throws, give me some examples of fouls that were ghost fouls that weren't truly real fouls that they were just giving the Lakers, sending them to the free throw line to get free points. Okay, well, I stopped watching the game at the halftime. So I can only talk about the first half. Okay. Give me now, some- uh, right, so so some you had a few you had a few calls up in there that was if like some of them calls on Austin Reeves were kind of if oh if called be like weird looking. I don't know what the hell. I don't now, even know how they call you, it. Now, knowing that the Warriors do have but, a challenge, how come if if these were so obvious, just blatantly bad calls, why didn't Steve Kerr even challenge not one of them? I mean, he only got one challenge. How many of them can you challenge? I mean, they were getting blown out, though. He only got one challenge. Okay. And then once you use that, it's over with. Right. So what good is that going to do? I didn't I, – I just – I didn't see – You know, usually when refs get these calls wrong, you see exaggerated body language and guys going crazy and throwing their hands up. The only thing I saw from the Warriors yesterday was just sheer frustration when Draymond put the ball in Schroeder's face. That it looked like one team knew that their time had come, and the other team stayed the course and stuck to the game plan. And I think the Warriors just they just caught got caught out in the street. I mean, like they they just got caught out there. They they they. But Lamont, did you notice this though? Did you notice this though? Every game that the Lakers had an uh, exceptional amount of free throws, they 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 won that game by a lot. But the games that were real close to free throws, either they lost or it were real close. Let me ask you this, Mingo Jester. If we go back to the regular season, what team led the league in free throw attempts? Even when they were trash. The Lakers did. So so even when they were, like I said, even when it, they were hot garbage. They were leading the league in free throw attempts. How come y'all weren't crying about free throw disparities when they were? And I was. I was saying it then. No, y'all I was saying it then. I was. I was saying it then. No, you wasn't. I was looking it up then. How you think I know that the Lakers had? How you think I know that? How you think I know that the Lakers had a hundred more free throws than the 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 Houston Rockets? And they were shooting 25 and 30 free throws, but losing. Y'all wasn't saying nothing then. Yes, I was. I still was saying it. I was. I, I, how you think I know the Lakers got a hundred more free throws than the second the best? The only reason the second, y'all looking uh, into it now is shooting free throw team. Winning. I was. I was talking about it then, Lamont. When the Lakers start winning, y'all look for non basketball related reasons to. Bro, I was. I was even saying it back then. No, you were. The Lakers shoot a lot of. And, and I was even saying it. Remember? Remember man. when Lamont? Man, remember man, when, man, when you, you haven't been saying that? Remember when Austin Reeves had that little stretch of like six games where he was shooting more free throws than Giannis? That he was, was after the trade. People. That was after the trade. I know it was, but what I'm saying is, I'm talking about pre-trade. I'm talking about pre-trade. pre-trade Lakers were still leading the league in free throw attempts per game. They when they were trash, they were leading the team because they had a style of play that where they were predicated on getting to the basket, even because when they had Russ, Russ was shooting a lot of free throws in games because why? Russ was attacking the basket a ton. LeBron was attacking the basket a ton. When AD was healthy, he was attacking. Even when they were losing, they were leading the NBA in free throw attempts. Why is this an issue now that they're winning? But you got to understand something, though, Lamont. How you lead the league in free throws, but you're not even the team that lead the league in uh, uh, paint points. That's the Miami Heat. Hold on, hold on. Because their style of play is predicated on attacking the basket relentlessly. That's what they style of play is. 
that don't even make sense. Okay. That don't even make sense. How do you yeah. lead the league? The, the Miami Heat led the league in paint points. Like, literally, they led the league in paint points. But the Lakers have 100 more free throws than the second best team or the second next team. That, that, that don't even add up. All right, man. All right. So, so, no so, your, so, so your reasoning for the Lakers getting here is conspiracy, right? No, it ain't no conspiracy, bro. You see it, 42 free throws to 14. You that's tell me what's going on. That's conspiracy. How is there 42 to 14? How is that conspiracy? So, that's a fact. No, okay, so you're saying your conspiracy is that the NBA is putting the Lakers on the free throws line so much that nobody can beat them. Bro, that's a lot of free throws. That's all I'm saying. And so and what, is that, like, what does the free throws have to do with them being the number one defensive team in the playoffs? And and, and then in like game man, three that's all four, cap, man. Three. You right, man. And you then right. game three you with right. 37 and 17. Like those are a lot of free throws for, okay, uh, no, for okay. a playoff Mingo, game. Mingo, my, my biggest question that nobody can answer is how do the how do the refs balance the free throws out with a warrior team? That never stop chucking up threes. All I say is let them play. Just let them play. That's, That's worse it. for the Warriors. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, I guess it is worse for the Warriors, but still let them play. Let me tell you, man, I agree with him, man. The Tic Tac Five, they wasn't giving them people no calls the whole season. Like the whole series, I meant. No calls. Game one, them people really won. Game two, they won. But game three, they really won. Man, you can't, I don't care what team it is in the NBA. If you give them 40 free throws to your eight, you going to lose. No, I don't no, care no. what team but Sky, it is. Sky. Hey, bro, free shoot, die, shoot, shoot 50 on, threes on, and, shoot on, 50 on, threes on, and, on, and, and jumpers. That's Sky, what's going to happen. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Free throws are not given. Free throws are earned by your style of play. And this is why the teams that shoot mostly threes. Remember, what did the Lakers do? The Lakers were bottom of the NBA in free throws per game and they, what they they were number one in the NBA and what in fouls they fouled the most so you have the number one fouling his team in the NBA playing the team that's number one in going to the free throw line that means you're going to have a team that fouls a ton versus the team that attacks the basket and gets fouled the most it's no surprise to me that the Lakers lived at the free throw line. The Warriors all season have been the most foulingest team all year. All right. Well, yeah, and just to add to that, why. and just to add to that, it's not just drives to the basket. The Lakers also post up a lot. That's not going to show up in that drive to the basket. Stat. Go ahead with that. Look, let me let me cut in the y'all cap, right? This is how I know y'all capping about that, right? Y'all see, y'all see Golden State shoot threes all day, right? So you can't blow the whistle. Well, what's the difference? Because the the Kings drive more than them, but they got about the same amount of whistles. So, what's the difference? The difference. I'm gonna tell you right now. Let me let me tell them what it is right now. The difference is the Warriors couldn't drive to the basket uh, against the Lakers the way that they could against the Kings. Against the Lakers, they had to settle for jumpers and floaters. They weren't man, getting what? to the basket. And, and, man, man, dude, the nah, that's not y'all true. Lost. Man, do right, do right, man. If you look at them games, if you look at them games in the paint, um, the Warriors had Bro, more, the Warriors were getting to the paint. The Warriors were getting. If you look Hold at on, the y'all. stat, if you look at the stat from uh, zero to three feet, right? The Warriors against the Kings were getting to the, to the zero to three feet mark nonstop. Hold against on, the Hold Lakers, they couldn't cap. do that. We got some cap, y'all. I got to show the cap. So we got right here. NBA teams points in the paint per game. Memphis is number one. The Lakers sit at number six. The Miami Heat. Somebody said Miami Heat was number one. They 25th in the league in points in the paint per game. Oh, look at oh, that. The, that was, no, I'm talking about that was in the playoffs. No, 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 no. The Warriors that, are bottom in the league next to Brooklyn and Dallas. They're bottom in the league. I, I never mentioned that about the Warriors in the paint. No, hold on. But, I, but the Lakers said in the played, playoffs in, the, in those, some of those Lakers games. just played the Warriors. Remember, your style is your style. Your style does not change just because the playoff happened. Remember, the Warriors were a horrible road team. And I said, those road problems are eventually going to come back to haunt them in the playoffs. And it did. The Warriors 
were a team that fouled the most in the NBA. And I said, well, them problems are ultimately going to come back and haunt them in the playoffs. And they fouled the shit out of the Lakers and cried that they wasn't fouling, yet they led the NBA with the most fouls. All right, and LYF, where the Kings at on that end? Where the Kings at on there? Sacramento's 14th. Well, they 14th, right? What they got to do in anything? But it's, it's no different. If they 14th, right? And you got look the, at the matchup, bro. What you say, the Warriors dead last, right? So, well, why the the Warriors sky, get sky. more calls than the Kings? Sky, sky, sky. It's a difference when you have. Oh man, y'all. Hold on, hold on, Sky. Let me, let me, I'm breaking down for you. It's a difference when De'Aaron Fox is driving to the rim as opposed to Anthony Davis, Rui Hachimura, or LeBron James. That's a different type of force, and so you might be able to come over the top and get blocks or get stops or have a big come disrupt small guards shots on rim without fouling. But you're not going to be able to do that with an Anthony Davis. You're not going to be able to do that with a LeBron James. You're not going to be able to do that when, when, when LeBron James gets to the middle of the lane and then dumps it off to, or cutting Rui Hachimura or Vanderbilt guys that are bigger and can go finish with more power at the rim. So we're talking about your attacking side. Remember, when the Warriors were driving, we saw how many blocks did we see Anthony Davis get on them weak floaters that the Warriors were throwing up. They and look, not, this is what I'm trying they, to tell you. He got blocked. Not, hold on. And they were not attacking the, the basket. No, no, no. I, the point I'm getting is that when we saw the Warriors drive, they weren't going into people's bodies. Create The only one that was actually driving into people's bodies, creating contact, was Wiggins. And I'm about to see that, that. And when he did that in game five, he lived at the free throw line. He went to the free throw line a ton, but he was the only one doing it. Jordan Poole was not doing it. Clay was not doing it. Steph was driving, shooting floaters. He was trying to avoid contact. He wasn't really driving to create contact. So, so when the Lakers drove, what was LeBron James doing? He's going right into your chest and he's going through you. He's really making the ref look at that. Play. And we're being real. Just, LeBron should get more calls than he does. It will be real. Yeah, yeah. Man, LeBron like be charges, just, man. Just giving calls. The call, your calls are based on how aggressive you attack. Man, your calls your calls is based off your name. I can see that already. No, no, it's not because no, LeBron, LeBron don't get the calls that he should get, bro. LeBron don't get half the calls that he should get. Man, Haas Rota get more free throws than Wiggins. Because he's he, he's attacking. No, in an no, aggressive no, manner. no, no, man. I can't go with that. I, know, I Sky, can't go with Sky, that. No, Sky, man. Sky, just because you can't go with it don't mean it's not facts. The <laughs> fact is is that the Lakers decided we are going to hit the Golden State Warriors in their chest every time we drive. And the Warriors, when they drove, they chose to shoot floaters and avoid contact and try to do all this other stuff. And the next thing you know, you got LeBron blocking shots, AD sending shots to the stands, knocking into the backcourt, creating transition buckets. That's what happens when you drive soft. And a team that drives soft, refs ain't going to reward you for that. You don't get no extra bail out, bail out fouls because after the block there was a little contact and you fall to the ground. What you want them to get those two? Yeah, and not only that, bro, game six, the Warriors shot 53s to the Lakers 26. If you that means, like, thank you. That means the Lakers were attacking nonstop, bro. They, they always say line. that, right? Y'all always use that as an excuse, but if you look at the games, all the games they shot about 50. What are you yeah, talking but I'm about? Talking, hey, but hold on, specifically last night. The games they, they beat them, they hold on, specifically 50. last night, bro. Not only did they shoot 53 to the Lakers 26, which means the Lakers are getting most of their shit inside the paint. You're a Laker not fan. Only that, not only that, when the Warriors are driving, they're settling for floaters and jumpers. Rarely are they are they getting into someone's chest and into the zero to three foot uh, area and trying mm -hmm. to lay up a basket. Most of the time, they're scared of AD. And yep. they're throwing so the floaters and question. jumpers. So he a Laker so fan. Talking to Laker fan. Question. Guy that's talking. Let me ask you a question. So how come? How come both of the games that the uh, Warriors won, when the free throws were even, the Lakers got blew out? That's what I'm trying to what tell you. What does that got to do with the way the game called, bro? That's, 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 that's a separate question. That's a separate question. The free throws is evenly called. It's a separate question. First of all, and first of all, game four. First of all, game four. Hold on one second. They lost game four with game two. No, they go. no, they won we game four. Man, every they lost game four. Lost the Warriors lost game four. The people no, shot. No, the Lakers won game four. Hold on, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Nah, on, man. man. The, the free hold throw. On, there was, it was it was eight more. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on one second. All y'all have to look to when you look at the games that the Warriors were able to win 
it's very evident. What happened in game two? Clay Thompson went ballistic from the three point line. All their three point shooters made threes. It had really yeah. nothing to do with fouls. See, when the Warriors are actually making those threes, just like they did in game one, they give them Sam's a realistic chance to win. They live by the three, but they also die by the three. And the one thing, like we said with the Utah Jazz a few years ago, who led the league in NBA three in three point shooting, we said that's not going to work in the playoffs. Why do we still believe that formula is actually going to work just because it's the Golden State Warriors? They lost a ton defensively, so they weren't the same defensive team. They actually weren't even the same team that could make three-pointers at a high level. They just shot a ton. So they're a worse three-point shooting team. They're a worse defensive team, yet they shoot threes at the same or higher volume. And then they find themselves, look at all the losses. Look at their three-point shooting and their losses. 29%. 29%. They're shooting 43s, 33s, 43s, and they missing a ton of them. And what happens with three-point misses? Three-point misses turn into what? Long rebounds, transition buckets going the other way a lot of times. And the Lakers were pushing the pace. And in the midst of them pushing the pace, transition fouls because the Warriors are struggling to get back and all this stuff. So, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, the numbers no, it are right don't, there, man. That don't make no sense. <laughs> <laughs> it not, not yeah, it makes sense? perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. Not only does it make sense. How they lost in game one? How they lost in game one? Oh, they lost in game one. 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 They lost in game so but you can talk all this. Maybe. You can talk all this, all this about uh, foul. But hold on, look, we got the stats right here. Here's game one. The Warriors in game one, or I know actually this is a uh, game six. They shot thirteen of forty eight from the three point line. They shot damn near fifty threes. They shot a hundred and three shots. That's Half game those- one. Oh no! This is game, game six. Man, we talking oh. about game hold one, on, man. Hold on, Skyler. Hold on. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna That's go back. That's the same to game in game one. one. It's the same hold thing on, that happened I'm in game one. I'm gonna show you the stats for all the games. So, when you look to this game, they shot a hundred shots. Half of those shots were three pointers that they missed. All the games. I told hold you that on, already, Skyler. <laughs> hold on. We know that. No, no, you don't know that. So. The Warriors made the same amount of three. So the Warriors shot 50% from the three-point line. They went 13 to 26. Here's the crazy thing about it. The Warriors had more shots. Look how many shots on goal they had versus the Lakers. The Lakers had 39 to 75, 52% from the field. The Warriors shot 39 of 103, 37% from the field, 27% from the three. They were not taking quality shots. They were missing a ton of shots. They were rushed. But that tells me right there, when I see these numbers, you're going up against an elite defense. This defense really just stifles you. And then when you go to the free throw line. Best defense in the league, no question about it. When you go to the free throw line, when I see – when I see 10 of 14. They really not. Don't let them oh, fool y'all. Hold on. That. When I see they I, not, bro. <laughs> that is not as good as they think. Bro, that you got. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on. We gonna, I'm going to let y'all get y'all talk, but I'm running through these facts. Y'all got to let me get through these facts. Hold on. Let me fix my camera. Because people ain't going to keep getting deceived because because y'all emotional because LeBron James won. <laughs> Teams that chuck up a ton of threes and then shoot them at a low percentage usually lose games. Teams that chuck up a whole bunch of threes usually don't get to the free throw line of much because they're not being aggressive or attacking the basket. It's, this is not a coincidence. And I guarantee you, if I go and look at all of these games, if the Warriors shoot a ton of threes and shoot it at a low percentage, they lose. If the Warriors shoot a ton of threes and, and shoot them, at, and, and usually if you sh- shoot a ton of threes, you're not shooting a ton of free throws. That's usually synonymous. So we this is just game six. So we're going to see, is this common theme, is this consistent in all of the games? Did the Warriors shoot a ton of threes and basically say, we're going to chuck threes and we're not going to be aggressive and get to the free throw line? So we can go to game five. We can look at the game five stats. 
Did y'all want to say conspiracy? And this is the game where the Golden State Warriors won. So the Golden State Warriors won. What was the big difference here, y'all? Oh, they weren't shooting under 30% from the three-point line. They shot close to 40%. So they shot less threes at a higher percentage. They got to the free throw line a little bit more, right? And they win the game. See, they look the Warriors look like a much different team when them threes are falling. When them threes start falling, they're hard to defend. Right, because you're not getting out into transition as much, and and, and, and 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 you know some of their shooters just get hot. They shot fewer threes, which meant they were going to the basket more. Remember, this game five, this was the game where what Wiggins lived in the paint. He consistently attacked the rim. He was getting a ton of and ones. Right. Let's Same with Draymond. Like he, let's not act like yeah, Draymond's. This is a Draymond's twenty point game, right? Remember, everybody kept talking about the Warriors can only win if Draymond decides to get aggressive and starts to put his head down and score. Draymond started going to the basket. And when he caught the ball, he wasn't being hesitant with that jumper. He was just letting it fly. 20 points from Draymond, 20-point game from Wiggins. Curry had a good game, and he was also facilitating really well. That leads to a win because they're they're because Draymond and Wiggins were attacking the basket. That's why they win. Now you go to game four. We go to game four. Let's see what happened there. And so game four, the, the, the Warriors, uh-oh, uh-oh. All the Warriors decide to go right back to that nonsense. 12 of 41 from the three-point line. 29%. So they shot 86 shots. Half of their shots were misses from the three-point line. Oh, that's why they was losing. Because they living on the three-point line. So you have another loss where they shoot a million threes and miss a ton. Sitting in the Lakers into a ton of transition opportunities off a long yeah. rebound, and, and that so, game there was a lot of there was a lot of transition fouls if you and, remember. So. And when you get to the free throws, the Warriors only really shot eight more free throws. So this is this wasn't even a game that was decided by the free throw line. This was really decided when the Lakers went to the free throw line. These motherfuckers just didn't miss because if anybody misses free throws in this game, they oh, lose. The game over. They lose. So yeah, they not only 20, that. So th that so this is game this is this is um this is game 4. So the Warriors lose they shoot a ton of threes. They shoot 29% from the three. Half of their shots were three-point misses. That's why they lost cuz these cuz they 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 made a concerted effort just to chuck threes and not drive and get the easy buckets or even try to create anything. Um and, and you can you can go to all the other stats and metrics that that all support the Lakers for winning, but I think that three point line has been a death sentence. We go to we can go to game three and game one. Let me go to just game three because I want to show y'all. Since everybody wants to run conspiracy, the conspiracy was y'all should have somebody should have ran to Steve Kerr, emailed him or something, and told him to stop, tell his team to stop shooting so many threes. All right, so Lakers blow out the Warriors in this blowout loss. Uh oh, the Warriors again half of their shots from the three point line. They shoot 29% from the three, 13 of 44, far below the NBA average. So uh, they shoot while the Lakers shoot close to 50% from the three-point line. Refs don't got nothing to do about that. So while the Warriors are chucking up another 43s, they shooting it at a low percentage, and they not spending time getting to the baskets, getting to the free throw line. It doesn't surprise me that they got their ass blown out by the goddamn Lakers. Boom. <laughs> Right here. So, again, another efficient game by the Lakers. 52% from the field. They shot 80 shots. This is another game where the Warriors had more shots on goal, but they spent most of the time chucking up a ton of threes at a low volume, which led to one of the reasons why they got their ass blown the fuck out. So, boom. Another game, same trends. Let's go to Warriors-Lakers game two. This is one where they actually won. Okay, so once they when they won again... Let's see what the common theme is when they actually win. And this is when we saw the Lakers clearly wave the white flag early. All right. Uh-oh. What did the Warriors do good in this game? Oh, they made 50% of their threes. 
Oh, them threes was falling. Clay Thompson had made a ton. See, oh, the, the threes was falling this game. And even and with the threes falling, they still didn't get to the free throw line a ton. So they blow the Lakers out. They still only went to the free throw line 16 times. Right? But the only difference is that they made their threes. When you're shooting 50% from the three-point line, you damn near going to be unbeatable, especially if you shoot make 21 of them. How many right? times the Lakers went to the well, line? 17. Remember the only exactly. difference in this. The only difference in this game is that, as opposed to Warriors shooting twenty nine percent from the three, they shot fifty percent from the three point line in this game. See, the threes was falling, right? Remember, this was the game where they made a a, a, a change on the defense, and they had Austin Reeves on Clay Thompson, and Clay Thompson kept getting loose off those yep. pin downs, and Clay Thompson went ballistic from the three point line. So they made a bad defensive adjustment. And they got punished for it. Clay got hot, and once the Warriors got hot and started making all those threes, the war the Lakers really couldn't do nothing to really null nullify that. And so they waved the white flag early. But this is the game where LeBron James walked up to Darvin Ham smiling, right? Said, "Yeah, yeah, we 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 know the formula. We didn't work this game, but we know the formula." And so they they waved the white flag on this one. But the key difference is the Warriors made threes. They didn't shoot 29% from the three-point line, and they won. Now we go to game one, which game one, game one is where I feel the Warriors played their best game of the playoffs and still lost. That <laughs> why up. Oh, stats pull up. Look, I want know. I want to know where the Nuggets at. Look at where the Nuggets at. I don't care about the Nuggets right now. No, we need to know now because y'all be making all these excuses. Hey, that's, these, how you know you these, that. that's how you know you lost that. That's how you know you lost that argument. Where the Nuggets at? We're driving them all that. Hey, you got cooked, so you got to move the goal post. Free throws. Hold on, we got right here. Huh? So, so we got this game right here. This was this was the game where so the Warriors had 106 shots on goal. Half of their shots, half of their shots was from the three-point line. And they shot 39%. This was the best game that they played in the playoffs. And they lost this game because at the end of the game, they had no shot discipline. They still chucked up bad threes late in the game and they found themselves losing that game. But going into the fourth, they were shooting the ball crazy. Um Lakers shot the ball horribly. But they stayed the course, and they stayed consistent in their game plan, which was attacking the rim, and they got to the free throw line a ton. The Warriors only went to the free throw line six times. But we know that shot, already. But, but yeah. I know, but that, what I'm saying to you, Skyler, is if a team shoots 53 three-point shots, what opportunities are there for the ref to give them additional free throws to balance it? Remember Easy. The Warriors, Look up. The, check remember, this out. Check this remember out. Remember the Warriors – the Warriors, I want you to take this consideration before you get your take. The Warriors were right. number one in the NBA in fouling. So they foul the most. So how so we go into the game knowing that the Warriors are going to hack and foul. All right. So they're gonna send the Lakers to the free throw line because that's just what they do. They foul. How do the refs create fouls for a Warrior team that shoots 53 threes? How do they create free throws for this team? I'm gonna show you how you manipulating the stats, right? The only way you can oh. determine. I'm gonna show you. Nah, 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 nah. Cause you saying that they ain't go to the paint. The only way you, you can determine if them people was in the paint or not. They shot fifty three threes. Set the points in the paint. Not how many through paint, Bro. man. That means Bro. they had, had to go to the paint. Bro, oh, they shot fifty three three pointers. <laughs> They, if you shoot 53 three-pointers, I can only assume you're not really driving a lot. Hold on, hold on. What, what does what, that have? Bro, they <laughs> shot 53 threes. That tells me you spend more do time with it. Shooting. That's what I'm Okay, so, so they shot 53 threes. That means their other 53 shots were twos, right? Now, when we, when we, re, when we recall how they drove, when we look at the guys, like – we know that Clay made some twos. We know Draymond made some twos. We know Looney made some twos. None of those guys are looked at as aggressive attackers when they get the ball. 
So if they score twos, these are probably layups at the rim. These are probably mid-range shots. These are probably not shots that they're taking where they're aggressively creating contact, really making the ref blow the whistle. The only player that was doing that for the Warriors was Wiggins. And when he did that, they won a game. Nobody else was doing it. But this is my thing, though, Lamont. Just look at it this way, man. I, I, I heard all your little stats. I heard all that. But just look at it this way. The Lakers shot more free throws than the Warriors shot three. Just look at it that way. That is not true. Bro. That's not true. Yes, it what? is. That is not true. Yes, it is. Let me see how many, me see how many quarters that were. The, remember, in the, in the, hold on, hold on. Lamont, in this series, what? in this series, the Lakers shot 160 th- uh, free throws. In this series. The they shot 160 feet, bro. Do you know the wait, wait, wait. Let me finish what I'm trying to say. Let me, let, but, but wait, let, let me finish what I'm trying to say. Let me finish what I'm trying to say. What I'm saying is, I'm talking about per game, per game. I ain't talking about like in, in total. I'm talking about per game. Like each game, the Lakers shot more free throws than the than the Warriors shot three no, per didn't. game, like per, lie, per average, per average. No, but I mean, you, bro, bro, <laughs> you, bro, bro, all you gotta, bro, for all average. you gotta do is look at. You can look at the screen right now. The, the Lakers shot twenty nine free throws. Hold on, I gotta the zoom Warriors in, shot fifty three threes. Like, what are you talking about, bro? bro? The Lakers that ain't shot. What I'm, that ain't look, what I'm this game right about, here, bro. the Lakers, the Warriors that, that shot fifty three threes. That, that's not what I was saying. Y- y'all missing what I'm saying. You said That's not per game, game, bro. Can I can no, I say can I say something real game. quick, man? Can I say something real quick? I just want to say this one thing real quick because we talking about all this this free throw disparity and the Lakers getting all the calls. We know that LeBron is bigger than the Warriors starting center, right? And Kevon Looney. We know that Jared Vanderbilt is the same size as Kevon Looney. We know AD is taller than both Looney and Draymond. So what are we? What are we complaining about? The Lakers are the overall bigger team. The Warriors can't do nothing but foul. They can't guard nobody. So, so, so you're telling me? Throw- so you're telling me that war- that warrants 42 free throws? Yes, hacking the basket, bro. That's I just crazy. said, bro. The that, Lakers that's an astronomical the, amount of free throws. The, the, a lot of free throws. Listen, listen, listen. The Lakers starting small forward is bigger than the Warriors starting center. <laughs> Ain't nobody like, filing that one, bro. bro. So ain't wait, nobody what, filing what other, that one. Hold on, hold on, what, what, what other choice? Hey, what other choice do the Warriors got of guarding the Lakers? What other That's choice do they got but filing? You put two free throws. Poole, a lot you put of throws for listen, listen. You hold on, listen. You put Jordan Poole, Dante Divincenzo on the court with Steph Curry and Clay. Nobody's bigger than six six. And you look at the Lakers starting lineup. They smallest player is six four in Austin Reeves. You know what I y'all know what I don't like about Laker fans? They've been losing so much. They don't care how they get a win as long as they get one. <laughs> Real talk. Hey, they don't care. Hey, like wait, they, wait, wait, they wait. would never they take a game that's hey. unfair and make it fair hey, just to feel good. Like they know that shit ain't right. Hey, if you yeah. watch them games, you know that ain't right, man. So was you saying that when the Warriors so you t- teams, bro? Was you saying I'm that? Not same a, look, game? hold on. FYF. FYF. Let them know I'm not no Warriors fan. Let them know. I don't know what you are, man. We, 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 I'm, we I'm a Pelican that, fan. I'm a Pelican fan. Y'all know that already. I'm bro, a, you can't this Oh, yeah, so that I Andy watched, run strong. Nah, nah, nah. I watch hey, Lamont, this my bro. for entertainment. Hey, Lamont, my brother, man. So, you, so are you sitting here saying you. that the I fact that... Also. Go ahead, bro. My fault. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Hey, I feel you on know, some things, Lamont, but... Disparity in points in the paint was a far off. Like in a lot of those games, go to state, score more points in the paint than the Lakers. So the point being, yes, yeah, but that's can those point can I cook them on this, bro? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can I cook them on this, Lamont? Hold on, hold on. No, let me say one thing. Hold First on. of all, a ton of the Lakers points in the paint. Even if you look to, even if you look to the game yesterday, a ton of their points in the paint are created from Looney grabbing a ton of offensive rebounds and just putting the ball right so back Steph in. Curry was or penetrate, or was Steph Curry like driving and kicking it off the guys that are... Remember, the, the Lakers would load up on Steph when he drove. And Steph dives it off to somebody and they make a layup. The Warriors were giving that up. They were giving that up. They were to contest the three. The Warriors they were going to load up on Clay anymore. and Steph. And so when you look... That's why I say when you look at how they drove, the Warriors were not driving to score. 
they were just driving. If they were open, they would take the layup. They weren't really trying to create contact or really go through people's bodies because the Lakers did a good job of staying vertical on a lot of those possessions. AD, we saw him going vertical a ton when guys drove. What do you want the refs to do when there's a rule of verticality? He can stay vertical. He's the biggest guy on the floor, and you got a whole bunch of small guards driving at him. What well, do, you not want, only do, what that, do you want the refs to do? You want the refs to just foul out AD off nothing? What do y'all want the refs to do? Hold on, hold on. Not only that. Hold on, hold on. Not only that. Not only that. The Lakers hey, not only that look That's at the, the – guys. Guys, not only that, look at the stat. Look at the stat, Lamont, zero to three feet. A lot of the times when the Warriors are driving to the paint, they're settling for a jump shot. Yeah, they're driving no, to the, the paint, when, when the war- but they're throwing see, up a floater or a jumper, watching, bro. Guys, they're not they going through contact. The the they switch the switch in the paint don't not always so mean the you're war- creating so contact, bro. You're settling for jumpers and floaters. When the Warriors had success, bro, they were penetrating that Lakers defense. The Lakers are not good at stopping. Okay, and Lamont, the game he's talking about, the game he's talking about, they were wide open layups. Ease. They were penetrating. Bro, the game you're talking about when they the had success, the Warriors they were, were wide open though. layups off pick and roll. That's not the day. We can't hear nothing when y'all just all start ranting. So let me get him. Let me get him. I got him, Ben. Yeah. I got him. The Warriors. Nigga, you can't the get me because nigga, you ain't watched the game. Herm, hold on. Let him get his take. I'm gonna come to you next. Herm, I promise y'all watch more to you. But the Lakers was giving up the back cuts. Every the points in the paint was wide open layups. They was free layups. That ain't gonna be no foul if the layup's free. So what are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you yeah, the game, you seen listen, him listen, listen, anytime listen, 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 all I'm talking about was the Yeah, the Arm, the game you're talking about when 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 the Warriors were getting in the paint, which was I, I believe uh Game. It was multiple uh, games. It was, it was multiple games. games. Game. It was multiple it was the, games. Well, game five, but game four. It was, it was game four. It count because they fouled them. That, that count as a free yeah, throw. Yeah, but game four, they was the paint no, the most. Listen, listen. It was the game they 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 put Gary Payton in the lineup, pull AD off the game paint. Game five. Exactly. That's the, yep. That's, that's the only game, game where four. The, the points in the paint was matching. So y'all basically y'all basically saying that a jump shooting team versus a uh, uh, inside the the paint team, the jump shooting team is supposed to shoot more free throws, or the equivalent amount of free throws. As well, a, yeah, not only that, team? bro. That not only that, a lot of those pain points in Game Four were wide open. There was no, there was no defender in the area. It was off they pick and roll. The guy was wide out, open. Then run a flick action with Draymond. But how you gonna get a foul on that situation, bro? Hey, There's hey, no one there. Hey, hey, Hearn, let me let me ask you a question. You you the coach of the Lakers, right? What are you telling your team to do? You telling your team to match the Warriors shot for shot, or you telling them getting the paint against them little boys? What are you doing as a coach? Like I said, man. man all this, with all nobody talk, to see, man. All this talk about the these free throws, but nobody pointing out that LeBron and is Mingo, you the Warriors starting center. Like, hey man, the I, Bulls I used to do no this. The Bulls that. did this in the '90s, bro. Look at the Bulls stats. The Bulls had huge uh, free throw discrepancies in the '90s because this is what they used to do. Man, y'all don't care. Y'all league of fans just want to win. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't. Care. Y'all know that ain't right, man. <laughs> he wouldn't and be I'm saying not that. Even a yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> y'all keep saying this ain't right. <laughs> but dude, what's not right? Because y'all that no, desperate for no, wins, but, and but y'all Skyler, know the only thing that's not right. Is that the Lakers? I mean, the Warriors' bad habits that they carried into the postseason just came back to haunt them. Yeah, they were careless number, with the ball, they, man. They was number one in the NBA in fouls per game, and those fouls per game came back to haunt them because they didn't have the offense to count. Well, why they shot like that against the Grizzlies? The Grizzlies go to the Hold on, hold on. It's, it's a different matchup, different series, different styles. No, what I'm saying is, why they shot what more free throws the than the Grizzlies did? Hold on. Everybody, they, they did shoot more than the Grizzlies. Then. Hold on, Skyler. Skyler. Hold on. They, they did shoot they more than the Grizzlies. Against this warrior. Hold on. Against they the did shoot more free throws than the Grizzlies. Hold on, hold on y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Y'all keep missing the point. The Warriors all year long shot the least free throws per game, but fouled the most. All year long, the Lakers shot the most free throws per game, and they one of the teams that fouled the least. Hey, hey, Lamont, Why do y'all also, expect they that to change now? The ball, they also were careless with the ball. The Warriors were one of the first teams to turn over the ball as well. Well, they, they led were, the league in turnovers, I believe. If they if they yeah, didn't lead, yeah. they were the, they were a top five. 
Yeah, they were top five. They was careless with the ball. That's what led to their uh, downfall with the Lakers were the turnovers, unnecessary turnovers, which led to easy transition points for the Lakers. And today, Golden State Warriors been careless all year and they caught up with them. It's not necessarily about the fouls. You can still foul a lot and still be cool. It's the fact that they never take care of the ball. They've been careless with the ball all year long. Hey, and that's something's wrong got with your mic, man. Something's wrong with your mic. Huh? I'm not bad. My bad, bro. We we also got to say this too, just because it was a lot of fouls. Not every foul the Warriors committed was a foul uh, for the Lakers trying to get a layup. Some of them was defense the second, uh, three seconds. Some of them was, you know, what I'm saying plays away from the ball, off ball screen fouls, like bonus. Like it wasn't just man, oh, the, every, the and, and let's not also act like every call like went the Lakers' way, bro. It did. Every call went the Lakers' way. Don't act okay, like so you think Schroeder should have been saw. ejected? Do you think Schroeder should have been right. ejected? Man, and, and Schroeder and Steph what? No. Steph no. shot a free throw bro, after that, bro, too. Bro, Draymond, hey, Draymond gets away with murder, bro. Draymond Draymond oh, get away man. with murder, bro. Draymond, Draymond, that Draymond boy should have had like Draymond 15 texts in this series. The Lakers, Draymond the, the only player in the league that can run up on the ref like he about to slap him or something. Draymond, the only player. Bro, he straight up told the ref in game five, give me a tech. Give me a tech. The Laker guards be flopping though. You got LeBron, you gotta, the only one I know talked about flopping. the refs and they ain't getting no fine. They be flopping. The Lakers guards be flopping. Reeves, Shrewd hold on, be flopping hold on. too. Yeah, yeah, but but all in Hollywood, we can say we can you can say that they flop. How, why was y'all not worried about? Nobody was talking about the the Warriors during the regular season when. They was the most fouling team in the NBA. Y'all wasn't saying all these. So was all the teams that played against the Warriors flopping? Because the Warriors led the league in fouls per game. So does everybody just start flopping when they play the Warriors? Is that the strategy? No, I'm just saying. you got, y'all So got... how did the Warriors lead the league in fouls per game? But all of a sudden now when they play the Lakers, everybody just flopping. It's not no, the Warriors just fouling. No. The it was more should... about the turnovers for me than the fouls. The question it should be why the, why the Lakers was like at the bottom 13 and then when they went to shoot more free throws than everybody after the um, All-Star break, they wind up in the own um, play in and then the playoff, they're doing bro, the Bro, it wasn't thing. about That's the free important. throws, bro. It was about the Warriors not being they careless with the ball, bro. They the they, Lakers, they, the was, Lakers, they were making a lot of bad all turnovers. Right. Name bro. a team. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Name a team that shot 40 to eight, 40 to eight free throws that's in the NBA and they and they still lost that game. Whoa, I gotta do it bring up the Shaq and Kobe Lakers, nigga. That's the answer right now. Thank and you. they lost the game. That's all you gotta bring up right now. No, yeah, and they, they lost the game. Give the Lakers some credit. Even with, with the my, Spurs. Even no, with you ain't listening to what I'm saying. Name a they team a that shot eight free throws and won the game to somebody, another team for it. I'm not just going to play those free throws, bro. I, I ain't going to do that. Oh, I got a question. I got it's just the truth. I got a question for Buddy. Let me ask you a question, Buddy, that, that's having an issue with the, the, the free throw disparity. Do you complain when the when the Warriors are hot from the three point line and they're making more three pointers than their opposing team, do you get do you get out of shape when you when you, when you experience that? This is what you don't understand. I'm not a Warrior fan. I'm tired. I'm not, of I didn't say I didn't say, I didn't say I didn't no. say you were. I'm, I didn't say you were. I'm asking you from a, a logical standpoint. Do you feel outrage when you're looking at a Warriors team who shoot and make more three pointers than the opposing team? Yes or no? No. If they shoot, they make so, it. If they make okay, it. so 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 so, why do you feel the same? Because there's a free throw disparity. This is style of play. All right. The Warriors' style of play enables them when they're hot. There's going to be a disparity in their free in, in their three pointers. That's just the so way the game the point goes. I'm that. Now you, you Warriors, I got a question, got a question for you. They ain't got shit to do with them oh, damn Herm. free throws. Oh, we heard that, Herm. We heard it, Herm. They, they That's what I'm trying to tell you. I know they don't got nothing to do with the free throw. The, the basically the referee determined the games with shooting that many free throws, bro. That's, oh I don't God. care what y'all I mean, say. I mean, no one complained about this when the Bulls, so when the Bulls had all those free throw discrepancies. So, while, so what you want is you want to cre- create a scenario where the Warriors have a built-in advantage, which means if a team decides we're going to attack this Golden State Warrior team on the interior because they don't have size, you want to reward the Warriors while they're out on the perimeter chucking up threes, not being aggressive. You want to reward the Warriors by the refs not giving the other team foul calls 
just because they're attacking on the interior, being aggressive and bullying the smaller players. No, that that's not true. Let me answer that, that's LYF. Okay. That's not true. Mm -hmm. That's not true. That's what I'm trying to tell you, LYF. It did this just happen to the Warriors. They do that to everybody. Who? Y'all making it about the Warriors. No, it's you're not making about it, the Warriors. Uh, uh, that's what y'all don't understand. But they Skyler, get them called Skyler, against Skyler, everybody. Stop, stop, Skyler, Skyler. The Lakers shoot the most free throws against everybody, just like the Warriors have the most fouls against everybody. Oh, man. All so right, everybody, y'all acting like this is just a, something that just started happening with the Lakers. The, Man, the, the Lakers beat everybody, everybody by all three year. Throws. So, so they just got the best defense. That's what y'all are telling me. No, nah, but you see it with Denver. They got the best defense. They have the number one defense. You may have a point. They may have a point if you see it with Denver. The Lakers got a point. 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 I don't know about that, bro. They locked up the best. They they locked up the splash bros. How they not go in the perimeter? Man, hey, Clay that's Thompson, not what I'm saying. Hey, if we see the piece of the spirit, if, if you watch devil, hoop, he may have a point. But if right you watch now, hoop, you can't use them. Again. How they hoop, not go in the perimeter, bro? They locked up listen, the listen, splash if bros. Hoop, if you hoop, Clay Thompson missed a whole bunch of open shots. Steph Curry missed a whole bunch of open. Them open. They, they made up. Like, hold on, but hey, but the Lakers made it hard. The Lakers made it hard on him, though. Most of those shots were yeah, not open. Yeah. As, as the Lakers, the Lakers gave him hell. But you supposed to do that. So how they not got good on the, the perimeter, the, then, bro? They locked up. They locked up the two best not. perimeter players in the league. Man, we not. Well, Lamar, can you think like the Warriors? Think I don't think got... them people are supposed to make it past Memphis. Me being out. Well, the Warriors, you can't, can't, if you hoop, you can't, can't hoop, beat nobody. Get no calls bro. one way. You can't win. Hey, the war. Hey, the war has best perimeter players, and they locked them up. What, what are we if saying? You, if you hoop. That's not locking up nobody. If you giving the greatest shooters open, how did they not lock them up, bro? How did they not lock them up? They locked up Jordan Poole. They locked up Clay Thompson, and who had held Curry and check for the most? You have to. You have to give Curry three point. Hey, Lamont, look at Curry's three point shot. Look at Curry's three point shot. Look up his. Hold on, let me. The one thing I do want to say is they did a really good job of. Keeping bodies on Jordan Poole. They defended. See, Jordan Poole really thrives off uh, undisciplined defenders fouling him, and he starts to get hot. And the fouls give him additional space later in the game because they want to play off of him. The one thing the Lakers did was they stayed attached to the shooters. With Clay, he shot what, three of what, 19 or three or four? He shot horribly yesterday because the Warriors said, we're just going to keep a body on them at all times, off ball especially. Remember that in game two where they put Reeves on them, a guy that's not as good off ball, Clay got loose and went ballistic. They said, ah, we can't do that no more. We got to go back to what we was doing. So they made adjustment. It didn't work. Clay got loose, so they had to go back to what was working, keeping guys who are more active off ball on those shooters because a lot of the, the, late, the Warriors' reads – are misdirection reads that are operating on the weak side. So if you look to that game-winning play where LeBron James blew up that hammer action, Draymond was green was driving on the completely opposite side of the floor while while there was a pin down happening and Clay was trying to get to the corner. What did LeBron blew it up? Said AD switch. AD dropped jumped right into that passing lane where Clay was stole the pass. Draymond had nowhere to go with the ball. So you gotta find you gotta. Give the Lakers credit because they just stay disciplined. I yeah, am, ain't nobody want to give them credit. Y'all got to ask credit. you a question, Lamont. Lamont, 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 Lamont. You can, what, what? Go ahead, bro. Go Lamont, ahead, go ahead. how many open threes did Clay Thompson miss and Steph Curry miss? Is it, is I, I don't know how many open shots no, they had. No, I just know no, that this, this, if you watch, the I game, know the Lakers right? really spared the shooters up because they that, kept bodies in front of them. Right. I, I and one thing that bothers shooters. Is when you consistently have pressure on them all game. When you do get that open look, they now rush. you're sped up because now you're thinking about guys running at you, running behind you, and you. So now you're sped up, and it affects you. It affects your mentality. Man, LYF they made a whole scenario in his head that's all cap. You can hey, say I, that. You can say that. But the problem cap. is what played out on the court. The numbers explain themselves. I, Man, I, the Warriors, numbers. Them people all the shot Warriors, them down there every game. Oh, okay, then, like they you, won by three throws. Explain, what are you okay, talking so, about? So, so if <laughs> I tell you, <laughs> so let me tell you this, Kyler. So if I tell you that a team shot 53s and shot 29% from the three-point line and they lost, would you be surprised? 
You acting like you acting if like the Lakers. Team, what the Lakers I, was shooting no, for the three points? You acting like it was all the world. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, look, look, yeah. Let's take the names off the teams. If I tell you that one team shot fifty percent from the three point line, and another team shot twenty nine percent from the three point line, and they shot forty or fifty threes, and I'm gonna say, tell me which team you think won: the team that shot fifty percent from the three point line or the team that shot over half their shots from the three, but they only shot twenty nine percent. Who do you think won that game, Skyler? That could go either way. Numbers. No, no, no. Don't no, that's not, that's that can't not. go either way. You just heard you it. Hit two. Yeah, that's a what if you hit both twos? What if you hit both twos? Skyler, Skyler, Skyler. But that's why anybody can win that. Skyler, what you mean? Skyler, you just yelling, but that's why I said this team, the Warriors were shooting 40 and 53s. No, you can't over hit half, me with the numbers. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If I take hold, one three point in. Skyler, 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 you just ranting, but you see, you throwing, you trying to filibuster and talk about stuff that's irrelevant. Over half their shots were misses from the three point line. Over yeah. half of their shots and their losses were misses from the three point line. Yo, he not understanding the percentages, man. And when you shoot twenty nine percent from the three point line, and over half your shots are from the three, how do you expect that team to win and get quality shots? How? Hey Lamont, hey Lamont, that one that game you talking about where the the Warriors shot fifty three threes. The Lakers only shot 87 total shots that game. But we sitting here talking about we we sitting here talking about free throws and 53 three pointers took to a team that took 87 total shots the whole game. That's the story right there. Why was that? Bro? I don't, I, I, why was that? Because why because Golden State is a jump shooting team. What you mean? They shot fifty three threes. That's not the why Lakers. Shot, the Lakers in Lakers total 80 took eighty seven shots. shots that's though. not why they shot eighty seven shots, bro. Either the, either you're turning the ball over or you're not making shots, and the other team is getting more possessions than you. No, the Warriors got hard, more bro. possessions because they got a ton of offensive rebounds. It's even that's what I'm, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm, but, I'm asking but, him to break it but, down. But Holly, but here's the problem. But listen to what I'm just saying. Even with yesterday's game. Yeah. The Warriors would get second chance shots, but what would they do? They kick it out and shoot another three. How many yeah, times they, yesterday did you see them kick it out off an offensive rebound and shoot another three? I agree, Lamont. You got to get a lecture. So, what I'm credit. saying is, if you go, I, I saw a possession. Well, how they get their points in the play then? I, I saw That's why I have. Hold on, they just shoot threes. I'm talking to Holly. I saw a possession yesterday where the Warriors shot three threes in one possession, all misses, and then it ended. Because Draymond Green got an offensive rebound, Looney got an offensive rebound, and on the last miss, AD got the rebound, and the, and the Lakers off to the races off a long rebound and get a layup. Zero for three. So you completely, mm -hmm. so you're completely going away. Remember, they couldn't go to Wiggins. Wiggins couldn't really attack the same because he had the rib issue. So your your weapon as far as attacking the basket now is no longer a threat. So they I had see. to. So, this styles make fights. A yeah. team that chucks up that many threes, if you're not shooting them at a high percentage, you're never going to win games, not consistently I, I, against good teams. I agree. Look at the end of game four, man. Look at the end of game four where Steph Curry it's had crazy. AD isoed out at the at the top of the key. What do he do? Step back mid-range. Draymond get hey. the rebound. What Steph they, do? They, Take a 28-footer. The boys, yeah, like, the that's boys the, 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 the team. But I seen I seen Steph make that shot. Them boys live with that. That's what they say after the game. We I live with that shot. That's Steph. I understand. But listen, but listen, listen, listen. I understand, listen, 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 just, listen. I under, I understand that, but you gotta year, understand. Bro. Okay, I under, I understand that, but <laughs> this, this whole complaint defense, about is, Laker free throws and all that, that that don't matter. When I just gave you an example, a Steph could have drove the lane and got a foul. Got a foul. You know what I'm saying? He. We can say that. We, we can say that all day. Steph did what he wanted to do at the end of the day. He missed two shots, and that's just what it is. The Warriors so was missing. Jump so, shots. so don't put that on the Lakers, though. So don't blame the Lakers for, for doing what they do and attacking no, the paint. That's what they. That's what, they, you, that's what the Warriors to, do. They you're supposed shoot to play to your strength. You supposed to play to your strength. Right. That's that's all. You're and that's all. That's that. all we that's saying. So when right. So when we see the free. Right, so when we see this free throw disparity and we complaining about free throws, what you just said should be applied. Play to your strengths. I mean, That's all the Lakers what, did. What I, all what right, I'm well, why, did, why is the listen, free throw disparity against every team in the NBA with the Lakers then? Even I, the one I'm with good pick men. Exactly. Well, hold on, hold on. Why was the free throw disparity? Y'all keep making the excuses no, about No, Skyler, let me ask you this question. Why was the free throw disparity always in favor of the team when the Warriors played? 
See, y'all making it about the Warriors. I'm talking about the Lakers. You we missing all the point, know bro. that it is not. We, uh, we, we all the know Lakers, that Lakers the Lakers do are the worst show than any team they play. It don't matter. I told Can y'all, I tell I'm you not a Warriors because the Lakers are the worst shooting, one of the worst shooting so teams. If you in the, the Lakers are one of the worst shooting teams in the league. The Lakers are one of the worst shooting teams in the league. If and I they so win if it, I if I watch a game and I see they don't foul. Darvin Ham do a good job. I watch the aims of defense. If I watch a if I watch a game and I see the Lakers shoot 53 threes like the Warriors did, that's a bad game for the Lakers. If I see the Lakers put up 40 threes in the game, that's a bad game for the Lakers. That's not their game. I, it's just yeah, it's I, just amazing to me how you finally get a team that is going against the grain of what we commonly see in this era as far as as opposed to chucking up a ton of threes. They decide we're going to stick to our guns. We're going to play through our bigs. We're going to attack the basket. We're going to kind of do it that old style way. And when they do do it that way and get rewarded at the free throw line because they've been aggressive against a smaller team, now y'all mad. See, y'all wanted the Lakers to do what the Sacramento Kings did, which was try to go toe for toe with the Warriors, shooting the ball and playing at a ridiculous pace. See, well, that's, why? What, that's, why the, that's why the Kings lost, because they tried to outdo the Warriors at what they do best. And well, the Memphis, Memphis normally go to the rim a lot. They did that, that thing. They ain't get as many calls neither. Man, look, jump, so jump who right. getting the calls? But look who you got. Look that's how you, look, look man, how you, got, not look you got drive in the rim. You got but, but at the end of the day, Skyler, the we, one we, thing that the, look, the, the reason why the Lakers – series, who is the, the reason why the Lakers are one of the best defensive teams is because when guys do drive – what did you see LeBron in there doing? He was taking charges. Remember, even when some of those charges were challenged, they were upheld in the Lakers' favor because he was there. AD was going vertical. Remember, Man, and the guys that they, in the the guys speed, that they were sending that. to the rim, look at their big man. Y'all see the big man that they had sending to the rim? Who, who is that guy? I want y'all to tell me about that. Look at the players that they had. He's going to the rim. And they I didn't have... My- Y'all, y'all act like they were sending stellar stars to the rim. Xavier right players. Man, stop. Josh Xavier Jackson Tillman versus Jr. AD. Like, Who you think that match? Take the Milwaukee Bucks numbers. Dylan Brooks. Ham defense. They was one of the least foul teams in the thing. Darvin Ham is known for teaching good hands up versus verticality defense. Praise the coach. He got the guys to buy in. They don't foul. If you watch the games, you see that they don't foul. They would rather you just go by you and get the layup than rather foul you. You a Laker yeah. fan, huh? You will see that. Y'all do oh anything. God, Lakers, Lakers, Why is Lakers, everybody Lakers Lakers fans for you? Why everybody got to be Laker fans just because they don't agree with you? Because, I can't. I just, because, really because the foul, foul happened on every – Look, hold just, on. FYL, yeah, what's good, what's good, yeah, on man, every play. No, what they going to call foul is a foul. Foul happened on every plea. Somebody you know, gets touched on every plea. I just plea. can't believe. I just can't. I just can't. I just can't believe we in twenty the year twenty twenty three, and we just now realizing the Warriors is a jump shooting team that follows. Yeah, know, like right? they just, we, they, we've they, seen no, this since twenty sixteen. They just won like the we've seen it. Like year, bro. come on, they just won it. Like they just won the championship last year. So that's cap. What you saying this year? You can say that this year. I, I watch basketball. I watch the games. Shooter be fouling, them them every uh, them guards on the perimeters be fouling. When when the war when the uh when the Warriors on defense, who they foul? Give me an example. No, no, hold on. So, I'm, so I'm gonna explain what to is you. what is the listen? Listen to me. You can't just they be fouling. You don't give me no, an example. No, no. But listen, the games I watch, I'm talking about on the Cook perimeter. Him. The Lakers is a great interior defensive team. On the perimeter, they're not that great. That's they're cow. Not. That's that cow. Is, uh, what are you doing? Why would you use some numbers to clarify everything? The Lakers drive to the rim 25 times a game. The Warriors drive to the rim more than they do. It was a 37. All right, hold on, y'all. Eight. We about to look I at some of these fouls. And free throw. I told him that. I hold mean, on, y'all. We about to look at some of these fouls. Hold on. We about okay, to look at these please, fouls. Please, Lamont, please. We got to look at it. It was 286 to 266 Hold on, y'all. We know that. We got to look at it because I want to see who capped <laughs> Come on, So man. we going we gonna to see. I will, now, we going to go through these plays. We got six minutes of defensive <laughs> plays. We're going to see if these That's are fouls. We're going to play fake ref now, all right? So we're going to play fake ref. The Lakers were at the hey, bottom. Front, of the you foul there? Uh-oh. Lamont, this last game, the Warriors, the Warriors got up 100 shots. 
The Lakers got 75. I don't want to know. Y'all need to And then 43 of them Island. were free uh-uh. throws. 43 of them? Uh, Lamont, you, you, you they played man. terrible. Come hey, on, look, bro. check this out. This is what y'all failing to realize, too. Why do I keep hearing that same statement, what we failing to realize? The video is playing on the screen. We ain't failing to realize nothing. We about to play the video, and I want to see, like, I'm going through a whole bunch of defensive plays, and I'm looking for these so-called fouls that y'all talking about. Or are the Warriors just taking a ton of contested shots and missing them? So we're going to keep playing this. And I want to see. And I want y'all to only talk when y'all see a foul that the refs missed. So if you ain't telling me a foul, I ain't trying to hear it. We're going to play this some more. We're going to keep playing it. Keep playing it. Good contest, missed shot. Okay, he didn't drive. Okay, uh-oh, Steph Curry driving. Uh-oh, Gary Payton, let him shoot. He can't make those. Uh oh, second chance point. Uh oh, jump no. shot contested. Did he get fouled, y'all? <laughs> okay, hold on. Steph Curry driving. AD's there. Contested shot. Did he get fouled? Okay, another missed shot. Uh oh, Gary Payton in the lane. Steph Curry contested. Missed a shot. Did he get fouled? Uh oh. game? AD what game hold on. I don't want to hear it, Skyler. <laughs> I don't want to hear I only want you to talk when you see a foul. That, that ain't no foul. Schroeder, Schroeder contest. Oh, oh, hold on. No, I don't want to hear it unless you see a foul. Talk to me That's when a you foul. see a foul. That's a foul. Right, I just right. saw hey, it. That's a foul. That's the other one. Rewind that, Lamont. Rewind that, Lamont. Hold on. on. Rewind that, Rewind that, Lamont. He saw a foul. Hold on. Rewind, Rewind, Rewind that on Clay uh, in the post. Rewind that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rewind that. Uh-oh. Good hands. Kick nope. out. The, the play Contest after that. It. Miss. The play after that. All right, that. hold on. Go to Clay. Man, you cap it. You cap it, Yeah, he don't want to go back to it, but I just told him. Go Clay back Thompson. to the play. Clay Thompson. Hold on. What play? The Clay Thompson was uh when Wait, he shot that fadeaway. Let's go on back Cruiser. this far. Because I don't know where it was at, so I'm just right going to go there. back here. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Right there. We're going to see. We're going to see. Hold on. We're going to see. Tell me the post. Hold on. We're going to see. Good post. Yeah. Where's the foul? Right there. Right there. Look, 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 look. Shut up, bro. That ain't no foul. It was he right reads it. That's that a foul, foul, man. He reads it. Come on, reach that. Come on, yeah, that's man. a foul. You don't do that. You get a foul for Come reading. On, Lamont. You can't do that. You, you oh can't be Lamont. Stop. Going that for the ticky tag. Now we're going out for the. Wow. Now we're going out. Now we're looking at these kind of fouls. Look, hold on. Listen. Listen to what they begging for, y'all. Listen to what they begging for. They begging for this. They a reach where he didn't even touch him. They begging for this. Look at this. Hold yeah, on. Y'all capping. What are you doing? They, they want the ticky tag file. Look at this. Okay. Clay, look, no, 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 no. See, this way you manipulated it. We need Where, to see on, the on. Lakers file. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, yeah, we ain't talking about, about your man. Get no free throw. You talking about the Lakers. Because y'all crying about the Warriors not going to the free throw line. I'm just looking at the quality of shots they taking. So we look at the quality of shots they taking. I'm going to let it keep playing. Shots they normally make. I want you to show me a real foul. Shots they normally Where's the make. Foul? Where's you the foul? These are good contests. Where's the foul? Show me some fouls, y'all. I'm going to let it keep playing. Y'all stop me when we get to a foul that the rep missed. Good contest. Smother. Turnover right there. Uh-oh. Lakers off the transition again. Steph Curry can't get in the paint. Uh-oh. Turnover. <laughs> they call it travel. Uh-oh. DiVincenzo trying to go one-on-one with AD. Nope. Contest. No, stay in front. Contest. Hey, he didn't even, he didn't even look at the goal, Lamar. He just turned his head for the real. Oh, no. Because Steph Curry in the paint. Contest. Good defense. What are y'all talking about? Hold on. And it's not over yet. Man, we're going to let it keep playing. Bro. Steph Curry, stay in front. Good defense, Lonnie Walker. Stay in front. Contest. That was a horrible shot. Y'all want that foul? That's the end of the quarter. We ain't, we ain't saying that's a foul. That's the end of the quarter. Okay, hold on. Clay Them Thompson the fouls drive. all woo, though. Clay Thompson. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Where, where the, uh-oh, turnover. Turnover. Let me get to <laughs> Hold on. Let, Jordan Poole driving. Is this a foul? He got his shit beat. What you talking about? That ain't no foul. What are y'all talking about? Uh-oh, second chance opportunity. Get that shit Hell out no. of here. Let Dre me show you how he's manipulating the game. Let me show you how he's manipulate. We need no, to see I'm where the Lakers got no, fouled. You can't how is he manipulating the game, bro? No, I want y'all to talk when you see a foul. They we shot the free throws, not them. We need this to see where the Lakers is. This is all in possession. <laughs> Buckets. Fuck out of here. Uh-oh, hold on. Steph Curry, does he need a foul there? Did he get fouled? Where the foul at? Where Damn the foul nah, at? Stay in front. Stay in front. Stay in front. Turn over. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh-oh, hold on. Uh-oh, 80 right there. Let me get those. 
Turnover, bad shot. Actually, they oh, called actually, the foul right the foul there. there. They gave him the foul there. <laughs> yep. Uh-oh, missed shot in the paint. Clay Thompson, double team. Uh-oh, D you can't do that with AD right Turn there. Turnover. Over. Let me get those. What are y'all talking about? What are y'all talking about? Where are these imaginary fouls y'all want the Warriors to get? Where? You ain't man, ADC. you didn't edit that, man. You showing it. You, you know what's going to happen before, man. You, like you didn't edit that, man. Edit edit how, how did I edit this? I didn't edit nothing. Contested I'm three. Missed. You, miss. you ain't have to edit it in whoever miss. video you watch to edit nah, hold on, hold on. No, hold look. on, hold on. Contest. Oh, well, man, give me those. <laughs> he's showing, hey, he's showing the, he's showing the last hold game. On, hold he's showing the last game. Y'all, No, y'all said, no, this is the reason why I'm showing this game. Because y'all said. The Lakers got all them free throws. The show, war, it should have been balanced. They did. Hey, show, show us the Lakers. Lakers did. Did. Show when the Lakers drive. Show us the Lakers 45. Show the Lakers. I'm going to show you how the Lakers drive. Skyler, I'm going to show you the Lakers drive. Show us. We're going to show you first. See, the one thing I'm trying to establish now is that the Warriors wasn't doing anything to get to the free throw line. So all these imaginary foul calls that y'all want them to have were never real opportunities for them to get to the free throw line because they either getting their shit beat they driving weak or they kicking it out, chucking it up threes. So we're going to keep playing it to expose that y'all don't know what the hell y'all talking about. <laughs> keep playing it. We're going to keep playing it. Hey, off to transition because they missed a layup. Layups turn into layups on the other end. That's just basketball one-on-one. Uh-oh, Clay Thompson. Oh, they in the paint. Draymond, get that shit out of here. Was that a foul? Draymond calling for it on the ground. Hold on. We're going to run it back. Draymond Green was crying. Oh, Ray my Green was man. on the ground crying. We're going to look to see if he really got fouled. Or did AD just beat his shit? Nope. LeBron, good block. LeBron. That was a good block, man. Stop it. Uh-oh. So the double I agent guess... got knocked on the floor. Uh-oh. So LeBron. Oh. Look. So, and it turned into look, what? Transition look, on the other he, end. He calling for a foul, though. LeBron but he scored, though. Hand. The difference LeBron, is he scored. Uh-oh. I mean, Steph with a missed three. LeBron throws his hands up every time he goes Rebound. We going the other way. Clay Thompson drives. Uh oh, <laughs> Moody. We want him with the ball. Another jump. That's a jump. miss. We want him with the ball. Miss. Uh oh, Looney. We want him with the ball. Oh, Divincenzo. He done. He can't shoot those. Contested three. Air ball. Jump uh oh, hold on. Steph Curry in the paint with a floater. floater. Miss. Miss. What are y'all talking about? This is just one game. He Steph Curry. Okay, Steph Curry. What is he gonna do? Stay in front. Oh, Chuck's up a three in transition. Miss. Bias, man. He's uh oh, how biased. am I biased? This He's is all biased, they. Lamont. This is the entire. Hold on. How am I biased? This is this a is lot the of last possessions. game. I watched this game. This is a I lot of possessions game. for me to be three. biased. I watched this game too. This is this, this, this is just game. one game. This is just one game. This is yesterday's game. Uh oh, Another Clay Thompson. Three. Did he get fouled? Miss. <laughs> Another three. Clay Thompson. Did he get fouled? <laughs> Miss. What are y'all talking about, man? Uh oh, Jordan Poole. What is he? Does he attack the rim? No. Yo, I'm oh, crying. Clay, get that shit out of here. Was that a I'm foul? Crying. Was that a foul? Was it a foul? <laughs> Tell me where the fouls are. It was a block. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh -oh, okay, hold on. Uh oh, step Yo. in the paint. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> what y'all? Where's the fouls that y'all calling for? Step shoots up a horrible three, man. Let oh, me get those. Christ, We're going the other man. way. They're probably oh, gonna turn God. into a layup. Yes, transition buckets. Yo. Well, hold on. Uh oh, Steph, bat uh. passing the late. Oh, it's turnover. <laughs> this is why the Lakers won, y'all. What did y'all talk about? Transition, and I'm Bye. scoring through bodies. I don't need to foul. What are y'all talking about? Uh, what are y'all? Oh, uh oh, pool drive on, drive on the bigger guy. Can you? Nope. I'm gonna take the contested fade away. Miss. Uh oh, LeBron, uh, we're going another way. Hold on, Steph in the paint. Looney with the ball, contested. Two people on him. Miss. His arm got smacked. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Tabas arm got smacked. Uh-oh, uh -oh, miss, miss, miss. Another, so they got a second chance point. Right. Miss, off to the races. Transition bucket, because you oh, miss another three. Uh-oh, kick out for another three. Miss, contested. He didn't get fouled. Uh-oh, Steph Curry on AD. Kick out, turnover. We go another way. What are y'all talking about? Uh oh, transition because they foul too much. Foul and transition. And just so y'all right know that last Ooh, play, hold on. Now we gonna show the Lakers, y'all. Now we gonna show the Lakers. So we just saw a uh, ton of plays. Yeah. I'm crying, so, Lamar. Just hold on. Now, see, I'm not just talking. I just went to the video because the video could have did one or two things. It could have proved y'all right, or it could have proved y'all wrong. 
it proved y'all wrong as hell. I watched the last game too, Lamont. I watched no, hold on, hold on. But that's too. just an example of one game. That was consistent throughout the whole playoff. No, Do I got to li gotta literally show the video like this for every game for you to believe stop, it? Stop capping, because I watched right. every game. That's yes, what I'm trying to tell you. He the last game. Doing. We know how that went capping. already. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nobody no, ain't complaining about the last hold on, game. Hold on, Skyler. Skyler. Yes, y'all was complaining about the last game. No, we didn't. We talked about the free throws. Yes, bro. You were talking about the free throws in the last game. Y'all was just saying the free throw is bad. Man, them the people supposed to have been up 3 1, man. Them people won no game ball. one, free throws. Uh, they won two, on. and then uh, they won three, free okay, throws. Look how at this. Thing? Okay, okay, how about this? You tell me what game to pull, pull up. Since, since my game Pull I up showed, one. Pull up one. <laughs> All right. Hold on. What you want me to pull up? The, 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 you want me to pull up the defensive possessions? I just possessions. told you, pull up one. Hold on. Hold on. You want me to pull up the defensive possessions for the Warriors or the defensive possessions for the Lakers? I, I want you to choose so you don't say I'm biased. You choose. Oh man, this is funny, man. Because if you choose, if you choose, man, these boys get deep fried, and it still don't prove your point. If we sound gonna sound like you just a hater. No, ain't nobody hating. That. I'm just now, hold saying, on. Y'all tell cool. me what to pull up, and I'll pull it up. I, I, that way, it ain't nobody. Y'all tell me what game. Look, I just gave the, I just gave the Lakers credit for winning. I ain't. I ain't nah, that, nah, that, 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 it's no conspiracy. Huh? Hold on, y'all. What look. game do y'all want? Okay, so now y'all don't want me to pull up no games. Now. No, now, I ain't now we can't no, talk. You talking to me? What game? No, I'm telling. I'm saying right now, if if it was just the refs giving the Lakers fouls, give me what game to pull up so I can show the example of the refs just gifting the Lakers all this stuff. I told you, they, game one. Game one. one. <laughs> all right, game one, y'all. Hold on, we gonna pull up game one. Hold on, let me let me take this off. We gonna pull it up, and we gonna see. That's not gonna be pretty for you, bro. I'm just letting but you know. They right asked now. for it. They asked for it, not me. Bro, y'all funny, man. Y'all got me in tears, bro. Y'all hilarious, man. Y'all do all this crying. Hey, hey Lamont, you should just who play cried? that like that video. You should just play that video you was about to play, man. Who, who crying? See what he, I just played see what, he's doing? see what he's doing. He manipulating. He finding the videos where they're just showing. You gotta literally watch the whole game. You can't oh, manipulate it, bro. That was that. That was every possession. How's he manipulating it? That one. That was literally every possession. That was that was a part. That of was all their misses. The last that was all their misses. Okay, yeah, here I got was... game one right here. I got game one. I got game one. Two yeah. are insane. Uh oh, man. uh oh. Now if game one, they miss shots, man. If it's, game it's one hoop. don't align with what y'all saying, some ain't adding up. It's hoop, man. Uh, some ain't it's adding hoop. up. Hold on, about to play it. Oh man. <laughs> Hold on, let me get it pulled up here. They do all this crying, man. That's now we got it. Now we got to pull up game one. We got to go all the way back to game one. Hold on, what? And game one was their best game. Any no, it wasn't. Stop okay. capping. Stop right. capping. Stop capping. That was not the Warriors' best game. Game one. Yes, it was. Capping. No, it was. <laughs> No, it wasn't, bro. Oh, all right, well, y'all told me to pull up game one, so I'm pulling no, it up. Wasn't. No, it was No, boy did. So, so what was their best game then, bro? We looking, we looking at the crowd. They don't the cheat. I ain't, I ain't they don't cheat. Man, they don't cheat them people out game one. Series three to two. All right, we about to see if they cheating them out game one. We about to see. <laughs> I got game one right here. Hold on. Let me share the screen. He said that's the Warriors' best okay, game, game one. No, it wasn't. That was not their best game. Okay, they so played. I told y'all to choose the game. So we're going to go to game one. Did the Warriors get cheated because they wasn't getting foul calls? Let's see. All right. Now, I'm going to give you an opportunity right now. And make sure you got some noise in the background. Why everybody? Hold on, hold on. Skylar, you got a whole bunch of noise in your background. I had to mute you, man. It sounds horrible. Sorry. All right. All right, here we go right here. Now, do you guys want to recant this claim before I play the video, or do you want to stick to your guns? Do you want to stick to your guns on this claim? I'm sticking to my guns. Oh, okay. stick to their guns. Let's go. Bro, your mic is terrible. Yeah, your mic is terrible. Whoever got that background. So we just going to play it. Skylar, just watch, because um, this, is ain't, this ain't going to be pretty. Laker defense. Let's look for the foul calls. Let's look for the foul. Stop when we get to a foul. Good defense, Vando on Curry in the passing lane. 
transition bucket. Let me get those. Oh, hold on. And, and, and obviously they gave Reeves a foul right there. So we're going to look. Did Klay Thompson knock Reeves out the air? Was that a, was a foul warranted right there, y'all? We're going to make sure. Was this a foul? Because the refs called a foul right there. Transition. Lakers not getting back. Okay, so this this is not the root of verticality because Clay is not in front. Yep. Reeves does a good job of what? Going into the body the to body. create the foul. And Clay hits him with the body. Reeves falls to the ground. Refs give him a foul call. Uh oh, okay. Let's see. Uh oh, at the rim tip pass. Strip. Draymond Green Definitely. contested shot. Miss. Clay Thompson coming off a of DHO. Contested shot. No foul. Miss. Uh oh. AD gets in front. Contested three. Miss. Hold on. Was that a foul? Hold on, we got we saw a foul on LeBron on the offensive rebound, y'all. I want to make sure. Did Looney foul LeBron, y'all, or was this not a foul? I want to make sure it's fair. Was that not a foul? If it wasn't a foul, I, I'll call it even. It looks like Looney hit him, though. The refs gave LeBron the foul. So, uh, okay, I don't hear nobody talking, so I don't think y'all dispute the foul. All right, Draymond Green in transition gets into the paint versus AD and Brian. Just missed a wide open layup. Hold on. Was that a foul? No, LeBron let him go. That's a foul. He's holding the man. That's a foul. This is a foul right here? This is a foul? That's a foul? He missed the open layup. Bro. He let him go. <laughs> That's a foul? Oh, get that shit out of here. Hold on, hold on. Is that a foul? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going up weak. That's a foul, I guess. Weak side block. Uh oh, Steph Curry driving, gets into the paint, kicks it out for three. Oh, Turn tip over. pass, ends in the passing lane. Draymond Green tries to draw the foul right there. Refs didn't go. They don't call that no more. Miss open shot in the paint. That's cap. That's, oh. See, you cap in, man. Hold on, Stop hold on. Uh oh, Steph Curry with the floater. Was that a foul, y'all? Was that a foul? Steph Curry with the floater. I want y'all to tell me, did, was the 80 clean on the block? Y'all say this league is soft. The rest called too many fouls. Was that a foul? No, that wasn't no foul, bro. Okay. All right. I'm just making sure. Uh-oh, Steph contested three. Was that a foul? <laughs> I mean, y'all want to create free throws for the Warriors. I just know the need to know where they get these additional free throws. Miss layup right there. No, was that a foul? He called for the foul. Uh-oh, oh, oh, oh give me foul, those. Bro. Give me those. Was that a, was that a foul? <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to get. Uh oh, hold on, y'all don't biased. like them calls because they gave that one to the Lakers. Let's see if that was an illegal screen. We're gonna run that one back. See if it was a legal screen. Right here, they called it. Boom! Knock this man to the goddamn floor. Hold on. Did he flop? Remember, y'all said he was. Y'all said he was flopping. He, he do flop. flop. He do he flop. flop. He, he do flop. flop. Did he flop? He flop. That's a flop. He do flop. Was that a flop? I don't yeah. know. That's yeah. a flop. Man, he be flopping. <laughs> Lamont know he be flopping. Man, Good contest at the three. Man. Good contest at the three. Oh, when you Gabriel, give me the <laughs> <laughs> And they actually called goaltending on that play. Uh-oh, Steph driving in. Now they called a foul there. Oh, they gave him a foul. Okay. Oh, Steph contested. Miss. Let's go the other way. Pool to the wing. Miss going the other way off to the races. That's what threes are turning into layups on the other end. Hey, Lamont, I'm not back. seeing the Warriors attempting a lot of uh shots uh, around the rim. Are you no, but if they are, they missing them just like that. <laughs> they can't finish because the war the Lakers are doing a good job. Of I've seen a lot of jumpers. floaters and jumpers and kickouts. Uh -oh. uh oh, let's see, let's just see. We're gonna keep playing. Uh oh, get into oh, turn over. Over. let me get those. You, you shouldn't even be in the game. Uh, uh I don't know why he playing. Uh-oh. We got Steph. Another contested three. Two people on him. Miss. We going another way. Looney getting to the paint. Oh, they don't want to score. Give me those. Was that a foul? <laughs> Looney went up, y'all. But remember, LeBron just a, as big as It was as a Looney. block party. LeBron just as big as Looney. There's no advantage for Looney going to the bucket. He not even as he he not bigger than AD and LeBron. Oh, okay. Was this was this a foul? Was that a foul, y'all? Hell no. <laughs> okay. 
So I'm just trying to create free throws to give to the Warriors to make y'all happy. I don't see it yet. Uh oh, they gave they gave him the foul right there, y'all. That was a foul. They gave him that foul. He definitely got fouled. Oh, okay, Steph coming off the screen, rescreen, gives it up to Draymond. Get no, <laughs> ain't nobody goner in that. Shoot those. Did he get fouled? He missed the layup. Did he get fouled? FYF, the point we getting at is Did he you get said fouled? <laughs> Man, you said it. No, you said it looking for the foul. Hey, Lamont, said, you deep frying these motherfuckers. Y'all, y'all said, no, you gotta, y'all no, you that gotta tell me why the Lakers get to shoot 40 free throws. That right there ain't gonna, no, we no, not no, disputing. The reason why I'm looking at these plays right no, here. No, we not disputing that. Them dudes shot no, eight Skyler, free throws. Skyler, Skyler, we need Skyler, to dispute. Hold on, Skyler. This is the reason why I'm showing these plays. This is why. Is because the Warriors are the number one fouling team in the league. We know they gonna foul the Lakers. We don't need to see the, we don't need to go judge if the Lakers were getting fouled. The Warriors led the league all year in fouls per game. We know they gonna hack. Y'all said the free throws nah, weren't balanced. Nah, we hold can't on. go with hold that. On, hold on, hold on, Skyler. <laughs> y'all said it wasn't balanced. So y'all oh, said, y'all said it ain't no way the free throws wasn't even. How the Lakers shooting all these free throws and the Warriors not? So I'm trying to see a scenario where the Lakers, where the Warriors should have got more free throws. So as I play this, why are we not seeing guys getting smacked to the floor and the ref ain't calling it? Why are we not seeing that? You're not even seeing it. any hacking. There's no hacking. The hold, on, hold on, hold on. What we're seeing is great defensive rotations. We're seeing a lot of Lakers go vertical. We're seeing them stay in front and not Man, go we all know that's pumping. edited. We all know that this is ain't edited. edited. That is not How, every What? Hey, you, you know what I'm saying, bro. That's not every play. Bro, you think, you, you, you you think Lamont got next generation uh, editing I, from like 50? You, that you think he time traveled 50 years from now where he got some technology where he could do that shit? Like, what are we doing? Lamont. Hold on, hold on. Uh oh, defend without fouling. Contest. They, they shot a mid range shot, but they shooting jumpers, just like my boy said. Uh oh, in the paint floater. Give me that. Give me those. Hey, Universal or Disney Give should hire those. Lamont if he's that skilled. Uh oh, hold on. Uh oh, come. Uh oh, Clay contested three. No foul. Pool driving in, kicks it out. He's scared of AD. Give me those. What are y'all talking about? What are y'all talking about? Hold on. All right, Pool what driving. the score is? This Pool, the point uh -oh. we getting at. What Pool, the score hold on. is? No, nah, I don't want to hear the point. I want to hear What's fouls. What's the score is? I want to hear fouls. All right. I don't hear y'all saying that these are What the are score fouls. is when all that happens? Hey, Lamont, you, hey, Lamont, you Man, should play the, the, score is when all you should play the, the Lakers, know, Lakers know, offense, too. The score too. The score's on the screen, man. Don't ask me what the score is when you see it on the screen. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I can't see Turn it. Turn over. Turn over. Uh-oh, Steph Curry. Contested three over AD. Miss. Miss. Now, should the ref have given it to him? Because there was a little bit of contact after the fact. Y'all tell me. So when we see this, when we see this, remember, y'all complain about the league being soft. Should this be a foul? This is a good contest. AD lands. Steph Curry still falls. Nah, was that a foul? Was that a foul? Nah, I'm trying nah, to give y'all the opportunity to get these extra fouls. Nah, is that bro, a foul? You tell, you tell us is that a foul. You tell us is that a foul. Lamar? Nah, you tell me. Y'all don't no, want to say they should have been going to the free throw line more. Look. <laughs> Because uh -oh, Steph Curry uh -oh, didn't uh -oh. even get up complaining. It's contested though. three, miss. This is game one, y'all. This is game one. Uh oh, Steph Curry drives. Give me those. That's yeah, out they, of there. What you this mean? They best, this they best game they uh -oh, played. Uh -oh, Lamar. uh oh, coming off. Uh oh, Steph Curry tip ball out of bounds. This the best Steph game. Steph Curry the coming played. off the screen. Uh oh, Draymond with the ball getting into the paint. Did he get fouled or did he blow a layup. layup? He missed the uh -oh. layup. Steph gets into the paint. Floater. Give me those. We going Damn. other way. Uh oh, Draymond Green with the ball. Did they get into the paint? Uh oh, hands on the ball. Did they? Did they? Did they? Did they shoot a three? Did they? Uh oh, Poole trying to drive. Give me those. Did he get fouled? We saw Poole hit the ground. Do I need to go back? Maybe he should have went back to the free throw line. Go back to the. Hold on, we gonna make sure. We gonna make sure. Maybe Poole should have got free throws out of this. All right. Steph Curry hands on ball. Good defense. Wiggins don't want to be aggressive and drive. Poole drives. Did he get fouled? AD he was vertical. Case so, that one. Oh, he might. Hold on, hold on. No, I mean, let me see. Let me see. Because this is a close game. Now, look at AD's defensive position. Did AD go vertical? Remember, mm -hmm. they added the root of verticality. Mm. That's cap. <laughs> he might could give a foul on that one. No, that's cap. I'll give him a foul. That's cap. Bro got fouled hard. I didn't know. Uh, he didn't look good. Show the Lakers off it. Hey, that's Lamont, the only one, though. Cap? Show the Lakers off it. You want me to tell you how that's cap, Lamont? <laughs> hey, Lamont, show the Lakers now. Play game one, 
and I play you game one. You want me to tell you how that's cap? I play. You want me to tell you how that's cap? That is cap. That is cap. Listen, they called it. They called a foul when Steph Curry Joe. They called a foul on LeBron last game like that. Use his body. He went vertical. He didn't touch his arm. He So they body gave the Warriors a foul Steph call. Curry. They gave Curry a foul call and one. Oh, so he, he gave him a call. Yeah, this, he got this, the and one right. That, that, hey, that same. Did play you talk about the play that, where he got the and one on Bron? The same play that Poole just okay. did. When, so when they did give him a call. So it ain't consistent. No, LeBron was, was not vertical on that play. I gotta correct this dude. He was not vertical on that play. He went right into his body. That's false. So yeah, what? Did, right. So what did AD do? What did AD do? AD was they, he went vertical. He didn't hit pool. His body didn't hit pool. It don't matter. No, no. If you watch the LeBron matter. play, if you watch oh, LeBron play, he goes oh, into oh, him. He's oh, not oh. vertical. It's the rule of verticality, bro. It's the rule of verticality. If you go vertical, it don't matter what contact they create. If you vertical, it's not a foul. You just you just contradicted so, yourself. So right now, so right now, all we got to decide is is AD vertical. So who we is we? Right we here, yeah, LeBron wasn't oh, no, vertical oh, on that look, play. Oh, look, so right here is AD vertical or not? LeBron, LeBron's LeBron not vertical. If LeBron, LeBron touches wasn't him, vertical, that's a foul. LeBron wasn't vertical. LeBron was not vertical at all he on that he hand one. He, he, he tried to block. No, no, but LeBron didn't but touch he, him. His he, body touched him. His body. Yeah, touched he it wasn't vertical. Oh, he, he was did, leaning he into him. He ran into AD, who was vertical. Curry didn't do that. That's called the rule. No, no, LeBron ran into Curry. Uh oh. I mean, we got one play. We got one play. And we clearly see the rule of verticality. And this is a great contest on AD. Remember, they're not driving. Remember, the way he shot this ball, he's not trying to go into nobody's body and create contact and score. What did he do? He shot up a high floater trying to go over AD, praying and hoping that he gets a foul call. That's what he did. Look. And he didn't get the call. It looked like he turned his body, though. Like, yeah, nah, yeah. That's crazy, man. Hey, Lamont, oh, now show the Lakers on offense. Show them hacking right, the fuck on, out on. of the Lakers. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. That, shit, that oh. shit ain't consistent. How the hell was they hacking the Lakers? It wasn't Is this guy serious? It, this guy serious? Hacking. It wasn't hacking. You can't. Okay, so okay Lamont, you got you to show the tape, Lamont. For the people that say this is conspiracy, so you want me to show the Lakers' offensive possessions? Yes. Okay, I got you. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> what game? Hold on, what game? What game? Now tell me what game. Anyone? Nah, because if I choose one, y'all gonna say I selected and was biased. Y'all choose. Nah. What? 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 <laughs> Go to game one. No, hey. Uh oh, game one. You want to? You really want to see game one? Don't choose, don't choose the one. Don't choose the one when the when the free throw was kind of close. Don't choose them games. <laughs> well, you're complaining oh, about you're game. complaining about the oh, no. ones when it was a discrepancy, though. When they called it down the line, don't don't don't. I'm just saying consistency. But you're complaining about the games with a discrepancy, not, hey, so we got to play the games I'm, with a discrepancy. I'm not, I'm not complaining. All I'm saying is the Lakers be fouling too. They got they're great in, in where, bro. We just played the tape. Where was the fouls? You couldn't name any fouls, bro. We showed the, the tape. You couldn't name a fucking foul. On the perimeter, they be fouling too. Just call it. Hey, Lamont, That's this is unbelievable, bro. You played the tape. They couldn't even point out a foul. And this guy keeps That's saying not, this foul. You can't make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. Hold on. You literally oh, cannot oh, make this shit one. up. Okay, we got it. We got one. We got it for you. I'm, I'm putting it on the screen. Fucking crying, we bro. Putting it on the screen. All right. So let's put it on the screen. Let's see what we got here. Hold Master manipulator. I'm, I'm manipulating. Y'all act like I'm. Do y'all know how? Hey, Lamont, they, they, think, they think Disney or Universal you, should but... hire you, bro. They think Disney yeah, or Universal I, should hire you because you got like crazy uh, skills. Hey, <laughs> y'all put that. Okay, uh oh. For real. So here we go right here. Here we go right here. I'm going to add it to the stream. What game is this? All right, let's see. Let's see. It's game three, right? This is like game three. Game. Yeah. yeah. It's game three. It's, it's say, game uh, three. Series, it says series at the bottom. I think it says series game tied. Good for y'all. Or y'all want me to do another game? This is just doing a breakdown of, of, of the Warriors' trash defense versus the Lakers. 
Some of that defense. I, I told y'all it's edited. How they want you it. can't edit NBA tape. Bro, bro. these guys th- hey, these guys think Lamont's like uh hired by D- he should be hired by oh. Disney motherfucker making Pixar movies. He's so good at it. <laughs> I'm just letting it play. Uh oh, Clay jumps it, gets beat, gets into the paint. Stay off. Bucket. Here. Bucket. <laughs> See the good thing about see the thing about the Lakers, when they got into the paint, they took high quality shots. They wasn't they wasn't hunting threes all the damn time. Uh oh, LeBron James. Let's see what read they make out of this. Knocking down they shots. And you notice these are open shots instead of contested. Uh-oh. Just so y'all know. Oh, <laughs> idiots, bro. Uh oh, uh oh, this horrible pick and roll defense, Wiggins. Uh oh, Wiggins cheated, got burned. You don't supposed to help off the pick and roll like SD strong side, Wiggins. Uh oh, Brown with the ball in the paint against a horrible defender. Where LeBron? Let me get those. Oh man, man, Lamont was like, let's play the tape. Because they just people just be talking, they mad because LeBron won again. Uh oh, I didn't see a foul call there. I just saw LeBron. I just saw LeBron bullying somebody to the bucket right there, bullying a smaller player to the rim. Uh oh, Divincenzo, what are you gonna do with AD down there? Oh, LeBron just takes a fade away. Well, we got a mismatch on the wing. Boy, cheating under on the screen. Why do you cheat under on D'Angelo Russell? You should be you should be icing and chasing over. Now they're talking about the Warriors just being lazy right here. Just being lazy. Not running in transition. Turns him probably into a layup. Great defense, Steph Curry. Like, look at the quality of shots the Lakers are getting. Like, let's look at the patience of the offense, though. Like, They're taking look how look how open these motherfuckers are. Man, like what basketball do these dudes be watching, bro? Uh oh. <laughs> Warriors getting smoked. It is what it is. Uh oh. So AD versus Looney in the paint. Uh oh. Look who LeBron got on him. He got a baby on him. Oh, that's at the end of the quarter. I remember that. Yep. Lay up. <laughs> Come on, bro. They driving the score. Driving the score. They not driving. Trying to throw up some BS over a bigger player. And notice oh, how it's, no, notice how it's not uh, floaters and jumpers. We got Reeves. They say Reeves shouldn't have been getting all them fouls. Reeves just Bluffers. gets in and gets he gets to his spot because they was picking on Curry. Everybody was taking Curry ISO in this series. Oh, now look at this horrible defense. Now they got two guys wide open. Good pin down screen, wide open Bluffers. three buckets. <laughs> LeBron getting to the rim. That's not LeBron though. Uh oh, Looney, can you get this stop at the rim and just go vertical like AD? Let's see what happens. Uh uh-uh, uh, patience, patience. We're not going to chuck up threes unless you give it to us, buckets. <laughs> 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 this is what they was crying for, though, right? Oh, okay. This is what they was crying for. <laughs> Pathetic, bro. Uh oh, AD, take these little babies. Buckets. Transition Warriors were lazy in transition, not getting back. Probably gonna turn into a layup because the Lakers were all running in transition. So you got four Lakers to three. Uh oh, spin little kids in the paint score. Uh oh, just watching that unfold. We just watching it unfold. Y'all talk about Darvin Ham don't got no schemes. Look at these schemes he's drawing up. Horrible defense, just letting the guy get straight to the rim, one or two dribbles. LeBron James and AD, they got to worry about. They can't. They can't guard them both. Bully ball, <laughs> bully ball. <laughs> Was the screen? Was this a bad screen by AD? 
Y'all be wanting calls. Y'all want to manufacture calls. What y'all want? Lob at the no. rim. This was a great play because Schroeder <laughs> actually looked off Draymond in the corner, made him jump corner. Uh-oh. Half court. Let's slow the game down. He about to break y'all down. Kick it across. Hey, Lamont, you, Lamont, you got to be loving how much LeBron be posting uh, this year. Give it, give me, give I'm give loving me how much he be posting. But, but they just breaking the Warriors down in the half court. They're going to slow it down because they, they said, we're not going to play this frenetic, crazy pace y'all want to play. We're going to slow it down. We're going to do our thing. Buckets, let's get to the rim and score. Remember, and a lot of these are created from starting in the paint. All their threes generally are starting from guys getting into the paint and really kicking it out because of bad defense. Lonnie Walker just knocked down a down. The Warriors that are was, getting assaulted. Not that was up. just nasty. That's just nasty. See, right here. And look, the, the Warriors' problem this year is off ball. They were extremely lazy. Look at that, the, look at that wow. defense by Kaminga. What the hell was that? Like, if I'm a coach, bro, I'm taking you out, bro. I'm taking this you out. This one, was getting blown out. Look, I know. Hey, hey, compared you, hey, compare to the Lakers, bro, Lakers contest everything, bro. Y'all, y'all Lakers wonder contest why everything. Kaminga Great wasn't playing. Green. This is why Kaminga don't play. Look at this shit. <laughs> this is why that motherfucker don't play. He pulled a LeBron in the regular season at age 38, and he's like 20. Look at this. Kaminga wondering why he was sitting oh, on that man. bench. This, this is, is funny, why. Man. You, you ain't played all game. You should have all the energy in the world. He's he like, yo, that's the regular season man. LeBron at 38. Let me get those. It's a systematic beatdown. It's consistent. From the starters to the bench, guys, the same problems exist. The <laughs> Let me get those. <laughs> Is that Tristan Thompson, bro? Yeah, that's Tristan. Yeah. All right, Tristan even going to the call. How did the Warriors let Tristan Thompson get his first dunk in like five years? Bro? Max Christie. They let, they let Tristan Wait, Kardashian they, get dunk on him. Them scrubs. Y'all got another man, game you want me to over. pull up where the Warriors got cheated? That game was over, man. Y'all got that's another that's game what... you want me to pull up where the Warriors got cheated? Yeah, play play game six, bro, and show them all, and show them the contact that they was getting. I'm gonna let them choose. I'm gonna let them choose. Who said they was getting cheated though? Y'all did. I was. Say, say that. I ain't say that. Bro, cheated. when you complain about rest, you you saying they get cheated. You saying it without saying it. This is what you I'm saying. saying it without saying it, bro. This is what I said. This is this is mark my words. This is what I said. <laughs> this guy tried to, like tried to play dumb, Lamont. He tried to play dumb right there. I ain't saying nothing about conspiracy. <laughs> He got defrauded. Now he's walking it back. Like, oh, no, nah, I ain't saying that. Did I, did I say that, Lamar? I ain't saying that. Did no, I say that, Lamar? was live as hell before I start playing the video. Did was I say live. that, live. When you complain talking. about the rest, bro, you're saying it without saying it. Like, what are you saying? Y'all was live as hell until I start playing that video. I'm talking about when got quiet in here, man. It's, 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 a whole, it's seven people on the panel, man. Let's. I want to hear. I want to hear how to. I want to hear this continuous thing about how the refs really took it away. Bro, like, let me get this guy an analogy, bro. That's like I got a girlfriend, right? And I start making out with this other girl, and she's like, "Hey, you cheating?" No, I'm not. I'm just. I'm just being friendly with her. I didn't. I didn't actually like say I was cheating. I'm just being friendly with her. Yeah, but you kissing her. That's what you just did, bro. <laughs> Man. Is that what you I did? What's good, Lamont? How you doing, brother? <laughs> what up, man? <laughs> Hey, I just got to say this real quick, though, because I, I got to get ready for a grab party very soon. But I just had to pull up real quick because I'm getting – I'm really just getting tired of a lot of the LeBron haters coming in here and trying to make up excuse after excuse. Now, here's the deal. When you're the more aggressive team, you're going to get more opportunities to go to the free throw line. It's literally what basketball is. You try to be the more aggressive team to try to get easier opportunities to score. When you look at the entire series from, from start to finish, it was very clear that the Lakers schematically and defensively were far superior than the Warriors. I mean, that's just common logic. When you look at the free throw discrepancy, it tells me that the Lakers were far more aggressive and the Lakers did a great job of rotating defensively, making life hell for Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Jordan Poole to shoot the ball. And when that happens, you're not going to you're, you're gonna shoot a lower percentage. And sure, you're going to have one night where you're going to hit a lot of your top contested shots. But as a but as a good defensive team, 
you rather take your chances of making them take tough contested shots, you know what I mean, instead of letting them have open three-point shots. And anyone that tries to sit here and say that the whole series was rigged, you can't tell me one game, the entire series, that was rigged on. And a lot of this rigging, you know, nonsense, you know what I started, I'm starting to think, Lamont? Think about this for a moment. I think that because of the whole Tim Donahue scandal, I think a lot of fans have taken the rigging thing to a far different extreme now. Now, there are some times where, where games can be somewhat have questionable officiating. I'm never going to sit here and say there's not, gonna, there's not always questionable officiating. There is. But I think because of that scandal, it's put a black mark on the, offic- on the officials in the NBA, and it's just put so much pressure on them to try to get every call right. Listen, they're human. Not every call is going to be called right. But whenever I hear people say that the games were rigged, it's just lame excuses. The Lakers were just a far better team. Simple as that. And not only that, I would actually go as far to say that there were actually more questionable calls that went the Warriors' way. And I would agree. <laughs> I agree. I would agree. I, mean, I agree hey, with that. Hey, if you if you if you go listen to what I'm saying. If you go, let's go by let's go by Game Six, the Schroeder situation. Neither one of those texts were texts. You can't you can't tell me those were texts. And not only that, right. and not only that, Draymond gets away with murder, bro. He literally gets away with murder. He talks shit to the refs. He yells at the refs. He literally told the refs in Game Five. He goes, "Give me a tech, I dare you." He said that to to the ref. If that's any yeah, other exactly. player, they get in the tech. So you want to talk about questionable shit? They ejected a player. For literally nothing, and they didn't You're even right. give Draymond a tech for. They didn't even give Draymond a tech for holding a ball in the dude's face. They they did Thank give him you. a double tech. They did give him a tech. That, it was a double technical. Was it was a double technical. They gave they gave. Yeah, it was uh, but why? Is, but here's the thing, though. Why should it be a double technical foul, though? Yeah, that's the thing right there. Why is it a double technical? Draymond got a right. ball in the dude's face. You got to ask. Right. I, I said. He exactly. Shouldn't, he shouldn't have been hey, even the first, right. hey, even the first tech. Go watch the first tech. Y'all Are you going to tell me that was a tech? Schroeder, though, in the locker room? He said, Schroeder, thank you for setting the tone for the game. See, Schroeder yeah. came in. Even though he got ejected, Schroeder came in and set the whole tone. And it had the Warriors heated. The Draymond don't do that if the if the Lakers ain't dictating the pace and controlling the game. He mm-hmm. did it because he was frustrated, because he was mad, and he was getting their ass blasted. So Schroeder came in defensively, was all over Steph Curry. They was locked in. They was ready to go. They looked like the team that was ready to move on to the next round. The Warriors looked like a team making a million adjustments, using gimmick defenses, chucking up a million threes, in desperation, hoping and winning that they can lock right. their way into another win. And that doesn't happen in the playoffs. The playoffs are designed in seven games for the better team to always prevail. It's extremely rare where the worst team wins a seven-game series. So yep. the Flash Brothers are team prevail. A bunch of three. Hey, and, and Lamont, you know a perfect play to play that shows a lot of fouling? Do you remember in game five when LeBron had like four defenders on him? And he I got that basket? That. Yeah, I he got fouled like four or five times, bro. No and one. Right. He has four dudes on his ass. He's getting fucking. He's getting hacked, and they don't call <laughs> shit. You should play that play. Mm-hmm. Right. This is but man, you should play that play and show and just, and just count every foul that he got hit with. Right. Hey, Lamont, though, I got to get going, though, bro. But I just had to come down here and pretty much say my piece because I'm just like at the point of, like y'all taking this rigging thing to a whole nother extreme. You're trying to discredit LeBron James and the Lakers of what they've been able to do after their two and ten start. And at some point in time, if the Lakers, I'm not saying I'm not saying they will, but if the Lakers win the championship, you, I want to hear. I don't want to hear. It'd be no one of the excuses. greatest championships of all time, bro. If you want to, it will be. Ever. It will be. Yep, it will be. To and beat I don't the two seed, bro. To yep. beat the two seed, the defending champs, then to beat the one seed, and then go to the finals to win. Bro, one of yeah, the greatest said they was gonna beat the one seed. Hold on, y'all. Jason I, Murphy. Uh, it's a it, it, an it. It's a possibility. Hold on, yeah, y'all. it's a possibility. But hey, Lamont, I gotta get going though, bro. But much love to you, man. All right, so look, Jason Murph has a new conspiracy. <laughs> he says LeBron travels on every other play, no call. So, Jason Murph, do we really need to go to the video to prove that, or do you just want to concede right now before you look dumb? See, and I don't even really have to go to the video. <laughs> See what I'm saying? See. This is what happens. People just say stuff. Well, Lamont, a lot of people don't know what a travel is. No, people say stuff 
on most channels you can just say blanket statements and you can get away with it because people don't go to the video and then i come over here getting to pull up the video (laughs) and then it got ultra silent over here all of a sudden Oh, it got not only that Lamont, not only that Lamont. What's his what's his name said? Uh, no, I didn't say they were cheating. I didn't say that. He said, "Oh no, no, I ain't saying that." Oh, hold on, Pooty, you on the what? panel now? You huh? was in there saying we was wrong. We just played. What did you? How did you feel about the videos that disproved everything that you were saying in the chat? I mean, it's a video. It is what it is. <laughs> You're like, yeah, that's the evidence. <laughs> You sound you sound like a dude that's in court for murder, and you know they got the gloves, they got the DNA, they got all that yeah, shit. Yeah, but I'm going. And you're like, nah, man, chat. nah, it's fake, it's edited, it's edited, man, it's edited, it's fake, man. <laughs> Ain't no way in hell a video can be edited, but at the same time, it's like I know what my eyes saw yesterday's game. <laughs> and what is that? We just played it, bro. What is that? What did your eyes see, bro? What is your eyes see, bro? <laughs> Wait, what are we doing, man? What are you, like, oh, booty laugh, man. Baby, this is what I'm saying. They just be crying, bro. They crying for what? Oh man, booty got up out of here, man. Booty, man, come back, man. He, he bad, didn't want. Bro. He didn't want to get deep fried, man. He didn't want to get deep fried, bro. Oh man, oh man. I gotta snip this whole section right here and republish this. That was crazy. Yeah, you, you got to, bro. You gotta post the whole thing oh. with the video and everything, bro. That was wild, right there. <laughs> Man, well, I say nobody was crying. No, Brian, Brian got called. called for the most random call ever. He got a five second count. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, in the back down. Yeah, I they said, never I, called that. Bro, they I never didn't called even know that. They still had that in the NBA. Yep, me neither. They don't even call that. I've never, I don't even remember the last time they called that. Bro, bro, they called a five second count and shit. That's that's, that's wild, right? Hey, man, by the way, Lamont, it was if it was five seconds, it was barely five seconds. Like he must have been looking at his stopwatch. <laughs> See? So look, I look y'all. I'm not even, and I, I just want to set the preface that I'm not even a Laker fan. I'm a Blazer fan. I'm just when I see good basketball, that's what I like. And when I when I look at these series as we progress, all I like to see is competitive series and good basketball. That's why I didn't like watching the, the Knicks series and the Miami Heat series because I didn't think that series was very competitive. I think Miami just looked like the better team. Um, I like the 76ers Boston series, but. The 76ers, man, you talk about a team that just knows how to gift away games. But they just know how to give games away. They, You're in the driver's seat to win the series. And they just gave that game away at the end of the game, man. And now they got to go back to Boston where they will probably lose. And the crazy thing is Boston could probably also sell and give this game to the Sixers. So I don't know who's going to win this game. Um, but they both going to have a big problem on their hand going up against the Miami Heat. Hey, hey, Lamont, not everybody's LeBron, you know, 76 and 0 when leading by 10 going in the fourth quarter. Not everybody, you know, closes out like that. So we got, you know, keep things in, you know, true perspective. Oh, That's wild. They man. don't want to keep stuff in, for, in perspective. Hey, bro. how crazy is that stat, bro? 76 and 0 in the playoffs when leading by 10 going in the fourth quarter. But you got to think, the Warriors had some unbelievable records. Like, remember, Steve Kerr was undefeated in the Western Conference. Yeah, 19, he was 19 and 0. I mean, remember, and that's why I said yesterday, I said, if this Warriors Warriors dynasty ends, the one thing that you can say about this Warriors dynasty is that the only team that was really able to stop them at 100% full strength has been LeBron. Yep. He beat the 73 and 19, and then after coming off a championship season, he ended their run this year. He's been the only one to really stifle and shop this Golden State Warrior um, dynasty. And he might have ended their dynasty um, after yesterday's performance. Poetic justice, Lamont. Poetic justice. I don't think um, it's over for them. They too too good of an organization. I don't think it's over no, for the Warriors. They definitely, but but they're gonna have some. That thing is, and that's what I want to talk about <clears> as well. <throat> Where did the Warriors? And I want to get everybody's thoughts on this as well. And I'm gonna drop the link again for people to come up. The Warriors moving on next year, and and I thought this series right here showed a lot of the biggest holes that they have. Yep. Um, obviously, Jordan Poole is an issue, not just on the court, but I think he's become an issue on the bench and in the locker room as well. I think he's been becoming a cancer, and it, the Warriors just doing a good job of keeping it shielded from the media. Um, and then, and that that's something that I got from a player. That's something I, I I've heard from a player about Jordan Poole. You got Draymond Green's contractual situation, but he even said in the post conference yesterday he cleared up all this narrative that he might want to go play with LeBron. He says. 
I want to finish my career with the guys I started it with. He says, I want to be a warrior. He made it very clear. So I do believe Draymond Green opts out of his contract, but I only believe he opts out to create cap space for the Warriors to go make moves and maybe bolster the roster a little bit. What do, you, what do y'all think the Warriors should do going forward? Um, I think Clay. I think Clay's on a decline, though, Lamont. Yeah, he is. That, and and that that's a and that's huge because the Splash Bros, them as a, them as a them as a duo, them being them being able to go on runs and knock down threes together is a huge part of their run. And if Clay if Clay don't got that, if Clay's not able to really sustain that, it's going to be tough for them to keep 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 it going. Yeah, that's their system. Is it honestly, bro? Like people, I, I get it. Steph has been the best player, but if anything, Clay has been probably the most important player. Like the system doesn't work without Clay, bro. It it doesn't. Like when Clay goes three for nineteen, guess what? The system don't work, bro. Like so, taking Clay completely away, I I just don't see them. I I, I can't see it, bro. I can't. I just. I disagree because last year against Boston, he, he he didn't have a great series in Curry, Curry and Wiggins. Yeah, but he's getting he's getting worse. He's yeah. getting worse every year, bro. He's getting steadily yeah, worse. He, he can come he can come off the bench, but I just don't. They too good of an organization. I mean, he's I really like it. this year. This regular season, he actually had a good regular season. But I think the problem with Clay is, I think one of the biggest things that he had to his advantage prior to his injury was his defense, yeah. and and his efficiency was just a little bit better. And now post injury. He's not as efficient, and sometimes he'll give you those big games, but it's not going to be consistent. And defensively, he's a shell of himself, and he can't give you that same impact on the defensive end. And so that that's they're they're going to have to make some tough decisions. I don't believe they let that core go. I believe let they me, keep step. Let me ask you something, out. Lamont. Yeah, like, do you think the physicality that the Lakers presented gave them problems as far as like them because? Like we like that that's what I'm saying. Like in 2015, the same thing happened, bro. Steph and Clay just couldn't make up, they couldn't hit the side of the ocean, bro. And the same thing happened this year. Like when you be physical with them, they can they they just have a hard time. So well, I'm I also saying, think I also think LeBron has figured out a formula to beat Steph. Oh, definitely, yeah. I definitely. think I think well, he got the well, formula. I think well, he knows how to beat that team. Well, game four. I mean, what game was it where when he blew up the play at the end of the game? I forgot what game it was. Bro. Game that was game four. Yeah, yeah was game so four. Basically, game four proved that <laughs> LeBron is so familiar with that offense that he was able to re sniff out the hammer play that they came out of timeout and design, and he could, LeBron single handedly single handedly blew up that last play. Because we rarely see Draymond Green make those types of mistakes in game. Like he's usually able to get the ball to the right person's hands at the end of the game, and at least they get a shot off. And for him to completely blow that play up to the point where it's a turnover and they don't even get a shot on goal, that just tells it right there. The man just is a student of the game. He, he watches his film, and when you come to play LeBron, you got to get really creative, and you got to be extremely disciplined, and you got to know that. Even if we miss shots or they blow up certain sets, we got to stick to our game plan. And the Warriors, they didn't stick to their game plan. They had a game plan and they kept changing. And what else LeBron does that other teams don't do when they play the Warriors? He he gets the mismatch and he and he really he wears Curry out. He, yeah. LeBron teams wear Curry out. They get him in the mismatch. They bat, they either back him down or they saw they saw some up in the ISO situation and they just they just wear him out over over the course of a series. Don't. The only time, if you really look at the history of LeBron versus the Warriors, he's two and one against uh, Curry, minus KD. Obviously, so he's two and one against him in series. And the one win that Curry has was when Della Dova was the second best player. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what are we talking about? We talking about a six three point no, guard versus no, hey, Ramon six, Hope. Eight. Yeah, haters will say he just called a switch, but here's the problem, Ramon Hope. Like to call out a weak side off ball switch is crazy. Like, I can understand you calling out a switch strong side on the ball, and you're, like, actually involved in the action. But to be weak side and not just call off two switches, he called two switches. He called for the switch with Schroeder at the top of the key. And then as Draymond drove to create the hammer, as Clay was hammering down, he called that out. And, and the craziest thing is the Warriors ran a play that was named after who? 
Darvin Ham. It was cre- it, this play was basically designed because Darvin Ham ran it the best setting that hammer screen. And it's like, why the hell would you run his play? I was gonna say like that was idiotic. Well, like, well Lamont, I, I was, well Lamont, they're known for that play though. The Warriors been running that play for years. Like that's that, yeah, that's but, one of their bread I mean, and butter play. It's a bread LeBron and butter play, though, but like, you got to also understand, LeBron is a like they everybody in the league talks about how LeBron is a student of the game. He studies plays. He knows your playbook. He can call out. You got to come up with something different. I mean, even if you just go one four flat and just put the ball in Curry's hands, something just to get the ball into Curry's hands, other than what you. Other than what LeBron has ever seen, but if LeBron's seen it, don't run it. Yeah, no, I agree with that. But that's why it's hard to beat LeBron in a seven game series when he's got a good squad, though, because he's going to he's going to he, he's going to uh, he's going to have a, a photographic memory of all the sets that you run. So that's why it's tough. Is you can't really. It's tough when you can't go to your bread and butter place. Hold on, let's you know what I'm saying? Let's, and you got to hey, you got to create new things. Let's help. Let's help the let's let's help Donnell Shaw out. Because Donnell Shaw is mad because we talking on a on a podcast show. So let's give him a few seconds of silence, man. Maybe he just want to hear silence because maybe this man is in mourning that the goddamn Warriors got blasted by the Lakers a seven seed. So let's just give Donnell Shaw. Hopefully he hits the link and pulls up and we can do it the right way. Let's give Donnell Shaw a moment of silence, man, because this man is in mourning about how bad his team just got blasted. All right, there you go, Donnell. Show. We stopped talking for you. Man. You feel much this better. Said, Let's not talk. I'm Amen. Talking. Amen. Amen. So, so, man, uh, hey, yo. So, uh, this is what I find funny. I said, I said, I said, Lakers in six, right? When the Lakers won, when the Lakers were were up and they were up three one, I said they're gonna go to Golden State. Golden State's gonna get a very favorable whistle. I said, they're probably going to knock down a lot more shots and they're going to win that game. I said, but they're not leaving L.A. I told I told all my friends who are Golden State Warriors fans this. And I said they were going to get a very favorable whistle for one reason, because they flop a lot because Dennis Schroeder, they sat here and called the foul on Dennis Schroeder in the game yesterday where I ain't going front. He flopped. He tried to pull Gary Payton down. And the ref called him for a foul. But Draymond did the same exact shit in game five when he pulled AD down on him and they called a foul on AD. So every time I hear That's the a Lakers, good ass point right there. Every time I hear the Lakers flop and they get a bunch of fouls, first things first, I say every team flops. That's one. I'm not gonna sit here and say teams don't flop. That's a lot. I said, but to sit here and pretend that a jump shot shooting team is supposed to get to the line more than a team that plays in the paint, because I keep hearing these these conspiracy theories about free throws, is annoying. Thank you. They just need to stop. Like, just stop it, bro. The Dubs lost because I think somebody already said it. LeBron knows how to LeBron knows how to beat that team. They going he gonna put Steph Curry in the weight room. Or he's going to play quarterback from the box, and anytime he gets down to the post, he's either going to pass out for a three, or he's going to put Wiggins in the weight room. That you, you saw it all game yesterday. Hey, yesterday, yesterday, game, yesterday, game was. Uh, let me get to Dre Jones. Dre Jones just pulled up. Salute, Dre Jones. Uh, hey, salute, what you got on this, man? Uh, I mean, I hear like, Miami mean, experience theories and all like and everything like that, but I mean. I've been saying this since before the playoffs start, bro. The Golden State Warriors is just not the same team that they've been in years past. They don't have the same depth that they have. And they don't they, just from last year, like they lost key contributing wins from last year, like Otto Porter Jr. That was a major loss for them, bro, because he was the type of guy that they could put in the lineup and they could switch everything when they want to take out guys like Jordan Poole or a guy like even Chinzo, they wanted to take him out. So like they just wasn't the same team, man. So they can retool. They can fix some things and they can be bad. I don't think it's over for them, but I mean, they can. Yeah, but I would counter that with saying their core, though, their 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 players that they got the big contracts for, are also playing worse. It's not just that they miss guys; the key guys that they got aren't playing the same either. Pool, uh, Clay, uh, Draymond. The See, the good thing about the Warriors is that they have the assets to go get depth. Exactly. So they have a, they have a few guys under contract they're going to keep. 
I believe that Draymond, like Draymond Green, is going to be the key to their offseason. If he, opts, if Draymond Green opts out, that's going to be the number one indicator that they're going to be trying to do some damage in, in the free agency. Because if he opts out, that means he's going to try to renegotiate and, and have a cap friendly deal that's going to open up money for them to bring something in. They already have Jordan Poole, 140 million. That's very tradable. There's a ton of teams that need a Jordan Poole. If you can flip Jordan Poole for some key role guys and you add size and you add depth and you add shooting and you put that around that core, they have the tools to get lethal and they still are developing Patrick Baldwin, who I think will be in the rotation next year. Kaminga is still developing. You still got Moody on the low. So they got they got pieces. And if they flip Jordan Poole's contract, they can – and they renegotiate Draymond, they, they can actually do some damage, but they just got to have to get creative to do it. That's all. I, I think they're going to make a mistake. Do you feel like um, they gave up on Wiseman too soon? No. No. I believe they could have got more for Wiseman, but they – Wiseman – Wiseman, see, the thing is with Steph, Clay, and Dre, the big is always going to have to sacrifice his score. The big needs to understand that when he's there – his job is to defend, score at the rim, similar to what Looney's doing. And this is why I said, if I'm the Warriors, I would seriously take a look at Jordan Poole's contract and if it's possible for them to maybe go get a Rudy Gobert. Because he's the only guy that doesn't care about scoring and will defend, 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 and take the lobs at the rim all day happily as long as the guys on the perimeter are making their shots. Yeah, that's oh, good. Yeah, the best Warriors teams were the teams yeah. with uh, Bogut and McGee. Yes. But but, but you oh. have to have guys. You can't have a center in there like an Aiton or a Wiseman whose energy is dictated based on how many points they're scoring. When Wiseman was scoring points, that man played some of the best basketball I've seen. When he's not getting touches and not scoring, he was, you know, he was a cone. He wasn't really giving much effort. Right, but, so it was his time was over. He's gonna be a good player somewhere else, just not in this Warriors system. I mean, Looney's I, not bad though. He he re, he uh he rebounds. But Looney knows his job. Like yeah. if y'all if y'all know anything about Looney coming out of college, they were saying that this man would be the next KD. But Looney's what? now adapting. He to was his nice. New role. If you watch his college college tape, he was nice. And yeah, college. his new his role now is different. his new role is to rebound. Was he skinny? Was he skinny or some shit? He was not. He had a jump shot and everything. Had a handle and everything. Yes. Go watch his. Go watch. Go watch his tape. He was. He was, nice. he was coming out of college. They were saying he would be the next KD. He was That's nice. how nice he was. Man, he must have had a totally different body type back then. But he changed his style of play to adopt to what the Warriors need. He's a sacrifice scoring to rebound and defend at a high level. Twenty twin, okay. what you got for us, man? Because you got a lot of feed coming out your mic. You better have a good take for that much. I'm sorry about. I'm sorry about that. Appreciate you for letting me on, Lamont. Yep. Um, the 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 first game should have told you everything you needed to know. When when Clay, Steph, and Jordan Poole combined for 18 threes and still lost the game, still lost. that should have that should have let you know that they was in trouble right then and there. Exactly what That's I said. That's when all the conspiracy theories hey, started 20, with twin, the free throws. Hey, hey, twin, this is what I said. I said the Lakers didn't even play good. And they took the Warriors' best haymaker and still won. Right. Oh, yeah. I, I said, they just a better team. I was like, when I see that happen, instead of trying yep. to figure out what really happened and trying to – the Lakers just better. Right. And they kept – and they, 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 each game, they kept talking about – these uh, these sports pundits kept talking about adjustments, adjustments, adjustments. Well, how many more adjustments do you need to – the Warriors to make to realize that the Lakers are just a better team, and it all so, and it all came to a head game six because you saw the the, the Warriors was all out of lineups in the first four games. It was oh, thank you, Trent. They ran out of a jet. Like you can only make so many. I mean, so, they tried everything. This they this was funny they tried because everything. I remember when you said that, Lamont. Because mm -hmm. I, again, I got a lot of friends who are Warriors fans. Yeah, and they was like, the Lakers got lucky. I said, any other team in the NBA, if the Warriors hit, I think they hit 22 threes in the first game yeah. or something crazy like that. Mm -hmm. Any other team in the NBA, they blow they out by 20. Yep. They blown out by 20. But see, this is when the conspiracy theory about the free throw started. Oh, <laughs> did you see the disparity in free throws? I said, do you realize they shot and hit 22 threes? 
I think you did the math on um on how often you get a foul on a three point shot. I said the Lakers did all their dirty work in the paint. I said the mm -hmm. rebound game was about even, but they scored way more points in the paint and they got to the line more. That's how you overcome all those three be those threes being made. That set game two when the Lakers got blown out, that's because okay, the role players hit their jump shots. You had players like Jermichael Green, Jermichael Green who hit their jump shots. I said, I don't expect the Lakers to get blown out like that again. I just don't expect it. It's not going to happen the rest of the series. But the only real adjustment that the Golden State Warriors made that really was effective, but even then, LeBron had the blueprint to beat them, is when they put um, Steph Curry on the ball to initiate the offense instead of Draymond, and they started running that pick and roll. But as soon as the Lakers figured that out, it was over. Hey, it hey, was you over. Gotta Hey, and you look at the uh, the King series, all the flaws that the the Warriors was able to get away in the King series, you you didn't see that against the Lakers. The Kings it was a had parade no to the basket, bro. It was a parade to the basket against the Kings because they ain't had no ring protection. Hey, I, I do gotta say one thing about Looney though. Does he not get away with uh, nailing Push motherfuckers yours. in the face and nailing motherfuckers in the head, bro? He gets away with that shit like crazy. Yeah, he but gave the refs us, have been doing a good job of looking at incidental contact and just understand we're not going to punish big players just because they bigger and they elbows and arms just happen to be in the line of smaller players' faces. Yeah, and I think no the war, I mean, when, Looney, the, when the refs hold, they whistle. No, I don't think it was dirty. I don't think it was dirty. If it's intentional, I don't, yeah. I don't think it was dirty. I'm not saying that. But, like, the, the elbow against Sabanis, for example, bro. Like, should that have been called? Which said, Thank God he left because seeing that Miami. The, the, when yeah, when he gets the bond, it's not under his eye. As it, was an it was incidental contact, and that's the problem. Like, you got the refs have a tough job. They have to look at contact, they have to look at what type of player Looney is, and they have to say, okay, did this happen just because he's big and tall and it was incidental, or was it intentional and, and, it, and it actually impeded progress of play or it stopped the guy from scoring? And refs have a tough job with bigs. Yeah, but can't incidental contact still be called a foul, though? It, it, it can be, but but I think in that situation, it was best to just let it go because, if oh, anything, bro. the player that was playing dirty that series was Sabonis. Oh, yeah, I don't think – I don't think – I don't – look, I don't think Looney's dirty. I 100% think that but, he – Sabonis him. was playing dirty. He yeah, was he, was. He, was. he was. He was. He was. I think Jay I just think, I just think oh, that jump oh. ball where he got that knot in the eye, bro. I, hey, the refs right there. I mean, I would I would at least reset up the jump ball. Like, you I know what I'm saying? Like that was crazy. I agree with you, fam. Jalen Brunson, uh, dude caught Jalen Brunson uh, yesterday with the elbow in the face on a on a. Basically, it was he was like trying to pull his arms through like they normally do so he could sprint off, but he caught him with an elbow. They hit him with a four one. Yeah, that was a foul. Yeah, that's but what I'm saying. It, it, it looked like it literally looked like what happened with AD and Looney. I think it depends on the ref, and I I, I honestly I honestly think it comes down to that yeah. ref's judgment and what he's feeling in the moment. Moment because I thought that was incidental contact, and I'm a Knicks fan, but I was like, that's Me definitely too. a flagrant one because it's above the shoulders. I thought Looney. Even though I, I I understand what Lamont's saying, I thought that could have been a flagrant one. What happened with Looney and AD? Yeah, that's what that's what. So with with the rule, I'm a little confused. I, I'm pretty sure even if it's incidental, if you hit a player in the head above the shoulders, that's typically called trade Julius Randle now. That's all I got to say. No, no, <laughs> no, absolutely not. What you actually, mean? You actually got Julius Randle on a very friendly contract. If you look at his production, you you would build around them and, and make sure that he's not a number one guy. He's the reason why we lost this series, though. He is not. No. Did you see the last play of the game? Well, what are y'all? No, he's not the reason why. Remember, the Miami Heat was just better. Like, and y'all quickly was out. I mean, y'all really, like, you weren't playing Evan Fournier, who I feel like could have helped. They weren't playing Derrick Rose, who I feel like couldn't help, which I don't know why. And, you, and when you're putting guys out there like Quentin Grimes and that, all that, like the, the Heat were just better than me. Hey, you know what's so, funny, Lamont, is all the bubble, all the people that shit on the bubble. What? Look at all the teams that are in the are in are are, are advancing right now. People that was in the bubble. <laughs> yeah. And about this this Denver Nuggets matchup, 
people making it seem like this is the toughest matchup for the Lakers. Did you see? Do you see who AD had to go up against? He went up against the Defensive Player of the Year, and he went up against Draymond Green, two of the best defensive big men in the league. He's gonna have a field day with Jokic. Hey, let's go. Let's I go. think I think if they run, oh, I think if Different. they if AD puts him on an island, if AD puts pulls him out, runs pick and roll on him, tires him out. Denver's in for a long time. I'm saying Lakers in six. It's a difference. Gonna oh, be a difference. You notice hey, hey, real quick. They didn't look anything spectacular last night. You notice that is right? a, is AD is AD how how generational is AD's defense, bro? Is he could he like could he be in a conversation as like could he be in that conversation now or eventually uh, of being the one of the best and not the best top three defender three, ever? Top Lakers, three. If you had to look no. at any weakness that the Lakers had defensively. It was that backdoor cut guys get Trans- so transition. Jokic, I'm talking about Jokic is the master of hitting them guys on them short dime offs behind the defense. So, and and these guys like with, with with Aaron Gordon and some of these players, they ain't gonna be missing them layups, and you ain't gonna be able to get to them shots and block them. They're a lot they deeper. They got some athletes. They're so, a lot deeper. They're a lot. Deeper. Yeah, they deeper too. Deeper so things. you're gonna have to they're, wake they're up because you got Porter Jr. Good, who's playing man. better, and they're gonna have to wake up because because you don't want to find yourself. In a series yeah. where you got Jokic just picking you guys apart and you allowing that weak side defense, and Joker and Joker is gonna AD AD gonna have to guard that boy in the in the post. He's gonna be banging that boy. Joker big. Well, I, I think that's why they got Tristan. I think that's why they got Tristan Thompson. To be honest, Thompson, I don't man. think I don't think Jokic can score much on AD. Like AD's defense is gonna nullify his scoring. Uh-huh. It's Jokic's playmaking that's gonna hurt the Lakers. That's why I said you single like, him. Like don't double him. But, well, I think the Lakers, how y'all but gonna guard the pick and roll? What are you gonna do with the pick and roll? Yeah, but this man, you know, Jokic. You, I mean, even if you if you don't double him, the man's gonna have a fifty point triple double like he already did. Re- I mean, remember, the remember, that's the guard too, though. Be remember, in the bubble, they had Dwight Howard and AD. So I think what they should do, they should start Tristan Thomas on uh, Jokic and let um, AD <laughs> and let nah, and let nah, AD. Nah, no, nah, nah, and don't take out the word Jamal Murray. No. I, I, yeah. if, if I, the only player that I would look to bring in that if he's healthy is Mo Bamba, maybe for a few yep. minutes. Yep. I was oh, just oh, got it. <laughs> but 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 again, that's only for a few minutes just to slow up and throw different big bodies at Jokic. It's not no permanent move that you leave him in the whole game. Because remember that one game where Dwight Howard had a really good game um, in the playoffs in the bubble against Jokic. He had a really good first and second quarter, but really didn't do much after that because he didn't play much after that. But his impact. Right. So, I mean, you can throw bodies, but I don't know what's going on with Mo Bamba. <clears throat> I don't know why he's not healthy. He's not going. He got a foot injury or something. I was saying. The Lakers <laughs> three point shooting MVP. The Lakers three point shooting is going to have to be on point. They're going to have to take advantage of Mitch matches. Uh, LeBron is really going to have to pro- possibly uh, put like really control the game. He's going to have to. He might have to play more on ball this game. To really, to really be really effective in this series, but I think the key to this is AD. AD puts Jokic on the island, makes him work on defense, tires him out, and they they throw multiple bodies on him. I think the Lakers can take him in six. Well, I think I the think- Lakers need to just punish him in transition. I mean, I think they tire him out by by every time you get the rebound, especially off missed threes like you did against the Warriors. Take off. Let's go. Everybody going. AD, we gone. We out fast as we can go. Jokic gonna have to play a tremendous pace. I oh yeah, if they upset the number one team, run like, that's oh, crazy. Sure, Keep in mind though, fellas, the first two games is in um up in, up in Colorado. So they need one. That strategy. I mean, we won uh, running heavy. Are y'all so think that the seven seed to beat the number one seeded Nuggets? I think it's gonna be tough for the Lakers. They're gonna they're gonna have to figure some Look, stuff. Look, they are the number one seed. No, it's oh. nothing to figure I, out, bro. I, I, I mean, I, I think they only need to win one game in Denver. I think they this is the easiest matchup. Yeah. Yeah. it's easier said than done. I mean, yeah, like I they agree. they. This is the easiest matchup. I agree. This is the Listen. easiest match yeah. because they don't because look at the Warriors. They don't got to do a whole bunch of chasing. Think about it. the Nuggets offense is kind of stationary with Jokic. Right, exactly. They don't have they to do a lot of chasing back. around. Let me ask yeah. y'all a question. Hold on, hold on. Can get what is the, again, what is the Lakers going to do about the pick and roll with Jamal Murray and Jokic? What are you doing? The same thing they did hold in 2020. Hold on, hold on. Mac Def, they same thing they've been doing. They do a great job of icing screens. And with Murray, 
Remember, he's not going to be a heavy three-point threat. He's a better driving threat. So if you ice them screens, really, because really, Jokic Y'all didn't not, do nothing with Curry. No, what Curry. I'm saying is Curry. ice the screens. I'm saying the, your principles are the same. It's not drop coverage. It's not all this. They, the Lakers always ice screens. Icing screens means AD sits, AD drops down. As the guard goes, he shows, but then he recovers when the guard recovers. So you show recover, and if those bigs decide to chuck up a whole bunch of threes, then the Lakers will live with that, and they'll go contest it. But I'll live with Jokic chucking up nine threes a game off them, mm-hmm. off them kickouts. I'll live with that. If he can make four of them, we'll shake his hand. But I just don't believe he got that in his bag. Quick question. Quick question. Right. Quick question. So you don't think he could hit Memphis it right series? Now. Memphis series. There was no big to take um, Anthony Davis out the paint. Warriors series. No and big Memphis to take. No hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Warriors series. No big to take AD out the paint. Jokic don't have to jack the threes. He could just have AD come out the paint because AD got to respect them. Yeah. I mean, he yeah, ain't just going to leave numbers. Jokic open. But Wisdom Warriors, if you ice the screen. AD still clogging up the paint. No, no, no. Not no screen action. Jokic just getting the ball up top. At the elbow or something. At the elbow. But, but the, the that's elbow the thing. Area. I don't believe the Lakers are going to start with AD on Jokic. We're going to guard him. I believe that's that they start with a guy like Vanderbilt or Rui on Jokic. No. Yeah. AD that's stays no. He's going to catch Remember, the Lakers had success against Denver in the regular season. Oh, Jokic is a whole superstar. Those guys it are wrong for they're I would put. I would not put Vanderbilt on him, though. Hey, y'all. Yeah. I know you y'all want to. It sounds like y'all were concocting up a way where y'all can trick y'all minds into believing that Denver's the better team. No, they're not the better team. Y'all, no, they're not the, the better hey, team. It bro. ain't the case. I mean, they won't. The, the what I'm real saying. question is: the real question that needs to be asked here is how the hell did the Denver Nuggets guard the goddamn Lakers? That's the real question because right. again, the better team here is the Lakers. We worried about a yo kick, bro. I'm not worried about. I'm no not worried. But that's People call this. Is, 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 they got to worry jump, about how to defend the Lakers. They better hold the fort because if the Lakers like against the Warriors, if if they get game one, the Denver Nuggets are in trouble. And it's a very that good is probability. A fact. That is a fact. It's a very good possibility the Lakers still won in Denver because the and Lakers they, look locked in. And what if they don't? Well, what if they, they don't, don't? They got then they're gonna have a long series ahead of themselves, or they can find themselves out. But the problem is, is that the Lakers have been really good on the road. They've stolen one in each series. And Denver has going to have to – this is not the Phoenix Suns. This is a team that's going to defend. Right. Like, what y'all mean? Like, th- who's the better team? Y'all really y'all really going to play the seeding game and say Denver's better than the Look, Lakers? No, I think they're deeper than the Lakers. I think they're deeper than the Lakers, though. Kevin Booker. What they they have a way better bench. And, and I think they're deeper than the Lakers, though. Bro, y'all are trying to concoct reasons to trick yourself into believing if Denver's the better team. I don't think y'all truly believe. Uh, I, don't, I don't even I don't, think Denver has a way better bench than than the Lakers. I'm gonna I just be real. Don't think Denver. I just don't think Denver's just a pushover team like y'all think. The, the Warriors uh, got. Jeff I mean, Green. the Lakers got better point guard depth. I think they got a better bench. And I think the road guys are more efficient. No. Because with Bruce Brown and KCP, you don't know what they're going to give you on any given night. I know hey. what Reeves is giving. I know what these guys are giving. They've been consistent. It was a third guy every single – it was a third different guy every single night on the Lakers. One night it'd be D'Angelo Russell. Hey. One, then How many night games did Reeves. the Lakers play this season against the Nuggets? Like, was it four games or, or, or three four. games? Four. Four. Think about it. With this Think roster, about it. Though, this current roster, not with Russell Westbrook, with this current roster right here. KCP is the only legitimate defender they have. Who are the, what other bona fide? Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon can play defense. Jeff Green can play defense. defense. No Who's Aaron Gordon going to be guarding? LeBron. Hey, exactly. I got to remember. So he's going to have a problem. LeBron, LeBron <laughs> still has a problem. LeBron still has a pop I mean, why in his not, foot, fellas. Yeah. Why not just say uh, Anthony oh, Davis oh, beat you? Why not see if Anthony Davis is good enough to beat you? Make sure everybody else can change. Wait, hold on. See what, what do you mean, see? What, what do you mean, see? You know it. You I don't know believe, I don't Davis believe Anthony you. Davis like that. Yeah, I may do. I don't believe Anthony Davis like that. Let's see Anthony Davis. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Her, her, and win the series. You didn't watch two series in a row talk about now you don't believe in no Anthony Davis. What are you talking about, man? Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, Lamar, Lamar, Lamar. Lamar. 30 and 20. 
Lamont, Lamont. Let's see, let's see he can do that a whole series. Fuck what LeBron go do. Fuck what the others go do. The, the Lakers role down. player. The Lakers Bird. role player has been the reason why they've been winning. This philosophy, the role man. player has been the reason. Lamont. AD don't have to play like that every game. Exactly. Just, That's what they need. They just need. They just they Dare him to play like on, that every game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Make him play like Herb, that. We understand. I understand what you're saying, but they just need one big game out of AD, which he's given in each series. That one big game against the Warriors changed the entire series. One big game against the Grizzlies changed the entire series. If he just gives one big game, the Denver Nuggets are cooked. Because no. that, if that, especially if that big game happens in Denver, right. Bro, and you know, know another thing that too. Is over, bro. AD, in oh, my yeah. opinion, doesn't even have to. Real, real quick, AD doesn't even really have to average more than twenty points for them to be effective. He's shown that already. If he he just needs to play solid. Man, I don't believe in that nigga. I don't believe in that nigga. See what he got. Let's this man is the number one seed now, bro. Why y'all still on this? I want to know why y'all still on this boat. The Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. Y'all didn't even think they would be here, and y'all still hold none of these. False narratives. We just talking and about we, the, we talking about the series. I'm talking to her, Magda. I'm and what we learned up the Lakers are here. This is it, I, I remember when the, when the playoffs first started. Y'all was sitting there questioning if they would even beat the Timberwolves. Now they're in the yep. Western Conference Finals, and now you still doubt. Them <laughs> nah, but Lamont, I said they were gonna beat my team, Lamont, because I told y'all from the jump that Memphis was gonna lose in the first round, no matter who they play. Honestly. So I, I was yeah, surprised. But I guarantee you didn't pick them to beat the Warriors. It what makes the it what makes the Lakers so tough? They got six guys that could go out and create their own. Man, shot. Hey, hey, name them, name them, name them. That's how you neutralize that. Hold on, you neutralize that. Sometimes you, you got to make a motherfucker beat you. Make Anthony you Davis high, beat you. I'll challenge him on, to see bro. what he really made of. That's what you do. You got you got right down everybody else. Let's see AD lead the way. Let's see AD lead the way. Hold on, twenty twenty. Hold on, Herm. Tell us. Tell us with the Denver Nugget personnel, how do they challenge AD and make him see if he can beat them? How do they pull that one off? How? Please tell us. Man, at the end of the day, I won double team him. Oh, my bad. <laughs> put, oh, yeah, good luck with that, bro. No, no, I, oh. I want to hear put young with y'all. Say that y'all again? Think, now, this, this is what I'm going to tell y'all. If y'all think Anthony Davis, I'm going to ask every one of y'all, do y'all believe Anthony oh, Davis Herm. Answer 40? the question, Herm. No, 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 I'm I'm a, I'm gonna hit y'all with this. Do y'all believe he can average over 35 a whole season? He don't season need to. Herm, yes, he does. Now, do y'all believe he can do that? Herm, I will question, hold him one on Herm, one. Herm, I wouldn't not double team him. Question, I wouldn't do shit. Herm. I'm gonna let Anthony Davis beat me. If I'm gonna lose, listen, I'm gonna see what Anthony listen, Davis got. Strategy, y'all. Listen I'm to this. I'm not letting the motherfuckers beat me. This man. So who? Okay. So who do you put on AD if you're not gonna double him? Who do you put on a one on one? We gonna see what Aaron Gordon about. Aaron Gordon, Aaron Gordon, hey, Aaron Gordon was holding Kevin Durant one on one. Let's see what he That's got. Kevin Durant. <laughs> this is not Kevin Durant, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you gonna put one of the most dominant offensive forces in the low post, and you gonna you allow your playoff hopes to ride on Aaron Gordon slowing that up? Bye. Hey, no, nah, no, nah, we gonna ride on our hopes to see if Anthony Davis is that. <laughs> is that damn good to beat us? We gonna see AD is that Why damn you good. Acting like we don't know who AD I ain't is. Let I ain't no gonna lie. Go off. We hey, ain't let no Dennis Schroeder go off. We hey, ain't let no old ass hey, LeBron Herm, go off. Herm, we gonna see if Anthony Davis can win the Herm, series you need by to stay himself. Away from any basketball camps where they teaching basketball or anything like that. Do not like teach was, kids nothing. Don't don't. That this is not a winning formula. The winning like formula was, is not to let AD go one on one in the paint. That's the loser. Nigga, that That's is idiotic. the former because nobody ain't loser. tried it. Nobody got... ain't tried it. It's time to try it now. Denver, what the hell you got to lose? Nobody <laughs> expects y'all to win, Denver. Nobody don't expects y'all to win, oh, Denver. Oh, so so right, Denver. Listen to her and y'all ass going to the right. NBA Finals. If you Herm. listen to her, you going to the NBA Herm. Finals. Hey, if not, if y'all doubling that motherfucker, y'all ass going to lose five games to the Lakers. Lamar, I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now, Lamar. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Twin. Hold on, Twin. Hold on, Twin. Hold on, Twin. This is how y'all know Herm is lying. Because the because remember, he just said, don't nobody expect the Nuggets to win anyway. The moment Jokic loses, if they lose to the Lakers, he going to be the first one talking about, Jokic is a fraud. He's a fraud. 
He was broke. Hell yeah. 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 Hell is the Nuggets supposed to beat the Lakers and Jokic's not a fraud? Or are the Lakers just go like which one is it? You can't have both. Hey, I can have both because in the day, Lamont, have we seen all time great players, even though they had all time great performances, still lose the playoff round? Now, the Nuggets, Lakers, if the Nuggets lose, if the Nuggets lose, Lakers and Jokic were doing this thing, I, I won't be hard on Jokic. But if he comes up hard, if it come up small, I'm a cook his ass. Look, look. Herb, you, be, you be having players dropping triple doubles and you be calling them fraud. He contradicted himself like hell, bro. Hey, hey man. Hey, 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 you know what I know. You don't believe Anthony Davis like that, man. Look. I challenge so, Anthony Herb, Davis to win the whole series. The, I'm Herb, not letting nobody else betting, win. But would you bet money in this series for the Nuggets? I actually already got a bet with somebody though, so I got. You're I got. Making, you're not making no more bets for the Nuggets, huh? <laughs> nah, hey, in the month, I already. I think I already bet too much money. That's why I ain't. Got, who you got to bet with? Who? I got bet with Elder. I bet it hit my pals. On the, on on the, the Nuggets? Denver Nuggets. Oh yeah, good yep. luck with that, bro. Oh, yeah. Yo, you done lost your money, so, bro. So yeah. I, I got. I got. I got. Hey, I think I bet it too much money. I'm talking so much shit though. That's why I got myself caught up, man. I was talking too much shit. <laughs> so, Herm. <laughs> Bro, Herm, you, how you gonna I might take off, a man? I might I might take a buy out game three. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Herm, why you do a thousand though, man? That's a lot of money. Man. Nah, yeah, I, I, I was talking I was talking too much bread, shit. Bro. I was talking too much shit, man. But look. Herm, you just change your profile name, you don't have to pay you don't have to pay it. Nah, <laughs> nah I'm I'm gonna pay I'm gonna pay my debts though. I'm gonna pay my debt. I ain't, I ain't no fuck nigga like that. But 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 the, but the thing is, though, Lamont, nobody has tried to see if Anthony Davis can lead the way the whole way. Anthony Davis ain't led every game for the Lakers. Let's see if Anthony Davis could dominate one on one a whole series. Herm, Herm, Herm. Herm. Here's the, the Lakers what aren't built to be that. Is, Herm, Anthony Davis's dominance throughout the playoffs hasn't always been in offense. Thank one you. game it might be offense. Another game it might be defensive dominance. The thing is, he can control both sides of the floor, and on any given night, depending on who has the high hand, if it's LeBron, if it's if it's um Russell, if it's Schroeder, he's still dominant somewhere else. If he's not scoring, he's dominant defensively. So how do you stop him on both sides of the floor? Or what do you do with AD as he bit has a dominant defensive night? Well, how do you figure that one out? Hey, but but Lamont, Lamont, where Anthony what Davis? What do you do if he has twenty five nah, nah, rebounds? Hey, but Lamont, and he's where, the glass. Now, nah, but Lamont, where Anthony Davis had to play defense, had the real deal, actually to play defense for a chance against Jokic. Is he oh. gonna have the real deal play but, defense but, against Jokic? I do believe you, he has think, to, and I believe Jokic could put him in some situations because Jokic is that great offensively. Okay, so Harm. First of all, this is the first time I've ever heard you say anything with Jokic being great offensively. Because now all of a sudden when you play the Lakers, this man is all-time great now. All of a sudden, now you got to talk yourself into it because you got a thousand dollars on this man. So now you got to try to convince yourself that he is the reigning MVP. He's the MVP. He's he's. You better hope he plays otherworldly. Because man, you I don't know why you would bet Shit, against I, the Lakers I right bet you, now. I bet you, I bet you, Herm, uh, Herm win that stack. He's gonna be a Jokic fan. I guarantee you. Bro, it's, it's driving me crazy. Right, right, right. If I if I win that stack, I'm gonna get a Jokic jersey. Nigga. I'm gonna get a Jokic jersey. I'm gonna be, I'm making all types of Jokic as a fraud videos. Bro. Wow. So Jokic so this is this is my thing. It'll be at the window. So he keep on saying. Be at the window. Keep Lamont. on saying. We got to see if AD can lead the way when this team's balance has been its greatest weapon. You don't need AD or LeBron to do the bulk hey, of the scoring. This is a conference. Don't finals need that. Now, That's bro. not what this team Here's is built to do. They beat the Warriors finals now. And AD and LeBron both had one 30 point game. Right. <laughs> Come on. And the Nuggets bro. are not the Warriors, bro. Yeah, bro. And that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Like, like, like <laughs> all right. Yeah, Herm, like, I think you made a bad bet, bro. Be, ain't gonna be no Jordan Pools running around here, bro. Like that, I, a, I, I, a may whole have, I may have, but guess what? Elder, my brother, if, if it come down, I see how fucked up it is. Uh oh, we got SFM coming in. He about to put, he about to integrate Kobe in this conversation. 
I was what I was saying was that the, the Lakers got six different guys that could come in and create their own shot. You got Hachimura, you got Schroeder, you got um Lonnie Walker coming off the bench. You got um Okay, okay, you got Reggie Jackson, you got Reggie Jackson, you got Bruce Brown. You got, you got Reggie you got, Jackson. I'm just saying, I'm just saying he might play in this series. Oh, he might play God. in this series. Hey man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, Listen, you know that like Jim ain't got them. You know that Jim ain't got them, man. Your, What's your wrong thousand, with y'all, man? Your thousand dollars is re your thousand dollars is riding on the performance. Uh, Aaron Gordon, Bruce Brown, KCP. And hey, did KCP have the ball win the championship? Do KCP got championship experience? Do KCP got championship experience? I believe in KCP. I believe in KCP. I got more faith in KCP than Dennis Schroeder. I got more faith in KCP than Dennis Schroeder. I damn sure do. Yeah, you know, you know, talk your shit you want to. KCP was on the man against hey, 20. Maybe, 20. Hey, do you think, he would make every damn shot he threw do you think up. Thomas he could do it again. He could do it again. He could damn sure do it again. Okay. You think I Thomas believe Bryant? that KCP oh, her, over Saddam Dennis Schroeder. Do you think Thomas Bryant is going to come in and get his revenge versus the Lakers and beat them? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I think he can. <laughs> Hell yeah. I got money on the line. Hell yeah, he can. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, crying, tell us on man. the big screen how Diamond, uh, how Thomas Bryant is going to impact and change this complete series. Hey, Thomas Bryant, man, he's great offensively. End of the day, man, look, do what the Lakers like to do best: do do some flopping, do some over exaggerated, get to the free throw line. Herm, people people fool, keep forgetting now. People keep forgetting Yogis. People keep forgetting Yogis get to the free throw line just as good as anybody in the NBA. Y'all think AD? Yeah, y'all think Jokic can't draw fouls, can't fuck up the pace of the game, can get AD frustrated for having to hold, have to hold his ass because he's the only legit big man on the Lakers team. Well, they can can, the her, her, can I ask you a question? At the end, 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 end of the day, y'all can dig ride, y'all can lie, y'all can make up lies hey, if you want to. Wow. Hey, hey, when Jokic averaged a thirty point triple double in this goddamn series, I don't want to hear shit for y'all, motherfucker. Hey, her, and I want y'all to apologize to her. Hold on, hold on. Let me. Hey, I want y'all to apologize to anybody on you that go against LeBron James and the Lakers, man. I want to apologize. Her, man. Listen to me. Hold on. Hold on. Listen to me. Listen to me. If Herm, you want to bet a thousand push ups? <laughs> Herm, a damn man, goal, I, I, think, I think I may chair my rotator cup again if I do a thousand push ups, man. No, but yeah, <laughs> if they win, you don't get to do them. <laughs> no, we can bet a hundred push ups on stream. I, I bet a hundred push ups. Right, push -ups. I bet a hundred push ups. Hey, Herm, who won the series in 2020, bro? Come on, that's throwback, bro. That's throwback. I'm going to hit y'all. Okay, since you bring up 2020, you dumbass. I'm going to hit you with some shit that y'all use when it comes to LeBron James, you dumbass. When LeBron James lost to the Spurs in 07. Do y'all always say LeBron James lost to the Spurs? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't cut me off. Do y'all always say LeBron was on the 22? How old was Jokic and Jamal Murray? Oh they was young God. in the league. Oh. So, end of the day, they was young. They were puppets, hey, man. Hey, y'all can't the count that, man. So, y'all cut the hypocrisy out, man. Back from so, bro, was, they, was, they was they puppies last work, year? Man. Was they puppies last year? Nah, they was injured. Y'all sitting up here bringing up 2020 and got the Nuggets. And they were puppets. They killing you, man. They killing you in the chat, man. Hey, hey, Lamont, Lamont. Hey, hey, Lamont. Hey, Lamont, let them kill me. Let them kill me. Hey, hey, Lamont. I'm just trying to figure. Hold on, I let me let me talk to Lamont again. Lamont, you want to know the difference is between me and all the fuck niggas in the chat, Lamont? <laughs> I'm gonna come up here. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna come up here, stand on my chin, and then on top of that, Lamont. Her, cookie fools. I cook her. everybody, Lamont. I what cook everybody, Lamont. I'm not buying I have Lamont. a funny feeling, her, that in about buy. two weeks. You're gonna be up here singing your eulogy, man. Talking about man, bro. He's gonna be man. on suicide watch. No, bro. you know what? No, no, no. This is what this is, <laughs> new, bro. This is, what I, this is my bro. prediction. Hey, hey, hey Lamar, hey, Lamar, you want to know the funny part about this? Lamar? No, no, Herm. Your my prediction is in two weeks, you're gonna be up here talking about how the Boston Celtics 
are going to beat the Los Angeles Lakers in. Shit, that ass might not get past Philly tomorrow. They might not get past Philly tomorrow, Lamont. You remember? You chose Philly, remember? I, Man, I look, look. Philly. Oh, you did. Hey, look, hey, look, Lamont. Hey, look, Lamont. Guess what, Lamont? If I end up being right, <laughs> guess who's going to make it? Guess who's going to cook all that ass? You, you want to know who's going to cook all these motherfuckers, Lamont? You gonna be cooking the motherfucker that, that that went against what I said, that was wrong about what I said, and you go cook them, Lamont. No, see, they don't, they no, don't understand not, you, Lamont. Uh-uh. Lamont, they don't hey, understand you hey, all the way, Lamont. Hey, Mont, hey, Mont, you see, Mont, they think you on the front side, Lamont. This is the part I'm trying they to They think you on the front side, Lamont. Calm down, boy. Hold on, fuck, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, what was you saying? This this the part I'm trying to deal with. If if Memphis had the Best defense in the Memphis, world. Memphis, we was the shit, bro, nigga. I said we were going to lose in the bro, first bro, round the whole year. year. So don't bring up Memphis, you dumb son of a bitch. I knew we were losing the first year. Oh, the first round. What about the Bulls? If Memphis had the best. I knew, I knew yeah, we was going to be a play-in team. Hell, I don't I, know, Herm, you got to let him get his take. Let him get his take, Herm. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. If Memphis had the best defense and Golden State had the best offense, what do Denver got? That's Herm. Go ahead, Herm. Herm got the answer. You want to talk about Memphis? First of all, we was 100%. We were missing the guy and Brandon Clark that do all That's the small. That's what I asked you. That's now, what I asked you. Hold on. Hold on, you trick-ass nigga. And last year, <laughs> and last year, I told y'all for the jump, we wasn't going to be Golden State. Salad. You just pick words go be and just State. Put, put them in a huh? bag and pick them We wasn't going to be Golden State last year because, first of all, John Moran has not made any improvements on this game, first of all. Doesn't have an in-between game. Doesn't have a reliable jump shot. It's easy to defend him. It's easy. It's easy to make the Grizzlies one of the worst half court teams in the NBA with his deficiencies. So, end of the day, like I told everybody from the jump before before the playoffs even started, if John Moran doesn't have an outside game, doesn't have an in between game, we do not have a chance to advance far in the playoffs. We nothing but a first and second round team at best. And I'm on record saying that. So don't sit up there and try to bring up my team to try to make your damn point because you ain't Man, got your shit team up. Suck, come up, come, come up your with team, something. Your team you suck. They, you they come suck. Up, you come up you with understand something. that, right? You, you come up with something. That, right? say, nigga, if you go try to cook me, nigga, come up them with boy, something. Them boys, them boys you was trash. You ain't come up with no real You shut your punk ass up, nigga. This is crazy, bro. Instead of you using your common sense, bro, you used your hatred of LeBron James to make the pick you made. Yo, right, you're not really right. giving it to people that, oh, we just hate LeBron. Come on now. Y'all do that all the time. I'm sure. And my it's the truth, bro. Be he, made a stupid, he made a stupid bet because he hates LeBron James, That's bro. what I happened. I promise you he That's did. That's what happened. He made it because he was all right, guess, 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 guess what? Guess what? Guess what? what the man really? Hey, hey, guess he, what? Because listen to the way he talked. He talked with his emotions. Hey, guess what, nigga? Guess what, nigga? Y'all don't really know me like y'all think y'all do. The Lamar understands me, though. Lamar understands me, though. Look, look, look. At the end of the day, y'all don't get him. Y'all don't get me yet. And then I'm going to talk my shit to y'all weak-ass niggas regardless. But now, you really want real deal break that? No, you need to be talking about your weak-ass team. I can break it down. Your soft-ass team. I don't give a damn. Oh, about that. Soft I told, around here is I your told team. you they were soft before you even figured out they were soft, nigga. <laughs> You couldn't even analyze yeah, but Herm, <laughs> Herm, but, but I, Herm, you I did put your, uh, your, your hate did put you in a bet that I don't think you truly really wanted to take if you was in your I, right mind. Hey, but, but but I'm a man, though, Lamont. I, I got to stand on my 10, though. Elder can't call me out like that if I and I don't respond. So I had, I had, I had a response on You want to get your good job? So he got to yeah, lose but, a thousand dollars. You could have just with a $10 dollar bet or something. Do that don't make a be, be, be a no, 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 hatred. No, no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to tell Lamont this, though. I'm trying to tell Lamont this, though. I'm trying to tell Lamont this, though. Elder, I already know what's up, though. So he already told me behind the scenes, man. Nigga, I know you ain't want to make that bet for real. I just know you a man, nigga. So at the end of the day, because come well can you make a bet with me like that too? so hold on Herm. you saying all i gotta do is call you out and i can get you to bet anything <laughs> well now, now man, you know in the Herm, sense for elder though i don't think Lamar. lebron james gonna score 10 points in game one i mean think, <laughs> i think lebron james i think lebron james gonna score more than 10 points in game one man he i ain't dumb enough to bet man. that 
He going to get that to free throws, nigga. I ain't dumb enough to bet that. He going to get that to free throws. Oh, my God. I'm trying to get This is the same. He going to get that to free throws, nigga. I ain't going to bet that. Hey, hey, but Lamont, now, nah, but, but me and El have been going back and forth all year because I won some money off him in the offseason and shit. So we've been having some back and forth the whole year. So that's why that's why I you have the first I guarantee you that. You about to get Yeah, yeah, home. he going to win the bank. Now. Yeah, cuz it ain't going to be no back and forth with this Denver shit. <laughs> hey, no, 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 but look, no but look though. But look though, when you make bets with people on the regular though, even though you may not believe in the bet yourself, you still got to you still got to do right to give a, a person an opportunity to win that money back. Yeah, so that's how the bet really works. No, you don't. not with $1000 though. You try to give it all back. I, I mean, Lamont, Lamont, guess what, Lamont? I just got a hint, man. That I just got a hint that the great white hope and Nicole Yogurt is going to make the NBA final. <laughs> he said the great white hope. <laughs> Cut it off, man. He said the great white hope. I mean, the great white hope. It's going to be a tough hey, 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 you going with hey, any team that's against Lamont, the Lakers. I'm going to ask you this, Whoever Lamont. playing against the Lakers, that's who you're rolling with. I hate to bring racism, in this. Yeah. Hate yeah. Bring racism in this, Lamont. But when oh. the last time that the NBA had an opportunity to have a great white hope in the NBA finals? When the last time they had that? Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Her. You, y'all keep talking about this. NBA want this and that. NBA don't control the ball going in the basket. Unlike what Carcino say, there ain't no magnetic rims that's going to say. I ain't going to go that far, Lamar. I ain't going to go that far, Lamar. Hey, Lamar. I ain't going to go that far, Lamar, but I heard behind the scenes. If it was magnetic rims, the Lakers damn sure took enough layups to make sure the magnetic rims had no effect at all. So what I'm saying is, I don't know what Denver going to do. But Denver got a, a, a whole load of problems on their hands because the Lakers is healthy and they only improving. We ain't even seen the best version of the Lakers yet. That's the scary Exactly. Thing. They played, they beat the Warriors playing not very good basketball, actually. It only looked good because it's the Warriors not very good defensively and they was making a ton of mistakes. But they ain't even played their best yet. I, what happens I, I, when they I, play their best? This, hey, Lamont. this could easily be 4-1, 4-0 for the Lakers. L- L- Lamont. Hey, Lamont. Hey, Lamont. Hey, Lamont. I want you to put this on record, Lamont. You can play this in one of your short clips. You can save it for everybody. LeBron fans, y'all LeBron supporters out there, hell yeah, I hate that nigga. Hell yeah, I hate everything what he stand for. And hell yeah, I hate y'all niggas that support him, nigga. Hell yeah. Hey, I'm glad. Hell yeah, I stand on that. How did you got that on? Bless you, Mike. I stand on that. Put that on your clip. This is the funny part of my clip, Can I say what I want to say? This is literally the funny part. That's sad. All the hate LeBron James got this year talking about when he got hurt and came back. Oh, he's going to come back and mess up the offense. He, he he dispelled that he dispelled that slander immediately. He came in, he fit into the offense. He's playing off ball. Yeah, this is the crazy shit. Happy. He's playing off ball and they're being ridiculously effective. Herm, you made uh, a bad bet, bro. Nah, nah, you let your LeBron James hate let your LeBron James hate drive your emotions, and now you about to be a thousand dollars short. That was dumb, bro. I don't care if I do hate the nigga. I, yeah, I, do hate the nigga. I just point, hate y'all niggas over his head. Oh God, I won a thousand dollars, nigga. I bet it on walk fucking decisions, Herm. Oh God, I won a thousand control. Hey, Herm, did you even think I could have won? Two, I could have won two thousand if I ain't bit the insurance on it, but I want a red. Yeah. Hey Lamont, hey Lamont, I'm gonna ask you this question, Lamont. I'm gonna ask you this simple question. Do you know Herm as an entertainer, man? Yeah, all y'all boys entertainer. Don't none of but, y'all know nothing about basketball. This, half you of y'all like talk to hey, hey, hey. no, That's not entertainment. But half of y'all y'all learned basketball because hey, hey, Lamont, here, boy. Lamont, you wanna know you wanna know something? I'm thriving off y'all pissing off mean. all these LeBron fans. I'm driving out the fact that all all them motherfuckers oh. saying that I'm a hater. I love this shit, man. I love this how, shit, well, man. How you pissing us off? We winning right now. You losing. How you pissing us off? How y'all winning? How y'all won the championship? How we winning? Hell How no. y'all win right, right now? Man. Well, right, right we now, made a couple right of rounds. Right now, we her, we made a couple right now, her, we beat, right now her, we beat both teams that you said we wasn't going to beat. Flat line. Flat line. Nah, that's a lie. I said y'all were going to beat Memphis. Flat line. So what I won't give harm this. He did say we. He did say the Lakers were going to beat Memphis. He said that after game one. I would one. hate for LeBron. He said that after game one. 
He didn't say right, that. When it first started, when it first started, he was talking now, all that. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, y'all. 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 I said that, but SML, SML. Did I say before the even the playoffs even started that Memphis was gonna lose in the first round? And was everybody saying I was hating on John? Yeah, you saying? Hey, all, yeah. all I'm saying, I is saying you was hating on John with his championship. He the goat. All that everything. He also, done. but you definitely said they was gonna lose so, to the Warriors, though, Herm. You definitely said that. Man, I, I did. I did think the Warriors were gonna beat the Lakers. The Warriors surprised me, but at the same time, I'm be real though. Right. And when I when I analyze the basketball wise, I'm not surprised because of how careless. Golden State was with the basketball. If you guys have been watching Golden State all year, they are one of the worst teams to take care of the ball. They are one of the highest turnover rate teams in the NBA. So why you pick I them? just thought they was going to tighten up against the Lakers because for some reason. No, no, for some reason. But for some reason, when it comes to Steph Curry and the Warriors, they tighten up on certain things in the playoffs. Oh and plus, they didn't defend the champs. So I had to get them to the freaking Yeah, when there's no KD, Steph, 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 uh, Steph can't beat LeBron when there's no KD. That's the problem. So where is that? You pick the Warriors because you, you hate LeBron, LeBron James, James, bro. That's just a fact, Herm. You yeah, didn't, like you said, hard. when you went back and you analyzed that no, shit, hard, hard. you realized your pick yeah, was ridiculous. As we, <laughs> as we start to round this one down, because we're not going to be here too much long. Herm, your thought, let's go to Eastern Conference. We don't have to, we didn't talk about the Lakers a lot. Yo, the Miami Heat, man, they making the run. About the sun. Hey, 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 Lamont, no, no, no. Lamont, hey, Lamont, no, no. like with me. Hold on, Herm. Talk... No, hold on, Herm. I'm, I'm, I'm saying with the Miami Heat. <laughs> I think the one thing we not doing is everybody. So, I, obviously, I understand why everybody's locked in on LeBron James and the Lakers. They one of the most popular teams in the NBA. Yep. But there's something going on in the East with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat, even Eric Spoelstra, where they making one of the also one of the best runs in playoff history as well. Yeah. Yep. Right, and it's kind of going under the radar. Because they don't have them household names. Us. What? What? what how, how do we look at? How, you know, when it's all said and done, how do we look at Jimmy Butler right. after this, Mike Booty Holes can can't coach? Uh, Lamont, the Lamont, the to be real, to be real, Lamont, you got to consider Jimmy Butler as the best shooting guard in the game of basketball. Um, well, what he, he just he will never that be is Devin Booker. No, no, Jimmy Did Butler. You, what I, he just I, playing I, I, right I, now? Hey, hold on, hey, hold uh, uh, now I understand you feel me, the boy that he he been doing this stuff, you feel me? But regardless, Devin Booker being out the playoffs, right nah, now, nah, nah, that, hey, 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 I hold got, on, hold on, I hold on, 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 hold now, could I Devin Booker? Hold on, That's what y'all Hold on, 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 hold you ain't a nigga. No, nigga, I took a pause. Nigga, I had to get my breath. Ask me a question, nigga. Lamar, ask me a question. About New York or Miami. No, no, but, 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 let me ask you this, Esther. Right, so, do you right. believe Devil Booker will lead a team the same way Jimmy Butler leading that Miami Heat team? Yes, trade DeAndre no, Ayton. No, no, no. Trade DeAndre Ayton. That's all we got to do. We that traded right. away. Listen, trade. listen. Let me, let me tell you something. Hold on. Hold on. Let me tell you something, bro. Let me tell you something. You feel me? The Suns, let me tell you what the Suns messed up on. We tried to trade away our defense, our two best defenders, right? We traded away our defense to get KD because instead we could have put DeAndre Ayton and Cam Johnson in the package. But this dude that was chosen over Luka Doncic did didn't come here to be no fourth option. He couldn't even play his role as a fourth option. How is you a fourth option behind Chris Paul? You came here for much more responsibilities. So you didn't live up to responsibilities. Mikael Bridges started to get better to you, so you had to take a step back. Well, you taking a step back is taking a, taking a load over you. Okay, You don't have, you're not a lead on defense. You're not a lead on offense. You want to miss wide open lay, layups. You can't contain the basket. You was complaining the whole time in the first round because you mad 6'4", 6'3", 6'5", dudes getting rebounds over you. KD got an 
average more re- what rebounds. What does this got to do with the Miami Heat? You're not impacting. That's what I was wondering. What does this got to do with the Miami Heat, man? Listen, listen. We're not talking about Miami Heat. He said something about it. Y'all are no man. No, no. He said something. He said, no, because look, Herm got something. No, no, listen. Herm got something to say about the Suns. But Bro, the, the Bulls ain't, 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 ain't doing nothing. But the Bulls ain't doing nothing. Them Grizzlies ain't doing nothing. The Bulls and Grizzlies ain't doing nothing. He ain't nothing. saying nothing about the Suns, bro. He All said, he said was Jimmy Butler Booker. was the best two guard. And he said, and I, and, I said, and I said, and yeah, I said, yeah. and I said, yeah. And I said, yeah. He said, can he take him? And he said, can he take him? Take them somewhere, no, nigga. And I said, and yeah. Let's take. Let's trade DeAndre Ayton and build in the offseason, sir. Let him finish his take, SFM. I want to hear about Jimmy Butler. See, this is why Jimmy Butler don't really get his just credit. Yeah. Because we 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 don't even take time to really just overlook. I mean, he going under the radar, and this is why. Whenever they beat teams, y'all just gonna be like, "Oh, Julius Randle choke," as opposed to he did, he choked. No, he did not choke. Jimmy Butler was the hey, best F-I-L. player in the series. F I F I got a question for you. He had a better team. F I F I got a question for you. Who you consider? Who you consider the best shooting guard in the NBA? F I F. Who you consider the best on shooting guard in the league? F I F. Jimmy a three though, Herm. Jimmy a three. For now us. Jimmy is the shooting guard. No, 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 no. Not for a three. Us, for us, he's for the us, shooting he's a three, bro. Like, for I, us, bro, like he's been a three. Uh, he's shooting guard. With, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, if you're gonna start with shooting guards, I don't think Jimmy Butler is better than a healthy Paul George. Whoa! <laughs> I don't think he's better whoa. than. That's not. Paul George. Paul George. No, he's, he's better, better than Paul George. Yeah, he's not better than Paul yeah, that's George. Easy. Yes, that's, he is. Yeah, and more easy. impactful that's to the game. Paul George ain't never led a team listen, like listen, on Jimmy Butler. Listen, though, listen, though, y'all have to separate okay. impact, I mean, bro. Y'all, y'all honest, leave out impact. Hold on. If we're being honest, I don't know if he's... I mean, because James Harden this year was in the MVP conversation. Oh I don't know if he's better than James Harden. Oh, my God. Wow. Lamont would say the wildest take. Now, but Lamont do got like Philly wild, going to the finals, wild. though, SML. He do got Philly going to I mean, the finals, though. Wow. Oh, oh, wild, if, we look at it, if we look at it this year, hold on, hold on. Let me ask y'all these questions. Because, like, remember, we can't have recency bias and completely change everything. Can we honestly say that he's better than Devin Booker? Probably yes. not. Yes. No, no. Yes. Somebody, somebody that's ever, he what, what Devin Booker ever 20, he can Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Then, okay, then no, let's talk about, no, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about impact. No, Let's no, talk no, about no, impact, no, sir. No, Let's no, talk no, about no, when Devin Booker no, came back after impact. two months. Oh, yeah. Three hold conference on, finals in four seasons. Y'all just yelling. Y'all just yelling. Hold on. I'm saying, let's roll this all the way back. As opposed to using a ton of recency bias, because a lot of us is letting our decisions get swayed on what we've most recently seen. Act like this is the beginning of the season, and we haven't seen nothing unfold. If we rank the shooting guards... Jimmy Butler was not going to be in most people's probably top five. The only reason why we've elevated him is because we saw him have a great performance against the Milwaukee Bucks, and he just let him pass the Knicks. And everything that y'all are saying is predicated on this year's playoffs. It's not about the entire career or year from these guys. Respectfully, I disagree with that, bro. Again. Right. Three you, conference finals. I'm finna cook seasons. this man. Y'all lying because you can't hey, bro, say let as him go, Lamont. I'm finna cook this man saying, terribly, as, horribly. You're, you're telling oh, me God, as a fish fry. Miami man, Heat who had a I'm finna fish fry you. Lightwork. He's a lightweight Miami on who, God. Miami Heat who had a disappointing regular season as an eight seed. You're saying going into the playoffs, you had Jimmy Butler as the best shooting guard in the league going into the playoffs before you seen any game oh. play. Bro, be yes. honest. Yes, you're lying. That is nigga. He's talking. He's talking. He just talking, bro. He just Tama, talking, bro. He just talking, bro. Listen, listen, bro. Butler is the best shooting guard. Bro, in the bro. bro. I let him explain hey, the money. I'm finna cook him terribly. I swear to God. Bro, like you can't cook someone that hasn't even had a chance bro. to talk. You finna get cooked, bro. You just talking, bro. You just rambling, bro. And come with some facts, bro. Don't come with some opinions, bro. Take it easy. All right, relax. If 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 I can talk. So the first year Dream Butler goes to Miami. Led a team to a finals when Toto LeBron James like put up historic numbers. Did he not? Is that opinion or facts? Okay. Fact. Year two, the Miami Heat had to deal with the shortest offseason in NBA history, bro. In terms of when the playoffs end and when the season started again, like the Heat and the Lakers were banged up. All right, cool. Got swept by the Bucks. The next season. He leads his team to the Eastern Conference Finals 
and takes Boston Celtics to seven games has a historic playoff run, bro. Is that opinion or facts? So he's coming, so he's coming into this season, leading his team with packed with undrafted players and G Leaguers, which is fact, not opinion. How is he not considered better than Devin Booker? Bro, who just wisdom. came off, who just came off wisdom. getting dog walked by Luke. Can I respond? Bro, I ask him go, let me ask you one question with oh, yeah. so what I'm saying is okay. the the Miami Heat had a very underwhelming regular season where a lot of times Jimmy Butler was accused during this regular season of disappearing on his team, not being as impactful, scoring the ball, not being as consistent, right? This was a regular season where they were eight seed. Well, going into the season, they were predicted to be a top five seed. So they Mm -hmm. underperformed. So you're telling me after watching the regular season unfold, you were able to deduct from the season that Jimmy Butler was the number one oh, shooting guard in the league before you saw well, him deconstruct the Milwaukee Bucks. Two things, two things. One, for us, he's been the three, like, the whole time. But, okay, so, okay, so, like, let's just call him a two just for this argument's sake. As a Heat fan, are like you speaking with a Heat fan? Based on what I've seen from playoff Jimmy, key words, playoff Jimmy, Yes, Bro, as soon as these playoffs that's started, not what I, asked I can easily allow the up. playoffs to re- give you recency bias. Bro, 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 Lamont, bro, can I go, bro? Every year, Lamont. Lamont, he's proving it every year. So how's it? Re- it's not like I'm coming up with some magic out of thin air. Like, okay, he bro. might do this. He's done it. Like, bro, I get bro, it if he hasn't done it, bro, and then, I'm just saying, okay, bro, bro, he's, he's gonna do it with no examples of past history success. I'm just saying that he's gonna do it with no okay, examples. Okay, let's let's let, we can even go with we can even go with your original thought that he's a small forward. Yeah. Is he even a top five small forward? Of course he is, Lamont. Come on, man. So he's better than Tatum? <laughs> Niggas will say anything. I think he's LeBron. better than Tatum, yeah. Right now, right now he's better than LeBron. At this stage of the Bucs will say, Niggas will say anything. Butler is better than LeBron James. Bro, stick with the with two guard, bro. Ligament, Listen, bro. With a pop ligament in his foot. Barely could blow bro, by you people consistently. Jimmy Butler's better than LeBron right now. Nah, At bro. this point, yes. Right now, yes. And I'm standing nah, on that, bro. No, he's not, bro. A pop hey, ligament bro. in the guy's foot could barely blow by people consistently. Come on, man. He can barely blow by people, but he just beat bro, the Bro, if, you put, it, if bro. you put any other Stop star it. in Jimmy Butler's position with nine undrafted G-leaguers, bro, that's a lottery team. Only prime LeBron James could probably do some shit Thank with you. this team. Just about to say only, it, bro, only it, prime it, LeBron James. It would have James. to be. It would have you to put be a D-book weak on this Miami Heat team. Bro, lottery. It, 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 it would have to be. It, it, it would have to be. It would have to be a weak Kevin Durant was playing with his squad. Why? Why is he trying to act like the Miami Heat ain't? Ain't been a they good bro. Like, don't try to, trying bro, to act bro, like, don't try to like Kyle Lowry team. ain't no champion. He's don't trying to act bro. like Bam Adebayo ain't been no top five don't, center. Don't He's don't trying to, to know the team. fact of where don't the team has came team. from. Bro, I watched them quiet, every game, bro. 82 you games a season so in all biased, the playoffs. Bro. You just being so biased. Let's see this you talk. When we you you mentioned last you mentioned last year, bro. He got knocked out the first round last year, bro. What? Last year he went to the Eastern Conference Finals. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about what's now. I'm tripping. I'm you tripping. big tripping. You but big look, tripping. Then when we talk about when we talk about going into the season, this season started. Devin Booker was ranked fourth in the MVP voting last year. I don't care what that nigga. Listen, that listen, got listen. I don't want to hear that. I don't want. I, I don't want to hear that. Listen, I don't want to hear that. We talk about this 30, year. When we talk about, about Devin Booker, to Luka, listen, 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 game on listen, 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 I'll let you talk. I'll let you talk. I'll let you talk. When Devin Booker was out for two months, well, let me ask something. When Devin Booker was out for two months this year, what was the sun seed? Front runner. I mean, I know, I know, I know, I know, I was, I know Mikael what? Bridges upped his trade value, right. and that's how y'all was able to yeah, get KD because yeah, he was suns, carrying y'all suns, boys. And the Suns were still AC. When he came back, they came. They went back to a fourth seed. That's before KD even came back to the team. He just averaged what twenty seven this year, twenty eight, uh, twenty eight. Soon as okay, he got back, he went on the hot seat. And if we're talking about just the playoffs, when David Book would just been in the playoffs with Jevin Bo- J- Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler, I get you. He been popping, his, popping his stuff this playoffs. But if we talk about 
who was the better performer this playoff? I'm Devin Booker, bro. I'm I sorry. know, but why are we talking so, about the playoff goals? Like, what is your... Why, why, Devin what is Booker you, because, 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 because he... Well, the reason why, we talking about playoffs is because he based goals. his argument... He's Devin, basing his whole argument look, off of this playoff. Check this out. Check this out. He based his argument off of a playoff. Clippers team with, he's a twilight with, with nigga. No PG, he's a moment. He's no a, in the moment for the nigga. Moment for life ass nigga. Bullying normal power. He put up great numbers. Cool. Where was he for the second consecutive closeout game on his home court getting embarrassed? Where was he, bro? For all that great performance, bro. Where was he, bro? T tank ran out. Nigga yeah, had yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he yeah. He, he, lost, he, lost. Hey, he went on the road with a quarter tank of gas and he forgot to... Hey, but to go why to the we, rest stop, we ain't we it? Talk about yeah, Tony, after carrying, after on, carrying KD on, on the fish and ass, hold on, carrying KD on the fish and unconsistent, unconsistent this whole playoff. They're Let's talk about ghosts. how KD was so unconsistent. They're hey. ghosts. I don't want. Hold on, yeah, hold on, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, let's let's just, my bad, bro. Just talk about what Jimmy Butler's doing. I don't care where y'all want to rank. All right, That's exactly, stupid. bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly, bro. Y'all didn't turn this into. Man, he's a Jimmy moment Butler. for life, it's, bro. It's, it's exactly. Stop no, having but, any but, moment but for look, life, ass niggas. Bro. I honestly don't care where y'all want to try to rank him because we all know that a lot of people's rankings is going to be swayed by too much recency bias anyway. Okay. Just tell us about, like, this, like I said with Jimmy Butler, as an 8 seed, this is probably going to be one, just like what the Lakers is doing. This is one of the greatest playoff runs in NBA history to get just to even get to the Eastern Conference Finals and give yourself a chance. And they, the way they're playing, they actually have a chance to win it all. I mean, Jackson. as far as getting to the finals, so no, not to win at all. They do. Yes, have, they do got a shot. Bro. They got a shot. You oh, might yeah. not have a really big chance, but you have a chance. Uh, let me get to hold on. Tyson just pulled up. What's up, Tyson? What's going on, fam? How y'all doing? We good, good Tyson. Bro. What's happening? Oh What's man, up? just chilling, 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 chilling. Happy Mother's Day to all y'all, mamas, man. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day, Tyson. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, y'all gotta give Devin Booker his props, man. Jimmy Butler uh, is doing his thing too, though, as well. But y'all gotta give uh, Devin Booker his props, bro. He he was carrying that team, man. What y'all think? Y'all don't think y'all don't no, think uh, Devin right. deserves some credit? See, that's feel, why I, I don't even like having like, these discussions, I just, I just bro. Because I don't like, like taking just, away from what a player is doing, bro. Like just to have an argument, this right. player versus that player. I don't like doing that. Devin Booker plays spectacularly, bro. Right, you feel me? I can't well, take nothing away from the man. It just well, happened to be play. he didn't play Jimmy spectacular in that closeout game. All I was saying, all I was saying was, is can we just keep it to the people that's still playing in the playoffs? All the playoff ghosts. Let's wait till like after the season over to talk about them. Okay, that's, they, they, they that's they fair. They that's they fair. But Jimmy, right. Jimmy hey, look, Butler played bad last game, LeBron, and they still got a dub. LeBron man. knocked Iggy Dollar into retirement. That man just retired today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 the same hey. man that won Finals MVP for Garden. Hey, it's a little Iggy though. A little Iggy though on a, yeah, on a hey, great I career. Was if that was the, they was talking about the Warriors had one more adjustment. I thought that was gonna be the adjustment they made. Nah, nah Iggy died. they would have played Iggy. If they would have played Iggy, I said, yeah, they know they about to lose. They know they know, <laughs> bro. They going deep in the pitch. Yeah, okay, let's tell the truth. Let's tell the truth. Let's tell the truth. What's up? Why didn't he play Kaminga? <laughs> because Kaminga is a, a, a cone on defense and don't give no effort other than no, trying to score no, the basket. No, the Lakers no, don't even no, look, no, bro. The Lakers no, don't even run no. the motion offense, and he still get beat on cuts. Bro, we just yeah. we just played clips watching Kaminga in the few little minutes he got. That man wasn't even moving on defense. That man gave up a three as soon as he got in the game, man. Yeah. Did LeBron, LeBron move on defense? Yes. He yes, was he dominant. Does, bro. He was dominant this series defensively. And, and, and yeah, they, they issue was they, they issue was, was rim protection. Yeah, <laughs> they, they issue they issue was rim protection and foul. So Kaminga wasn't gonna help that. With his size, he athletic, but he ain't K no rim Kaminga protector. could have like so. Kaminga has the skill sets to play this series, but he don't have the skill sets to play championship level basketball. And man, what did you guys level, be watching, man? I don't understand you guys. Hold on, this George, is, George, this hold is on playoff one, basketball, hold on one man. Hold on. What I'm saying is, <laughs> exactly. championship level basketball has nothing to do with how gifted you are. There's a ton of gifted players in the NBA that can't get off the bench, but like Looney, Looney is not the most skilled player ever but he plays winning basketball. So that's why he's on the court consistently. Same with Draymond. Same with Austin Reeves for the Lakers. It's guys like that that you need to win games, even though it might be other players more talented. So Kaminga, he needs to lock in. He has to find a way to play team defense a little bit better. 
he's going to have to stretch his game out to the three-point line because teams are just going to lead him wide open on the three-point line. And his driving ability is not good enough for him to even be out there because he wasn't going to be able to score on his Laker defense on the interior like Wiggins was able to when he was healthy. So, 100%. 100%. And, 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 can, I, can I rebut that, please, sir? Yeah, let's hear it. Okay. <laughs> you have guys on your bench, right? So they're, what, they're, they're on your bench for a reason, correct? Yeah. Yes. They're, that You said it. They're on the bench for a reason. <laughs> Niggas not playing. They not playing for a reason. So think about the reasons why he ain't playing. Steve Kerr played Jermichael Green, Moody, DiVincenzo. He all tried everything. They needed offense, bro. They needed the offense. They needed all. They needed. They needed floor spreading. They needed somebody that would be willing to go attack the rim and try to get foul. Every guard. And when we played those clips, every guard that drove was trying to either shoot floaters over AD. They were trying to go around the bigs. When when they drove in, they saw AD, they would turn around and kick it out. They were not driving to score. They were driving, hoping they would get open. And if they were open, they would take the layup. And we even saw in the clip, they missed a ton of wide open layups. At the rim, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green. So even when they get, the, get those good looks, they missed them. So, I mean... And like gotta, here's another thing too. Like I know Lamont's a coach. Uh, I'm not sure if um any of y'all coach, but we gotta stop thinking that we want to win more than a coach wants to win. Like they have like if a guy's not playing, y'all gotta really think to yourself and say, yo, is it something in practice that he's not doing that a coach don't like? Or is he just not effective? I'm sure Steve Kurt wants to win. If Kuminga gave him a better chance of winning than those guys that were playing. He would have played him, bro. That's a like, fact. I agree with that. Let me back in. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Let me back in. You in? <laughs> he already in. I can't. Oh, look. He played. <laughs> he was playing. What's what's? He was playing pool. What was pool doing? <laughs> pool I mean, can space the flow. You still got to go out there. Bro. He was spacing the flow. <laughs> Come on, bro. He was spacing. He, he, he was out of space. He was playing the last few games. What was he played, Poole he played doing, bad. man? He, he played bad, but still, what you gonna bring Kaminga in to do? Man. To do something. You gotta try everything. <laughs> do something? That's your answer? Hold on, hold on. No. This man, oh, what is okay, Kaminga, man. Kaminga, Kaminga, go in. To do something. What, what you want me to do, coach? Just do something. <laughs> do something. Get in there. Man, do something. <laughs> He's a professional <laughs> basketball player, bring bro. Him away, coach. <laughs> He's a professional <laughs> basketball player. You have to put him in the game, even for two to three minutes a game. Bro, bro, bro. Yes, you do. And one thing I'm gonna tell you right now, like I said, with the fouls, basketball is not equal opportunity. You Yo. ain't supposed to play just because you there. Nigga, if you on the bench, sometimes guys is just on the bench because you ain't got it. Hey, I mean, he, he, Kaminga ain't got it yet. He ain't playing well, you with him. No, and it might just been that it might have just been that series, bro. It might, series. Stylistically, he couldn't get in the game. He's not saying that he's a bad player per se. He's saying that he didn't fit what they was trying to do against the Lakers. That's all. Hey, hey. Y'all, y'all crazy, man. I don't believe in that. It was, I don't believe in that theory. I don't believe in that. You believe it? Get out there and do something. I believe that he could have <laughs> played. And he and he could have contributed. He could have gave up six but five. See, he still could have played. You ain't even they realize the science, no bro. bro. They didn't need Steve, no Steve, Kerr, Steve Kerr gave y'all the science all season, bro. Like he trusted Anthony Lamb more than he trusted Kuminga this season. So if 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 anybody was gonna play from that wing spot, it was gonna be Lamb before Kuminga. So you are telling me to give Draymond a blow, to give Looney a blow? This man couldn't have played in those minutes. No, <laughs> he's not a rim me. protector, no, bro. bro. Why would you spell him with Draymond or Looney or a rebounder <laughs> like that? And did he you, don't did, run the offense. That's did one you hear what too. I said? Did you hear what I said? To give them a blow. Yeah, but then what? You, what, what you gonna do for your rim protection, br brother? What was they doing when bro, he did give, give they them the blow? Michael Green, bro. Right, Michael like, Green has at least got a little more height and, and can stretch the floor at times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jermichael Green <laughs> helped him win the game, too. Let me ask you a question, sir. 
when he did give them a blow, who did he put in to replace them? Oh, you got to stop saying give them a blow, man. Uh, no, <laughs> I mean, <right? laughs> to, to give them a rest. They replaced each other. He staggered their minutes. He staggered their minutes. One of them was had to be on the floor at all times. Yeah, one of them had to be on the floor. That's their only two rim protectors, bro. So one of them had to be on the floor. Foul trouble. You, you, you're not making any no. sense. They started. How are we not any making sense. any sense? You're not making any sense. That's like I'm making a lot you're of putting sense. a guard in to relieve. You make a guard. You really mean you, you put. For, I mean, not a, a, guard, small forward, a small uh, a small forward and to rim protect and rebound against AD and them guys. Come you're, on, bro. You're you're calling him a rim protector. I'm not. So what was he gonna get in there and do to relieve Draymond Green when he's something the anchor of your defense? Something. Guard LeBron. <laughs> Just something. But here's <laughs> the thing, bro. Don't that, bro. Don't he wasn't guarding LeBron. Guarding huh? LeBron. Okay. Green wasn't really guarding LeBron. He was trying to stay back and be the anchor of the defense. Green. So Green sure was so, your Green wait, was stop, your stop, rover. Stop talking, bro. You telling me that that Looney wasn't guarding LeBron? You telling me that Draymond wasn't guarding LeBron? Wiggins was, the, Wiggins was on the Wiz, bottom, bro. Yes. So when so when 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 so when he needed a rest that okay that's fair. If you want to say to relieve Wiggins, that's fine, but not Drake, Draymond, or Looney, bro. It doesn't matter. He could have been used. Am I correct? And no. no well, you were saying correct. Draymond or Green. Though. I mean Draymond or Looney. <laughs> but hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm done. This is a I'm question done. I want to ask you. I'm By done. Playing Kaminga, does that win the Warriors the series? Don't know because he didn't play. <laughs> okay, just based on your analysis of the game, if the Warriors win the series if they play Kaminga, don't know because he didn't play. Bro, I'm gonna tell you this: Watch Kaminga. You got at least tell me what he brings to the table. Kuminga. He don't know that offense. He's not smart enough to run an offense as bad as it sounds. He's not ready to be in that type of offense. If you how long him, wait, stop, coming sir. off the screen, how long has he guy, been he on the wall? Being right there with him, so now his man right there with him. He don't know the spacing of the offense. He don't know when to cut, where to cut. So that's really why he ain't playing. He can play defense, of course, but he's not an offensive player. He's a liability on offense. They already he got, got exploited on defense. <laughs> they are gonna blow it. I, I, he's a good man on man defender. I give him that. But as far he's as not, bro, he's a horrible man to man defender. He would have got I, exploited, bro. Where do y'all get this stuff from, bro? No, no I'm saying, slash. I'm saying he has the athletic ability to stay in front of somebody, bro. That's no, all bro, I'm saying. Bro, bro, so 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 athletic, so athletic so ability don't have nothing to do with you being so able to react, sure. read the screens right. correctly, and all this stuff. He is a horrible defender. I, 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 well, uh, you you could say that. I, I see what you're saying. He's been exploited at times, but I think he's been on the floor no, and played. He ain't saying that. The stats say that. The, the, the stat. What stats? The, the, the what stat? Oh my god! No, don't bring up stats. stats. What stats? Please don't bring oh up god. stats. Yeah, I don't know what he. he oh, I mean, he said okay, it. Okay, the say fact it. that he didn't play says he couldn't have been used, bro. How about that? <laughs> oh, we, we don't say, yeah, that he that, was. Okay? He was from stats that? to the. Okay, I, I, I feel I you. I'm not a warrior fan. I'm just asking the question. I am not a warrior fan. System, bro. I'm just asking the question. Playing the warrior system, bro. Yes, oh, 100%. 100%. what it is, he, bro. 100%. How long has he been a Golden State Warrior? Why does that matter? Because you say you say he don't know the system. How long has he been a Golden State Warrior? How long have you been there? I don't know. I don't watch the Warriors. What three years? Three, two years, three, three years. So, so you say he don't okay, know the let's system. Just say he's been there three years, right? The fact so that he he's been there three years and he can't get off the bench, bro. What does that tell you, bro? You tell me. The, the, the coach is telling you, not me. Okay. But Moody and oh boy, everybody else knows the system, but he but he doesn't. Yeah, That's no, better Marty than him, bro. So, yes, Moody can so make shots too, bro. Yes. What attribute? What attribute got you feeling this way about Kaminga, <laughs> like, man? Like, what do he do? I, make I'm you, trying to. Dunking, I'm trying to figure dunking. out why the man couldn't get a few minutes in each game. No, but what does he do to make and, you and, feel like he? What and does he do to make you feel like he should get a check? I'm I feel that the man could have guarded LeBron. The man no, could have did a few. Yes, he could have. <laughs> no, yes, he could have. He could have took a no, he, he could have took a few charges. Yes, he's big <laughs> enough to guard him. Bro, yes, Andrew he Wiggins is. couldn't guard LeBron. How was Kaminga Wiggins is not big LeBron? enough? So Wiggins is not big <laughs> enough. Wiggins is not big enough. Do you understand the size? 
<laughs> he's not <laughs> big enough. This is hilarious. So you think Kuzma Man, had wipe your mouth, bro. He's Kuzma, not bro. big enough. Bro. <laughs> if you was a coach playing Kaminga, bro, you'd have been fired yesterday, bro. <laughs> no, I'm not. Bro, you you would have been. been. Yesterday, bro. You would have got fired. Wiggins is they not big took, enough to guard LeBron. Money, they would have took some of your money back, too. They probably would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, I don't know we about can let George have his opinion. We can move on. George <laughs> thinks Kaminga Yeah, move on, man. These guys, these guys <laughs> are simple. Yeah, I don't we get it, bro. George, we we, we think Kaminga could have been a difference maker against the Lakers. He could have saved them. We're going to move on <laughs> just like Steve Kerr did on Kaminga. That's what we're going to do. That's okay, we'll move on, bro. Like the Warriors finna do this offseason. <laughs> they gonna pray. That's what they gonna do. They gonna pray. They gonna move on. I'm not a Warriors <laughs> fan, bro. I'm not a Warriors fan. I'm not. We gotta a see what fan. uh we gotta see what Draymond gonna do first and foremost. He got he got the option. He said he want to come back. He said he want. Okay, well you got Draymond back, and they gonna have to make some moves, man. They gonna have to get. Well, I mean yeah, Clay, Clay, yeah, Clay, Clay looking like he at the end of his run. Yeah, but Tyson, here's the the scary part about it though, is if you look at the resources they got. They can make some moves and really re up and come back strong. Like right. that's the scary part. So right. Let's not, oh, no, I'm not, I think they might be. A, out. I think they might be. Oh no! Every that, time Draymond uh, Green loses, he's willing to do anything to come back with the God Squad just to prove everybody wrong. But yeah, but, but uh, right now, that, that, that pool win. contract hurt him though, don't it? No, Dre, yeah. don't. Jordan's pool contract is what's going to give them resources to get better. If you trade pool, because. If you watch Poole, he looks like the odd man out. He looks like the guy that doesn't fit. He's the guy Who wants that every- him after this? Who hold wants on, him for 128, hold on, bro? Hold on one second, y'all. Go one, ahead. One, all I'm saying is that 140 is a ton of teams that could use a dynamic guard on the wing will be willing to give up older players, vets, to get that guy because they look at him as a cornerstone for their future. Remember, Jordan Poole's a really good player. He doesn't fit in this Golden State Warriors system because they have guards that do what he does better. They have Steph. They have Clay. When he comes in, they don't always need him just being this dynamite offensive scorer and, and sometimes can be inconsistent. And right. he needs a high volume of shots to get going. Uh, 100%. Need, so if you can flip that and maybe you can go get a big or you can get some size and depth and shooting – and you and then we know what Draymond's gonna do. Draymond's gonna opt out. Everybody's gonna think he's gonna re-sign, go sign with the Lakers. The only thing he's gonna be doing is re he's gonna be reconstructing his whole contract to give the Warriors a whole bunch of cap space to go get somebody in free agency. I wouldn't be surprised if they go after a guy like Middleton. I wouldn't be surprised if they, they go after some big names to to root bolster this roster. But they won't have no money. They they have to trade uh they have to trade pool. They right. have, no, they have to trade pool. Lamont. Lamont, uh, Wiggins and Draymond. They don't Lamont, have if you a GM, if you a GM after right, what right. you just saw, you gonna you gonna want Jordan Poole? Shit, and if yeah. I do take him, I want I want two draft picks or something. Like I'm gonna the have Wizards, to fleece the Wizards to take him right now for Bradley Beal. They'll take him. I promise. No, they won't what? do that. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, I don't what? think so, bro. Bro, no, no. Look, y'all have to. We looking at it like this: Jordan Poole making a lot of money, and because of recency bias, he's now a depreciated asset. Now, we think about what other depreciated assets exist out there where this guy just doesn't fit with this system, but he's still a good player. Uh, Russell Westbrook. <laughs> no, and that's why I said, if you look at where the Golden State, if you look at the Golden State Warriors' biggest <laughs> problems, their biggest problems was rim protection and having a guy that could help Looney out on the interior. What other big in the league is in a bad situation where he doesn't seem to fit, bit disgruntled, because he has a whole bunch of guards around him that are all dysfunctional. DeAndre Ayton. No, no, you're looking no because John Collins. No, you're looking Aiden and John Collins are guys that want to score. The Warriors don't need a big that wants to be thirsty to score. That's right. He got oh, Rudy White. Gobert. They need a Rudy Gobert. Now, ew. So what I'm saying is, if you put that defensive big, which every time you give the Warriors a good defensive big, what do they always do? Yeah, I don't like Rudy Gobert in that offense, brother. I'll be honest. But you, but you don't, don't you don't bring Rudy offense, Gobert though. in for offense. I understand what you're saying, but at the same time, they don't uh, need more offense. So, the, so they now they basically go on a stiff high pick and roll full time. If they want it, no, they don't. Never run pick and roll. They run split actions. They're going to run the same offense. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know. I don't know if Rudy yeah, Gobert like Rudy is what they got. Offense. 
Hold on, hold well, on. Need, y'all say, y'all say they, okay, why, did, why, why they, why couldn't they defend the Lakers without fouling? Because they. No, I agree fouls. with that. I agree with that part. But all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, they run a, they run a very intricate offense, bro. Oh, do. I don't know if Rudy, I don't know if Rudy in that offense is going to be a very intricate offense. Yeah, yes, they, they do. do bro. Yes, bro, they do. I just did like four film study videos on the offense. It's not intricate. <laughs> What do you right okay. now? It's not because they went to the basic high pick and roll with Steph. No, they did not Ooh. go Normally to no they basic. They run a lot of off ball action, a lot of split action. They run a lot, a lot of split, they run a lot of a lot of their stuff is based on Towns. It'd be Towns, Lamont. Nah, we, I'm a Timberwolves no. fan. Y'all, y'all, y'all keep, keeping us see, Y'all think the Warriors are stupid? The Warriors did not need more scoring. If they wanted more, scoring, I didn't say they need more scoring, but they. No, 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 no. No, we I, saying I, basically they're going full time to stiff on ball, high pick and roll. What they need is they need a getting a big in that's going to buy into the system and accept the fact that you're not going to be scoring twenty points per game. Oh, hundred percent. Be ready when you get your touch. There's Looney. No, Looney can't do it by himself. And I would again, say more Looney of like a, a Clint Capella type. Looney defensively is... You said uh, pick and roll? I said realistic. Looney, uh, Clint Capella is not a realistic target. They're not letting him go out of Atlanta. That's not yes, realistic. It is. It is. You know, what do you mean? How is that not realistic? They want to make room for double O. No, they, they don't. To make room for no, they not. If you said not. pick and roll... Bro, they don't run pick and roll. <laughs> What are y'all talking about? Oh, I didn't say they run pick and roll. They do run. They ran a little bit of pick, not pick and roll per se. They, they run. They run pick. They run they pick. But they, they do it with Draymond because they when well, they want to get the ball in Draymond hands and let him facilitate. Obviously, but no, they don't run necessarily pick and roll. Huh? Did, I don't know why y'all don't watch my film study videos. I just did five film study videos on the Golden State Warrior offense. They're not a pick and roll team. They, they don't run the pick with Draymond that's and then what get I'm him. Saying. I'm, I'm 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 acknowledging it, but with Rudy Gobert, they would have to turn into a high pick. No, and roll. they would not. They didn't have to turn into you're a pick and roll team. Rudy, you're not they didn't have to turn Rudy. into a pick and roll team when they had uh, uh, Bogut or Festus. Bogut, you had like Bogut is high IQ. What are you talking about? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah Bogut was, was a skilled big was, man was, and an offensive IQ. threat. Yeah. Yeah. Bogut yeah. was only Bogut was there for defense, y'all. You are. I understand Bogut was that, but them Bogut same passes Draymond was damn near making. No, he was not, bro. Yeah, hey. Bogut is hey. Bogut is way more skilled. Rudy hey. Gobert can't Lamont. catch the ball, bro. Come on, let's stop this. Hey, hey what's going on, Lamont? Y'all just be. Well, you say the center that you think they need. I mean, I say this, Lamont. If if, if anything, what they need is you know, like they could get they uh, There's Wendell only one Carter. center in the league that can feel what they need. That's Rudy Gobert. There's none. None of the other ones are available for trade. But we're not trading Rudy Gobert for – we don't want Jordan Poole in Minnesota. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, but like I said, trades can be made. Look, the Minnesota Timberwolves didn't want Russ, but they were able to facilitate a three-team trade where they brought the guard in that they did want. Trades can be made. A hundred percent. That's why I said somebody more like a guy. I don't think they – I don't think uh, Rudy Gobert is on their radar, bro. I'll be honest. Hold and on. that's the extra 40-some million, Lamont. Bro, I, they can make the trade work if they really wanted to make it work. And yeah, and 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 it come at a higher price. That, that, yeah, that's true too. Why would you pay uh, just a defensive player when you can get better value for somebody to play defense, bro? Hey, who, who, what better value can you get other than Rudy Gobert out there right now? Value, a, value. No, uh, what so better player you can you for your bang for your buck? For uh, we're talking about targets that are realistically available. Don't give me John Collins. He's one of the worst defenders in the No, league. not him. No, not at all. He's an offensive player. What about, yeah. what uh, about Wendell Carter? You got Claxton. You got, you got. Oh, you my got... God. This dude just said Wendell Carter. Bro, I'm just no, Claxton, <laughs> Claxton, Claxton. The Warriors are trying to lose? Yeah. What about hey, a guy yo. like Claxton? What about hey, a guy like Robinson? No, what about a guy like. No, Claxton, bro. Uh, you don't make the move for uh, Clint Capella. Claxton's not a good defender? $15 million cheaper. Bro, Claxton is not a realistic target. He's not going to get traded. Trades can be made, bro. Just like you said, you could do a three bro, team. I said a realistic target. Trades happen because teams. The have Timberwolves players. have said they're giving the cat and what's the name another year? Rudy Gobert another year. Yeah, any everybody's available, bro. If you if you put the if you put the right pieces up, come on now, don't do that. I think the Warriors are a year behind in trying huh? to make a big trade. They what the Warriors gonna do with Clay? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, you know, what are they gonna do with Clay? They, uh, they uh, had uh, Wiseman. I'm telling y'all right now, they are not parting with Steph, Clay, or Draymond. 
Exactly. Yeah, three is three in the state. Yeah, that's why I would think they waited a year too late when their assets didn't look this bad. Bro, how and they still the paying wages too. How was it a year too late when? Because you not got rid of Wiseman for an undrafted player. That's why for Garen Pay Jr. Moody, his uh trade value ain't that high no, no more. They got Kaminga, rid of Wiseman. Not they that really high. got rid of Wiseman because if they would have held on to him any longer, it would have been a massive cap hit. They would have had to pay like extra seventy million dollars. So they have to ask themselves, is Wiseman worth 70 goddamn million dollars? They, they knew that last year. No. What I'm saying is they made this trade. Right. Because to avoid that. They have, yeah, they have to say. But I'm saying they worked this late. Month. And so Wiseman, it was not worth. And really, that tells you his value around the whole league. Because if they ain't getting really the boy out of Memphis. They probably could have got a lot more for him than what they did get. He so did Lamont, why did they get if rid they of Wiseman? Him Besides the cap hit, if he why why did they get rid of what was his they issue with Golden State? Because of the money. Just solely because of the money. Yes. No, I think he wasn't a good fit in Golden State. And they didn't well, like he, well, he wasn't a good fit either. Right. You, why not? Is what I'm saying. Because he didn't be understand the offense. He didn't cost the team an extra seventy million dollars. Right. If you're gonna cost me an extra seventy million dollars, you damn well better be a good fit. Right, and his and he didn't understand the offense. He couldn't. He didn't. He didn't learn the offense. Oh, so you saying no, the center position? Not it either. It's but the only one left. The only one left is, 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 is the man is down in good, Memphis. Wiseman's a good player. A hundred percent. But Wiseman's motor was predicated on him playing, scoring the ball. He wouldn't play hard defensively if he wasn't scoring. When he when the guy he was down scoring, in Memphis, when he was scoring. He had great games. But the Warriors don't need a center that wants to score. The one down in Memphis. Oh. Who, Tillman? Hey, I'm no. not talking about uh, Adams or uh, uh, Adams. Clark. That's not real. They are not letting bro. Adams go. Adams yeah, what about Clark? Not. I mean, Clark coming off Clark, the Achilles. Clark won't be playing next year. Yeah, he's he going the play. whole year? Yeah, and he's a four, really, bro. Like, he's a four. No, yeah, he's he a four, but yeah, year. but yeah, he's a four, but he can play five. No, nah, he's a five. He's a five. Yeah, year. he can play the five. Yeah, Brandon hey, Clark is too small. He's a small five. Hey, well, he's a small five, but a lot of teams run a small five. You don't need a yeah, big saying, five against certain he teams. A, he yeah. rebound like a five. Yeah, he rebound and play solid defense. Yeah, he could play. He could play against most lineups in the NBA. Hyping Brandon Clark. That man was coming off the goddamn bench, man. What hey, are y'all talking about? about? I ain't talking about him as no starter. Be over hyping some bums, man. No, I ain't talking about him as no starter, Lamont. No. You saying Brandon Clark is a bum? He's a bench player. He's yeah. a he's a he's an important bench player though. Yeah, he's he your first bench. big man off the bench. What are y'all talking about? about him like he's gonna they come had, in? And they had and Adams and they had Adams and Triple J. Come on, bro. Look who he was behind. They don't get that much better. What's that? I think the Warriors might be stuck. That's just my. I think you know they That's had a great I'm run. Saying. You know they had a great run, but I mean, hey man. That's why it be nasty, bro. Uh, Brandon Clark is a solid, in the middle solid of trying to player. develop young talent and win championships. We're you talking can't do about that. a guy that can come change the Warriors. It ain't Brandon Clark. Hey, let me. Let no, me we didn't say that. Though. We didn't say that. We're talking about getting deeper. We're talking about getting deeper at the position. You're not going to change need, the Warriors, but the Warriors, Warriors don't need necessarily need changing, especially at the center position. No center is going to change the Warriors. Well, I don't. If, if you like. If, I can name a lot of centers that would change the world. If you put Porzingis on the world, he changes. If you put Valanciunas on the world, like you said, realistically, like you said, realistically. realistically. That's what I said. Realistically, there's only a handful of options where they can actually make the right trade, and it happens. Miles Turner will be a great option. If oh, one hundred percent. I don't. I think the Pacers are loaded with guards, so I don't see the need for Jordan Poole in Indiana. When they're already loaded up with a ton of guards, so I don't see that being a realistic destination unless they pull off a three-team deal. And yeah, I don't, I don't see them getting Miles like Turner or so Jeremy the Grant. Warriors, they're not man. getting, uh, or Jeremy Grant. They're not getting a player like that. I don't think. This and, why and I said they waited too late. Hey, hey, hey Lamont. Hey, what's going on, Lamont? Hey, hey Lamont. I just, I, I just, just have a quick question for you. Then, then I'll, I'll you guys have it. I, I gotta go. Um, but, but just, just hearing some of these takes is just disgusting work. But anyways, if, if where do you? I know it's, it may, may be a little too early, but where do you think? Realistically, where do you think Jordan Poole will end up? But starts next. I mean, I don't know where he ends up, but I believe he's traded. I don't. I don't. Be, I believe that that relationship, like I, when I was talking to my homie uh, Nico Mannion, and he was talking about that divide in the locker room. He's talking about how the vets 
or like like that situation where Draymond Green hit Jordan Poole, that situation jump started. Draymond Green wasn't even involved. That was Jordan Poole talking shit to Clay, and Draymond Green stepped in because he was getting out of body with Clay, and then he stepped in, and then that's when it elevated to the next level because then he sparked off and said something out of line to Draymond Green. It's the vets. If if Steph Clay and Draymond don't want Jordan Poole there, Jordan Poole's out. And they and they will make it happen. The Warriors will make it happen. I agree um, with that. Shit, but you and, can't and, force a team and, to take somebody off your hands. It don't though. matter if you force a team. We know that right now, Jordan Poole has a ton of value in this league. A ton of value. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I, don't now, know. This I, I agree with that. He has value as a you volume know, scorer. Jordan Poole on the trade market today, you're going to have 20 teams calling for him. Now, let's not act like it. Yes, you will have a lot of teams calling for Jordan Poole. I, you have a lot. I don't who know about in the 20, NBA but... needs uh needs some guards right now. Bro, hold on. The team that just lost to the Lakers, the Memphis Grizzlies could use a guard like that on the perimeter. hundred percent. Okay, so so who what's they the trade? The I don't though. know who they give it. I'm just saying where he, what teams could use them. A ton of teams could use it. The New right. York Knicks use that type of scoring on the perimeter. Right, it's a ton of teams that could use the Miami Heat could use another guard after losing Ola Depot. They could use that type of scoring on the perimeter. A guy who can give that scoring punch, you can score outside. Toronto, of the Toronto can use that. Oh, it's a ton of teams. It's a ton of teams that can use his score. You name one then, Tyson. Toronto might be a trade. And yeah. when you, that's what Jordan Poole can do if you put him in that starting role and you give him the ball and you give him that high volume looks. When you give him that high volume usage, he gives you good production. But for what Golden State was asking him to do, he didn't get enough touches on ball to get his consistency right. I agree with all that. I agree with all that. And so that's fact. There's like teams that can use pool, like but I'm just trying to see a realistic package with combined with a the team could use pool now. Now uh, step two, what's the package? Okay, like with the Raptors. So is it going to be pool for Precious? It's no, never gonna be one on one trade. I'm not one on one. I'm just talking about like you know base package. Base oh, package. Who is Toronto to giving up? Is what the they saying? Got picks, if the Warriors got picks to give up, and if they want to attach some picks with them, they could get OG. Yeah, but I can, can I see. I can see that happening. They could get OG with probably three picks and pool. Man, ain't nobody giving them no three picks for no OG. I don't know. <laughs> that's, what, that's what the Raptors want for. Them. I mean, but would we be talking about these adjustments if the Lakers didn't expose their weaknesses, though? Because that's exactly what happened. Like, basically, the Lakers exposed every weakness the Warriors have. So the, all the other teams in the league couldn't do that. So now that they've been exposed, like now we're talking about all these, you know, trade pools. They didn't expose anything like, from a seven yeah, seed. So, yeah, the Kings, I mean, bro, like the Kings showed some holes, bro. Like Monk was not, killing not Jordan really, Poole, bro. bro. Not really. No, nah, not really. The Kings didn't show no holes, bro. From a yeah. King just needed experience. From a six back, seed, no, from a six seeder team, Kings they exposed it. something. Oh, Sabonis was their weakest link. Sabonis, Sabonis played played sub, man. He didn't play to his. Bro, I, I was surprised they could just leave him out on the perimeter and he couldn't he could knock down an open 15, 20, uh, 18 footer, man. The that Kings was that was their biggest man. thing. Their, their the ability Kings to play off Sabonis. He has a broken bro. hand, bro. On his Who? shooting hand is broken. Who? Sabonis. Okay, well that's what I'm, whatever. Here. Whatever it was, they was able to play off of him, and he couldn't. He couldn't take advantage of that. So oh, that was a big yeah. problem for them. That's why I'm saying they couldn't. The Kings couldn't expose their weaknesses, bro. They played the exact same. They played what the way the Warriors want to play, bro. Yeah. The Lakers played the opposite of that, bro. No, that's true. That's a hundred percent true. That's true. So that's why I'm saying, like, if let's just say the Warriors win this series, right? Are we even talking about them in the off season? Because we would it, it was th- basically what the Lakers did. They basically say, okay, like the league looking around, like, okay, we can actually play real basketball now instead of no. chucking up 50 threes, bro. You ain't seen no real basketball. Th- Stop saying that. Bro, bro, so the Lakers don't play real basketball, bro? Hell no. Ain't nobody oh, playing real God. basketball. But you sound like you got 80 years old. What the hell is that old head talk right there? Yeah, he's 80 uh, years old, man. You don't even supposed to be on YouTube. Ain't yeah. the Philadelphia 76 was playing so, real so, basketball the so, other day? So, so, so the Warriors did the, play the, real basketball? Did this, did, I, I'm what, not a Warriors fan. What is the Sixers playing real basketball yesterday? 
When the Sixers lost that uh, game, where they played real love basketball, that versus Heat series, didn't you? You love that. Did the Sixers didn't. play? Don't know. I didn't ask you that. Did That's the Philadelphia Seventy Sixers play real basketball the other day? Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? So what you consider real basketball today, right now? Bro, your mic is terrible. Yeah, your mic is horrible, bro. Did the Sixers play real basketball yesterday? Yeah, and they lost. Yeah, they was playing real basketball, shooting threes like the Rockets. That's not real bad. That's my point. <laughs> that's not real basketball, bro. <laughs> that's what I'm don't saying. You, you, hold on, you 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 contradicting yourself, right? No, now. I'm not. Nobody. Yes, is. The whole league is a fairy the tale. Don't, no, they don't. The Lakers do not do that. <laughs> the Lakers. The just whole league is a fairy tale, bro. The, the whole Lakers league play inside out basketball, bro. Man, stop kidding yourself, bro. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know what he's saying, bro. Who is so, that robot? That's D. Reed. D. Reed, your mic is messed up. Your whole league is a fairy tale. So led I'm, by a false you king. Ain't, you, you, you ain't bro, the them. Warriors were nineteen and zero, bro. Are you this understanding that this they were nineteen he ain't and zero, one bro, game. He ain't enjoyed bro. one game. Of <laughs> I don't. Yeah, yeah, I don't get why people watching. hate the league and still watching and want to come up and yeah, talk you about been, it. You've been, huh? been making yourself sick on this. Be, I be laughing, bro. It's fun. It's it's Ooh. entertainment. No, because it ain't no way you've been watching these <laughs> it's playoffs. Entertainment. It's not real basketball. All this it's defense that's going on. What the? <laughs> the Lakers had the Warriors <laughs> under fifty points and a half, like every game, damn near. Besides the blowout, they got that's defense. Because exactly. the refs blowing their whistles. <laughs> oh my god, bro! Oh man, yeah, because the they whistle. playing inside out, right? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this. So was the same as real basketball? Wait, bro, let me let me say this, bro. Not, let me ask you a question. Was the how could real basketball? How, how how could the NBA promote all this basketball and not promote and, and not promote the number one seed in, in the West? The what, same way they've done the last couple what? of years when the number one seed didn't win. The Jazz. <laughs> the Jazz had the best record in the league. The they NBA did. always does that, though. You know, they they always. The no, NBA always you, is about their money. This year, it's a business. I ask you this year. The number no, one seed. Every other year. The, don't, don't ask the, the number one, one seed in the West. Right, let me talk, sir. Let me talk. The number one seed in the West was the Denver Nuggets. And they played the last game on TV when the playoffs started. And they're the latest. They're the latest team right. to tip off. That's every well, year. How? That's, the, that's throughout the whole run. Do you season. know? The Nuggets don't play do the you Denver know where, right. where? Do you know where Denver, Denver, Colorado Nuggets, is? Denver Nuggets get it's the least. On the do you know where Denver, Colorado Denver Nuggets, is? Denver Nuggets, Denver Nuggets play at eleven o'clock every night. The do night you show. know where Denver, Colorado is, sir? Do you know your geography? Do you, you know where Denver, Colorado, Colorado is, sir? It's Mountain West, like yeah. Mountain West is in Mountain. Okay, where is California at, sir? On the West Coast. So which one is in which time zone? No, we got you. It's an hour difference, I believe. It might be okay, the same. so what are you saying, sir? It might be the same. Not, not, not. I no, think uh, uh, we no, got sir. daylight savings time man. out here, land so it plane. depends on what you time of year. Yeah, we are, we are land the plane, bro. I, I, I just landed it. So if the number one C in the West, that motherfucker, bro. I know I did. You you don't know. I guess we didn't go to school. What you talking about? I don't know. What <laughs> you talking you about LeBron? Me, Hold on, man. You talking about LeBron James, nah. Anthony Davis, and the L.A. Lakers, brother? So of course they're going to get prime time action anytime. Wow. That, because I just told you why. Because we're talking who, about LeBron James. Who was and the number the one seed? You see how many stars was at the game? You see who was what the kind number of one seed? I ain't actually I understand who was the number, who was the number one, one seed. But I'm explaining to you why the NBA time. promotes the Los Angeles Lakers. Hold on, y'all. We just said it. We everybody up here just chatting now. I don't know what the hell George is That's talking my about. Fault. Anyway. That's my fault. I don't. I don't know what point he's trying to get across and all this stuff. I mean, I don't know. I, I want to just. We about to wind this one down anyway, so I'm about to start shutting it down because we're going on four hours, 15 minutes. I got to get this one shut down, and I got to make sure it don't go over five hours so I can edit it. Wada says drop the link. Um, I mean, Wada, I've been dropping the link the whole time. I've been dropping it the whole time. I'll drop it one more time. We'll stay up here about another 10 minutes. We're going to be winding this one down. Hold on. Where we at? Hitman X, come on up here, man. You was riding high. Hey man, X, you was riding high with the Suns, man. Riding high, man. Yeah, man. I, I, I was too. I was too. 
I tried to tell you, Tyson. Yeah, man. You know, I was, I was, I was with my heart, man. I was, I was out here with my heart, but Denver was a deeper team, the better team. Simple as that. Denver was that all year. Hey, Lamar, man, get, get, get me the floor, man. Cause I think these LeBron fans, I think these like oh, fans on the most. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. I think they're on the most to lose to the fan base Hold your in, tongue. in the world right now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna turn up right quick, man. Hold your tongue. Put me on the big screen, Lamar. Put me on the big screen, Lamar. <laughs> you ain't even got your camera on, huh? Man. Yo, but you tell you want my camera on, nigga? My yeah, camera yeah, on? yeah. We want your yeah, camera on. Yeah, yo. Camera on, nigga. What you talking about, nigga? My All right, camera man, on. You go hey, look, look, hey, look. I'm going to go ahead and tell her how it is, bro. I'm going to go ahead and let it be known how it is, bro. Like Y'all niggas been cooking AD Ugh. all year. Y'all been sitting up there criticizing. I'm talking about he Terry Cloth and soft and saying that been your boy him. Ticket. That was Ticket, bro. Hey, 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 nah, it, it ain't just Ticket. It's y'all motherfuckers too. Been no, a- hold on, who is that? Who is that? Ticket, bro. Don't you talking about y'all? Me? You talking about y'all? Me? Y'all been, y'all been accusing what you mean, them niggas. Y'all? y'all been blaming them niggas all year long, and all of a sudden you got you trust Darvin Ham. Now all of a sudden y'all trust Anthony Davis. Man, end of the day, bro. End of the day, you can't trust that little nigga. Can't trust Darvin Ham. All y'all niggas that want to act like y'all believe now, man, the devil niggas go put that ass, mm-hmm. put the ass. Who is your team? That great white about the green. You sound like you sound like that great white 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 we lead the Denver Nuggets into the NBA you, Finals. Right? Ain't that right? I said now, this. I, I said this before. I said this before I left. <laughs> Hold on. I, I the said white dude didn't I even left. agree with you. Oh, <laughs> the white dude <laughs> didn't even agree with he you. He was. He wasn't fucking with her. Nah, he wasn't I said this man. before. Yeah. I left. <laughs> Let your LeBron James hate get you into a stupid bet, and now you really gonna ride that uh, dumbass no, no, great no, no, wide no, hope no, logic no, no, to no, the to the brave, bro. Hey, LeBron, I got a pistol, really. I'm I'm for the really pistol, my now, LeBron. I'm for the really hit him where it hurt. Y'all wanna believe in the nigga that use PD? Oh, that loves to shoot the game. That loves to shoot the game. You been sipping? Y'all wouldn't wanna believe in a nigga like that to stack the deck and use PD and shit. Hey, that's cool. That's all y'all. At the wow. end of the day, man, the Nuggets, the Nuggets been the number one seed for me. Hearsay doesn't make y'all me mad, sir. All of a sudden, y'all motherfuckers all of a sudden go ignore all the criticism y'all put on Anthony Davis. And put I on didn't put any criticism hands, on Anthony Davis. Put on the role you. players, and now all of a sudden y'all <laughs> believe in them motherfuckers. Huh? Can they face a mediocre team? Hey, going, Can they face a mediocre the team in the Memphis Grizzlies? Right? We going to right, the Nuggets face the mediocre team in Minnesota. Face the mediocre team in the Memphis Grizzlies. Right, right. Face the mediocre team in the Memphis Grizzlies. That was some shit. You the Grizzlies shit, man. Come on, y'all think that was a good one? Just let them, let them troll, bro. Be trolling. Let them troll. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all play against the Golden State Warriors team that been having turmoil the whole year between the between the veterans and the young guys. You mean the defending champions, right? Hold on, cause Jordan pulled shit. Water. I you mean the defending fans. champions, though, right? I told the Golden State fans that they should not have gave Jordan pull all that money, but, but they did. They did what it is. But at the end of the day, man, y'all believe what y'all want to believe. Elder, I appreciate the donation, Elder. The I, I, I hey, believe y'all the gonna hate the, hey, y'all gonna hate, the, y'all gonna hate everybody else sports in a minute because when everybody else sports start cooking the Lakers, start cooking LeBron, Ramon James, y'all gonna think that he's a hater. Just like y'all think I'm a hater. And, we, and I admit, goddamn, I hate that nigga. I hate what y'all stand for, excuse me. And I hate that y'all motherfuckers cap and get on your knees like it ain't shit. Talk wow. basketball and get the way you get on your knees for Kobe and Jordan, right? Exactly, bro. the way you get on your knees for Kobe and Jordan, right? And y'all get a number one C respect. You mean the way you get your knee pads on for Kobe and Jordan, right? The way you get on your knees for six seasons, right? What's ironic is... I ain't getting on my damn knees for a nigga, nigga. LeBron fans, don't think we don't say about AD was he need to stay healthy. That's what I ain't going to do. Man, yeah, I mean, hey, the way hey, all hey, you, all you nostalgia, I'm 40 hey, years old, bro. Hey, I grew up in the 80s, Boston. Hey, Lamont, this is what I hate, Lamont. They been saying... Darvin Ham is Darvin scam. They've been saying AD is soft and he's not reliable. He's inconsistent. You've been saying that. Uh, why LeBron? Why LeBron got to do everything and all this shit? So why all of a sudden the month that they believe in Darvin Ham, that they believe in Anthony Davis? So the month, my point is what I've been trying to say. Let's see if Anthony Davis can be the man for a seven game series and lead the whole way. If I'm the Denver Nuggets, I dare that so called soft motherfucker to beat me. I ain't going to let nobody else beat me. I ain't going to let Austin Reeves. <laughs> I ain't going to let that hillbilly motherfucker beat me. 
I ain't gonna let nobody Thank beat you. me but Anthony fucking Davis, end of the day. And then, hey, 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 Chief, you can talk that whole shit you want to, Chief. End of the day, yo ass been cooking Darvin Ham and AD all year. So you shut your bitch ass up. I'm gonna go cut you short. Man, end of the you day. You sound like you upset. That we <laughs> nah, I ain't no upset. I ain't no upset. I never be upset. You sound man. real. You sound smiling, like man. you in your field. I'm smiling, field. Man. Hey, you sound I'm like smiling. you in your field, field. I'm trying to. I'm feeling good. No, you not. <laughs> nah, he definitely I'm not feeling, feeling good. good. That's a damn lie. Hey, hey, I'm making stress. somebody dull in the night. I'm making somebody dull in the night. Man, look. It, That's stress, day, boy. You stress. Y'all shit water, man. Y'all, 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 what you need to do, what you like need to do water, is smoke and on I this mean, motherfucking man. golden steak I mean, pack. This motherfucker off the chain, my nigga. I'm what was off the chain? This Steph Curry State ain't my pack. number one. We about to Steph roll Curry up this. We about to roll up this Denver pack. That's the team. We finna roll Steph this Denver pack team, too. Nigga. And then the when, when, Steph when, when, and then and then my and my then my when my man won the championship and shit, you don't even know shit. And I can't wait. I cannot wait. Hey, Lamar. Hey, Lamar. That's a good one. Hey, that's a good one, Lamar. That's a good one, man. That's a good one. I could do that. That is crazy. Let's say I look like Lil Reese. But look, one thing about me and Lil Reese, we stand on that shit. End of the day, we stand on our 10 toes. We ain't got to ride with no niggas. We ain't got to dick ride no other niggas. You sit on yourself too, though. Nah, I ain't going to sit on myself. Herm, I got a question for you. I got a question for you. I ain't going to sit on myself. I shit on you and LeBron. I shit on y'all, I got a question for you, Big Herm. Big Herm, let, let me ask you a question. Let's go ahead. So since your team is out, you just roll for you root for every team that's playing the Lakers, right? That's what hey, we you doing. Damn, you damn right, I root. <laughs> <laughs> hey, then look, then look. End of the day, I told y'all about my team before y'all motherfuckers can figure it out. I had motherfuckers saying that I was a hater. I hated on John Morant. How can you hate on a nigga that's a, that's the star of your franchise? I told y'all motherfuckers about. I battled him before it's not. He the same motherfucker. He playing the same way he did coming in as a rookie. And y'all expect that nigga all of a sudden to make a deep playoff run with an incomplete game? I ain't expecting game. him to do shit. He got an incomplete once we, game. Once I found out he, he was playing that seven C, I didn't expect him to do a damn he got thing. An, he got an incomplete game, man. That's you also said do something. Jones was good y'all gave my too. team. Y'all gave my team expectations that shit not have ever had. And hey, be- hey, hey! Here. Before the before the trade and deadline and the injuries. Money. Guess what? I won money off my own team. <laughs> you you a cold, you a cold nigga. You a cold nigga betting against your hometown team, team, bro. You a cold nigga, man. Yeah, out there on Bill Street, you better watch out. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, your own home, your own flesh and blood out there, man. Your hometown. Oh, hey, he hey, hey, now look. Against- this now look, I, I actually, actually got beat. I actually doing security work tonight. I'm dressed like a civilian, but I gotta watch these crazy motherfuckers in the city carrying their guns on bill and one B street on bill. So I really gotta watch them motherfuckers all night. Be but safe, really man. Be, be safe out there, bro. Be safe, bro. Hey, you safe, and Diva, bro. you and Diva, you and Diva got the same problem. <laughs> Hey man, hey man, end of the day, Nicole Yoga's gonna show why he should have got his third straight MVP. Hey, <laughs> hey nigga, quit drinking on the job, Yoga, man. Quit Nicole drinking Yoga, on the job. Hey, Nicole hey, 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 quit hey, drinking Nicole on the job before I call your supervisor, hey, hey, nigga. Nicole Yoga's gonna give white people hope, man. That's what he gonna <laughs> like, you, the know the gonna you know the Nuggets gonna beat the Lakers, man. You know the Lakers gonna beat the Lakers. You know the Lakers gonna beat. I'm pulling for the Nuggets, but everybody's saying that. Damn problem, shooters everywhere. They want the Lakers in there. <laughs> Y'all heard that, right? Y'all heard that, right, man? He he knows better, man. It's a good hey, that nigga suit too tight. That nigga, that is, nigga suit. Oh, that blood was rushing to his brain. That nigga suit was too tight, man. <laughs> 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 that little milk dud was about to pop, nigga. That little milk dud he had was about to pop. Hey, man, look, end of the day, man, end of the day, we know what it is, man. We know what it is. If the Lakers do get by, it's going to be off some cheating ass, delusional ass shit that the Lakers going to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey,
I'm gonna start that dinner right now. If they beat the Nuggets, they cheated. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start that dinner right her, now. They beat the Nuggets, hell, they cheated. Hey, Lamont, Lamont, <laughs> you can post this video every every no. game the Nuggets lose in the series. You can post that clip every goddamn time you can, if, as you please. <laughs> That hey. Herm said that they cheating, that the league is cheating for the Lakers, man. Uh, hey, Herm, that's Herm, good Herm. content. Man, just go around asking niggas their opinion tonight, bro. Just go around. <laughs> that's good content right there, hey, man. Nicole, you're going to beat LeBron James, ain't Who? Nicole, you're going to beat LeBron James. Yeah, yeah, y'all heard it, man. Y'all heard it, man. Hey. Hey, I'm going around asking everybody. Yeah, you do that shit all y'all night, man. man. That shit funny. Herm, but how did the Denver Nuggets, what's their real strategy to beat the Lakers? How? They got to, they got, hey, Lamont, they got to stick to that game plan. End of the day, you understand your weaknesses. So if, if a smart coach understand their own weaknesses, Lamont, end of the day, I would rather let Anthony the Davis cook than let anybody else on the Lakers get off and get going. I don't want LeBron James to be in the wheel. I don't want Austin Reeves to get in the wheel. I don't want the role players to get comfortable in the series. If AD getting it, if AD could fuck around and get 40, 40, average 30 and 20 in the whole series, I just got to tip my hat to him. I got to shake his hand back, man, you proved me wrong, brother. Because at the end of the day, no team has ever tried to dare Anthony Davis to do that. And I think Denver actually have no choice but to do that because you don't want to expose Nicole your yogurt. Three hundred music, man. You know it is what it is, man. You know we run the game. We got little Dirk out there. We still got cheap keep in the game, man. You know what I'm saying? Three hundred. It's still three hundred. It ain't no OTF, nigga. It's three hundred, nigga. Little Reese, man. We, hey, mixtape coming out next month. Well, you walking down Bill Street? You better watch what you're saying out there. <laughs> oh hell, man. It ain't no BDs and, and, and shit in Memphis. Tennessee. Now it's GDs and VLs, but it ain't no damn BDs in Memphis, Tennessee. Nobody worry about that bullshit in Memphis. Man, look. Man, look, end of the day, y'all, y'all could be delusional. Y'all could go for y'all nigga that use PEDs. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all, 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 y'all could go, y'all could go after that little skinny ass African nigga and Dennis Schroeder that y'all destroyed. Y'all destroyed the first. <laughs> he German, man. Why you got called a nigga African cause cause he dark skin, man. He German. Hey, hey, y'all sit up there. Hey. Hey. Tony Martinez, hey, I'm a fly little nigga, man. I'm straight. <laughs> I'm straight. Let me see some joking, man. Here's some of them joking moves, bro. Hey, I just got a big forehead. I got a big forehead and shit. I got some big ass teeth, <laughs> too. <laughs> you got a big ass smile, her. <laughs> I'm a motherfucker with myself, though. I know I'm a motherfucker. Oh, that's yeah, comedy. Little Reese, you thugging in this motherfucker, man. Three hundred, man. Ain't nothing like three hundred. Crazy, we got little Reese on the panel. <laughs> hey, right. hey, I'm gonna start some controversial shit. Any LeBron fan, y'all want smoke? I want to smoke with y'all, motherfuckers, man. I want to smoke the whole series. The great white hope is gonna whoop y'all ass, boy. The great white hope is gonna whoop you. y'all ass. No, Lamont, you know what I find funny? How how people love to say if you're a fan of LeBron, you a gawk gawker when these de- then these dudes be on all fours for Jordan and Kobe all the fucking time. It's so funny. Right now, right now, Herm is gonna be on all fours for Jokic because if that motherfucker lose, that motherfucker gonna have to pay a whop to an uh, elder. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they better, hey, they better they better jeep, they better, they better rat. Hey, hey, now, now, but look, but look, though, but look, though, Lamont, but look, though, Lamont, when you cool with niggas, man, sometimes they get your payment plan. Herm was just, a a couple months ago, he was just making videos calling Jokic a fraud. I showed the hell did. I'm going to stick to it. I just think you're going to kick the Lakers in. That's crazy, Herm. That's crazy. You put a, you called a nigga a fraud and then put a G on him? 
Yeah, I fuck with you. Uh, bed hey, with hate. I'm on all the smoke. Savinia, stand up. Russia, stand up. Soviet <laughs> Union, stand up. Hey, man, I'm riding with y'all, man. We're going to put a nuclear bomb on the bronze ass of our Sanders Lakers, nigga. We bringing them illegal weapons overseas, nigga. We're going to whoop their ass, man. <laughs> Get you, hey, you whoop oh, that shit hilarious. Oh. That nigga said Russia, stand up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm definitely Yo, Herm, what you drinking, bro? Because you, you sound uh, crazy, man. I'm definitely going to hey, make hey. a clip calling you a Nazi now. Hey, guess what? Guess what, though? Since, since we want to talk about Nazis, hey, Dom Hitler once said that, hey, all black men, are, hey, we are the kings. We are the Jews. We, we are the most powerful. So even Adolf Hitler, Knew that we were the most powerful, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I roll it with the Nazis, nigga, because they knew what we was before them other motherfuckers knew what we were. So yeah, hundred percent have mercy. He said, "Have mercy, though." Holy oh, shit, Herm, you just said you rolling with the Nazis. Yeah, for this series, I am, man. For this series, I'm all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nazis himself. <laughs> that nigga yeah. Herm is nasty today, bro. Herm better be lucky he's not famous. That motherfucker would have been canceled. Like <laughs> he would have canceled yeah, his hey, ass, hey, man. That's a good thing about it. I ain't going to get canceled, though. Man, canceled. man, that nigga said, Russia stand up, and I'm rolling Russia with the Nazis all in, one, uh, all in the five-minute span. Man. <laughs> oh, wild, man. Yeah, he drinking that uh, sex on the beach. Got it. Well, yeah, what you got over there, bro? Nah, I ain't drinking on. sex on the beach, though. Superman, man. I'm drinking the Superman right now. Wet Willis, man. You know anything about Wet Willis in Memphis, Tennessee? No, man, Superman, yeah. Superman go get you there, goddamn. You know, you go get somebody's daughter at the end of the night. You know what I'm saying? Go be here what it is. You dig what I'm saying? But look, if y'all roll with LeBron James and shit, you know you got to take you got to take some honey. You got to take one of them rhinos or something to, to get you get yourself <laughs> off. Cause that's what LeBron do. He he used medication. Yo, he used medication yeah. to get around. That's you know wild. Hey, that's yeah. wild, my nigga. This you know, hey, 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 he know the names. You know what Herm off of, bro? Man. You, 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 Herm, you know what Herm, Herm off. Herm, when was the last time you bought some of them honey packs, Herm? I ain't drinking no two eleven, nigga. I ain't, I ain't that damn bro. I ain't that damn broke at the end of the day. I just asked a hold about me some nigga. I ain't, I ain't got drink no damn two eleven and it came down to it. But look, I know the thing. He on the APO. He on the steroid. That what he on. Oh wow! Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get y'all mad. I want to get y'all mad, nigga, before the series, nah, so that white boy, so the great white hope can cook. So Yogis can go ahead and cook. I'm putting the rumors back out there, man. I'm pulling them back out. The right. Chell Sona, man, I ride it with Chell Sona, man. Chell Sona, shout out to Chell Sona, man. Hey, we're going to keep putting the rumors out there. Chell Sona. Hey, he ain't did another podcast. Hey, you want 100, man. man. You exposed to real. They don't want to listen to you, bro. Chell Sona, I ride with you, homie. You got my support. I'm, That's I'm crazy. That man. is crazy. This nigga, racist, this nigga yeah, racist as hell. He up here <laughs> shouting out with Chell Sona. You wild, bro. <laughs> Hey, Your hate, for, the one, yo hate for a basketball a player get you riding with a hater for real, though. That's crazy. <laughs> Man, what you say, Bad Max? I said, you know, they say if it was LeBron versus the KKK in finals, they had a KKK and I rolled, I rolled with the KKK, too, because LeBron already worked with him. So, yeah, I rolled nah, with the KKK. Nah, don't do that. That's nasty, bro. Mute this nigga, Lamont. He went too far, bro. He went too far, Lamont. With KKK. Lamont, man, we can't let this. You can't let that ride on your channel, bro. Yo, that was crazy. That's nasty work. Right. Nah, that was wrong. Hey, y'all, look. I know you just hey, pulled up, yo, Chris. Hey, crazy. salute, Chris, for the hitting the cash app. Definitely appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man. Hey, hey. Hey, Lamont. Hey, Lamont, you oh, going to get nothing but cash apps fucking with me, though. Because the end of the day, man, look. Y'all nigga on PDs, he cheated. Hey, I, I might need to ask him. Channel, you so, I can get back, so I can get back in the baseball too, man. I might need to ask him, man, how can I get my rotator cup better? I used to throw 94, LeBron. How can I get back to throwing 94? He might this tell me over with, Herm. Look at your headline. Hey, hey you I'm gonna ask. Yo, no more, yo hell, bro, you killing me right now. Ain't fucked up though. I yo, gotta do ask crazy. your hold. I you gotta know. do ask your hold. That she'll tell you what's up. But man, but look, wrong with his hairline. It looked fine. <laughs> yo, who did that? Yo, who did that? Stop. <laughs>
going to have all them players out. You know what I'm saying? Like all them players out. Oh, yeah, I'm with the shit, though, Lamar. I just, I just like to piss folks off, man. You know, that's all. Well, Herm that's ended all. the stream, man. We're going to end it with that. Herm, Herm just gave us some good content to snip up. And uh, we'll see what he says come true. <laughs> I don't think hey, it will. Hey, 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 Mike Malone, if your ass want to keep your job, man, if your ass want to keep your job, Man, see if AD can actually beat you for real, bro. Don't sit up there, double team the nigga. Don't send no help. See if that nigga can actually get it done. Your bitch ass send a double team, Mike Malone. I may, I may write a letter to Denver owner right now and say, fire your bitch ass if you send a double team. See if that bitch ass boy can beat you for real, man. I don't believe in that Terry Clough ass nigga. You shouldn't believe in him. You shouldn't believe in here, Billy Colby. You shouldn't believe in Dennis Schroeder punk ass. Now, hold on, hold on, her. Here's the problem. They... They one of the final four teams remaining in the NBA. I mean, how far they got to go before he got to prove this to you? Hey, he got to prove it, man. He got to prove it, man. I mean, but they they in the Western Conference Finals. How much more? How much farther you got to go before you believe? I can't hear. Mike muted. Hey, didn't he average like thirty for like ten straight games or something? Nope. Like double team. Right, we bro, he you already know. gave Joker the business in the bubble, bro. This, this is this hey. gonna be the same business, bro. So, no, 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 but see, this how this how dumb y'all bitch ass niggas is. End of the day, y'all didn't make no excuse for LeBron when he got his ass kicked in 07 by the Spurs. Guess what y'all motherfuckers said? But he was 22 years old. All right, how old Jokic was in, in 25? Bro, the Spurs right. were the better how team. How old Jokic was? All right, all right, all right, then, motherfucker. The Lakers was a better team in 2020. Right, You're saying, saying the Nuggets are the better team now, so I don't want to hey, hear yeah, that, they bro. are the better team now. Yeah, oh, okay, Herm. so when they lose, then what you going to say? Hold on, yeah, hold on, yeah, hold on, yeah. Herm cussing too much. He drinking too much, so he cussing too much. Bro. Oh, my bad, yeah, my bad, yeah. My hey, bad, Lamont. But no, nah, we got to shut this one down anyway. I got to shut it down before we get to the five-hour mark. For sure, for sure. My nice. bad, Lamar, for the nice. curse. Man. Salute y'all, man. Have a good one, man. I'm going. All right, Salute. All right man. Y'all. Appreciate you pulling hey, up. Y'all. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Right, man. Hey, man. Hey, hope in the building, man. Hey, Nicole Yogis, you the best. Nicole Yogis, you the best, man. Get it done. Right, Get it done, right. Yogis. <laughs> we will see, man. It's going to be a tough one. <laughs> all right, man. All right, Herm. I'm going to catch all you on salute. the next. Salute, Lamar. Yep. Yeah. All right, y'all, man. Yep. Hey, y'all, that was a good stream, man. Hey, Lakers pulled it off. Sixers got to get it done. We got one series left remaining before we see who the final four teams is. Salute to one cool P. Uh, pulling up to the chat, man. Appreciate everybody pulling up. Duke, Duke, Baylocks. Uh, uh, Marlon Malcolm, Chief, I see you there. Diggs, Young Africa came through. Donnell Shaw. Even though you was tripping, I got you. Pootie, man, Black Genius, man. I see a lot of new names, so make sure, man, when I see these new names, even if y'all don't pull up to the panel, man, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button and turn on them notifications so y'all know when we go live. That's the main thing, man. Um, Because the main goal is keeping y'all coming back, man. And um, You know, yesterday we did a shoe giveaway. We're going to try to do a few more giveaways, um, depending on what we got going on, man. But uh, we definitely try to give back when we can. Oh, uh, yeah, Jody Flame, he said, classic stream. Yeah, facts. That was classic, man. A lot of content there. A lot of good content that we could chop up, man, and redistribute, man. And, um, again, appreciate you guys pulling up, man. The numbers in the stream was really good, man. Y'all guys came in here. Y'all stuck around. Um, and, and, and we got a lot covered, man. We got a lot covered. Like I said, we already we proved in this stream that all the narratives about the free throw line was false. We killed that one. And now, really, Herm just really proved to us that everything is just based around hate. It's just a hate. They don't want to see him succeed, and especially this year after so many people spent so much time really trashing him. So it is what it is, man. But, again, appreciate you guys pulling up, man. It's been another great podcast. Hey, yeah, we're going to be back, man. Make sure y'all tune in. We got more uploads. I got more NBA film study videos coming. Uh, what else we got? Uh, we're going to be going live on our other channel. So make sure if you haven't subscribed to FYF Sports Clips channel, uh, we're going to be going live over there to talk about things outside of the game of basketball. Um, so I don't want y'all to miss out on that as well. So I'm going to be putting uh, oh, a lot more stuff in the community chat. Um, so y'all just stay tuned, man. Stay woke.
keep following FYF Sports, man. We got a lot of new stuff coming with the channel, man. But it's FYF Sports, another great podcast episode. We're going to be back. More sports and news. Once again, salute to Eric for hitting the cash app. But until then, man, it's FYF Sports. And we out. Yeah.